I forgot I pressed the go button. <laughs> Professional streamer. <laughs> I'm busy looking for a picture of the dog to put on Twitter. <laughs> you're right, guys. I hope you're good. I'll put you on, put you off emote only mode. Excuse me. Right, let me uh, get logged into Steam. Hi, K-Dog, hope you're good. Uh, hi, OG22 Norwegian, uh, Quantum, Pinzy, LSD Done Quick, Sal Soga Drag Dragon, U2 Death Gaming, by me. Uh, Pinzy, Canfiat, Bam, General Mayhem, Funky, Ricky Lotto, Retro Chili, Stan Jake, Shropshire, how you doing? Uh, Angry Chair, Twisted Technician, Stu, and Bam. I hope you're all good, guys. I'm sure there's some other people as well. Uh, hello. Bye. It's time Not incorrectly. Woo our Twitch baby is here. So yesterday, towards the end of the stream, I felt tired, and I thought I definitely feel recharged this morning. I feel just as tired. <laughs> Why does the dog sleep all day? But since the dog's got here, I'm getting less sleep. I don't understand. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, Witter Quick, thank you for the two months. Clarky, hope you're good. Thank you very much for the 16. Savage Potato, thank you for the. Uh, that's not potato, Savage Poto. Savage Man, Twitch Baby, thank you very much for the nine month inning. Yeah, we don't need to talk about football today, Quantum. W one thing I did see in the chat yesterday, somebody said uh, something along the lines of uh, Stones has been sent off and deservedly so. Stones has been sent off and deservedly so. And then I watched the highlights last night and I saw the sending off and I was like, what? What the? F Someone needed a capper in the chat. I, I wanted to go back and look for who it was, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't matter. It was a ridiculous game and England are fucking terrible. But yeah, the, uh, the sending off was ridiculous. But that's by the by. It doesn't affect the outcome. England were awful. You know, there's no excuses. It's a side side issue. It's nothing to do with the actual result. But that was that sending off was a joke. The dude that went down old in his face deserves to be getting fucking some kind of retrospective punishment, you know? Like, and England players do it too. But I wish they'd bring that in. It would be good because he wasn't even caught in his face. He just went down old in it, you know. Kim Wanker. Hi, Panjo. Hope you're good. Uh, Stan Jake. Hello. Uh, peanut butter and peanut butter jam. Uh, Blood toxin. Clarky. Thank you again for coming in. And the resub. Yeah, I don't blame you, face. The same day my Daltha were born, just two days ago. Keep running. T R M Z love. Uh, Jonky Tonky. Congratulations. I hope all is well, dude. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the resub. Uh, Daddy Cat. Thank you for the resub as well. Hope you're good, dude. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon, Moist Cobra, dude. I hope you do. <laughs> right, hang on. Let me just... Uh... No zero uh, Namask server anymore, or is it just not on the launcher at the moment? It's time to start 
Hunter, you're all good, dude. <laughs> Sorry, that clip I, re I tweeted, I think I, I didn't quite, your name was a bit vague, which was good. To be honest, dude, it wasn't really you that was, uh, that, well, no one was a problem, but if you look at the chat and there's 10 different people telling you 10 different things and you're actually in the middle of it, you know, it's what it, but anyway, it's all good, don't worry, it's fine. I think the, the, the analogy worked pretty well. <laughs> Well, it, yeah, I can't find it on the DZSA launcher, but sometimes... They, like, I've just searched for the word zero, for example, in my last played servers. Unless they've changed IP and then it wouldn't be on there. Let me just filter for Namalsk. Oh, no, it is there. I don't know why it's not showing. All right, well, I'm, I'm not going to go in that one anyway. It's just good to know it's there. I don't understand why... Anyway. Maybe they've changed IPs. It might be running on a different IP. Very analogical, it was, yeah. Uh, it was. Tomofudu, thank you for the three months. Hutchie, thank you for the 16 months. Let's kick names and take ass. Uh, I think I'm going to meet some names and play like ass today, to be honest. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Hutchie, thank you for the resub. Tomofudu, thank you very much as well. Uh, little swig of me tea. Vito, yeah, he does look pretty sweet. It's more like like chestnutty red, but his his body has still got all his puppy fur. His his body has still got all his puppy fur, so his head in in real life it does look brown in the picture. To be fair, it's kind of like a dark kind of red, a bit like a red setter kind of color, uh, but his body still looks a lot a lot lighter. Because he's got no pup, he's still got puppy fur and no like proper dog fur yet. It's probably passed right by you, and I keep saying now and then, but you really should not focus on reading chat when, for instance, just arriving to loot a body. Uh, you need to just shut chat out and focus on playing a bit. No one tells Smoke stuff like that, or he doesn't pay attention. Yeah, you're right. I think that's right. I think you're right, Cabessi. The, the, what I do is I do focus on it, but well, you you watch me. You know what I'm like. I I still read the chat in almost. I could be in the middle of a firefight and I'm still reading the chat. You know, <laughs> I just I just I, I guess I have a uh, I guess I have it in me. I, I have it in me to read the chat. You know, I can't. I, it's not a bad trait. It actually serves me well in many ways. You know, it's just got a couple of mods to download, guys. I won't be a sec. Uh, but yeah, I I I could do with not looking at the chat while I'm looting and then just finishing. You know. Right, another couple of mods to do. There we go, I think we should be good. <clears throat> but it, it's, it's, it's fairly true that the problem is, I can do stuff, like if, if you watch that little clip I just put on Twitter before, I'm talking and I'm really thinking, I don't even, I don't, it's not hard I guess, but it's a bit like driving and having a conversation, but uh, I'm still like loading mags and I'm shipping bullets and stuff, but I'm talking and I'm really mostly thinking about what I'm going to say, but in the background I'm still looting on the screen as well, you know. <coughs> I guess it's just something that's in me. I want to keep ticking the chat over because it's something that I've always focused on and enjoyed and it's kind of why I stream, I suppose. You know? I'm away from my mic at the moment. Uh, I'm back. But yeah, I, I, I don't know how easy it is for me to just drop it and just focus on the game because to me the stream is more important than the game and it's hard to change the way I am. It's just like my way of doing it, if you like, you know. Uh, but what I need to do while I'm looting is just, just like focus on it a bit because obviously if I look at this chat and I, I see five people telling me five different things, one of them might be, actually that's a good idea, but the other four are stuff I don't want to do or I've already done or what do you know what I mean? Like... But that that's the thing it's 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 such a non nothingness right i'm not really it doesn't bother me but like just silly little things like why haven't you put your your radio on the the backpack but the backpack's ruined and i know it's ruined but the viewer doesn't and then somebody will say you missed this and then you missed you missed a gas mask but i didn't want the gas mask those little things they all <laughs> they're all irrelevant but by the time you get to loot 3 4 hours later and 10 people are telling you what to do, and you've already had to justify what you've done for the last three hours, sometimes you do kind of like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Can I just have a go? <laughs> uh, 
Red line, yeah, I saw that. I saw that with the one dude. Yeah, I did see that. I, I am in a queue, by the way, guys. Hopefully it's not a very long one. Uh, it wasn't really a rant, actually. I felt in a pretty good mood when I was talking about that. I, w I, I started it with a bit of a joke, and I didn't. I wasn't really angry, and I wasn't angry afterwards, really. What What probably made me more frustrated was people sort of saying, uh, that dude, actually, the one you shared, sort of saying stuff like, you seem a bit touchy, you know, <laughs> why? because I wasn't annoyed, you know, I wasn't. I was kind of just like talking about streaming and shit, you know. How do you empty a water bottle? Uh, you drink it. Drink it down. Uh... <clears throat> Wash your hands. Uh, Wildcats, yeah, they're not the same thing, right? But yeah, uh, ha happy birthday, if it really is your birthday. <laughs> uh, they're not the same thing. Like, I, 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 analogy for that, right, is, is this, right? I went to get my hair cut this morning, right? And I said to him, I'll have a number one on the back and sides and quite a lot off the top, right? And then when he started cutting my hair... I didn't stand there or sit there, sorry, telling him how to cut it while he did it, you see, right? That's that's the thing, right? So while he was cutting my hair, I didn't go, yeah, can you just cut that bit on the right there? Cut the bit above my ear. No, can you cut the bit behind my ear as well? Can you cut the bit at the back? Can you cut the bit at the top? Yeah, make sure you cut the fringe, you know? I didn't do all of those things while he was doing it, right? But then when he was finished, if I think I maybe wanted it a bit shorter, I could have gone, actually, can I have it a little bit shorter on the top, you know? That that that's how it is. Like when you when you when you're having your hair cut, you just let them cut it, right? <laughs> like when I'm looting a body, just let me loot it a bit, you know. If I've uh, if I've gone in a house and then I'm 50 meters down the road and I missed a packet of rice in there, I missed it, you know. That's that's not the same as like I walk in the door and there's rice on the table and someone goes pick up the rice, pick up the rice, pick up the rice. Pick... They're very different things, but somehow some people don't seem to understand that. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't need to feel bad, Hunter. You're all good. You're fine. Don't worry. Because it was, it was, there was 10 or 15, you know. Uh, that That's, I'm just trying to give you like real world examples, you know. Because for some reason, people don't quite understand that it's like, I don't know. It's all fine. It's it's no big deal. I, I, like we're talking about it now and I didn't really envision it. I'm not really bothered, you know. Wow. Well. I don't know where I am. I'm not even at my chair yet. Oh, there's another dead body here. Clearly, I must not be at a popular spawn then. I think we might be near the tank. I'm going to keep this spawn. I'm not actually. I'm half on my chair, half off it, with my chair away from my desk. I'm not even really in the in the spot yet. But oh, look at that! Fucking hell! What's going on here? It's a bit fucking easy, isn't it? Holy shit! That's that. That's some boat loot. That is. I like those. Let me uh, let me get in my seat properly. Did you see you were trending on Twitter with Summit? What you mean you added me in a Summit tweet? <laughs> is that trending on Twitter with Summit now? Is it? Holy shit! That's good. <laughs> I did like that, so yeah, I did see it. I think the problem's going to be, uh, like, playing through the night, you know. Like, I, don't, I would probably start at 6am or something, you know, but I don't think it would work. Alright, let's go this way, see if we are where I think... Oh, fuck it. Every time I start now, I remember that my middle mouse wheel is fucked. I think I might get a new mouse, you know. This one's really not lasted well. It's lasted about six months. It's just crap. The middle mouse has not got any... I don't know what the right word is. Tacticility. <laughs> it's not very tactile anymore. 
Venture, yeah, that's that's uh, that's yeah, different, I guess, but yeah, different but the same, but different. Why is there so much different loot at these? Uh, wow, there's a lot of different loot on these boats. Nah, I would, I'd, I'd get another Corsair. I don't care if they only last six months. I, I don't want to change mice. They don't normally last six months. They normally last a couple of years, but. The middle mouse wheel has gone on my last one as well. I think we're going to see a little house on the left, actually, if I'm where I think I am. Hmm. Well, okay. I think we'll keep this spawn. This isn't. This is an outpost spawn. The outpost isn't a million miles away. Those Corsair bastards still haven't uh, sent me a private jet. No, 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 selfish fucks. Oh, maybe there isn't a house here. It must be on a different server. Uh, is yours an M65 Corsair, Paul? Uh, it's a Scimitar Pro. Is the mouse I use, Jarvo? It's a it's a MMO mouse with lots of buttons on the side. Does Logitech make a similar mouse? Maybe, but I'm not changing, unless Logitech want to sponsor me, in which case I'll change in a heartbeat. Uh, I'm not going to buy Astro A50s because I've got... I like headphones. There's nothing wrong with Astro. I'm sure they're great, but I've got wireless headphones and I don't want... Sorry, I've got wired headphones plugged into an amp. I don't want wireless headphones. I don't see the need. Occasionally, my chair leg get, gets caught in the wire, but like I was saying on yesterday's stream, my plan for that is to get a wireless, uh, sorry, uh, a legless chair. I'm going to get a floating chair. That's the answer. I'm not going to get wireless headphones. I'm getting a floating chair. I don't think I'm likely to be getting any sponsorships from uh, people like Logitech, because they normally, I could be wrong, but... Much like uh, Astro, they'll probably want me to have a webcam, and I don't think... I could probably draw some Logitech or Astro headphones on my webcam that I use, but I don't think that will be any good. They probably won't take that. <coughs> uh, Triton Survivor, thank you very much for the eight months. Hey, oh, let's go. Thank you very much for the eight months, dude. Tomo, thank you again. Alex Bacon, Pork Chop. All the all the pork related follows right now. Pork chop and Alex Bacon, uh, Rio Su and So Cash Gaming. Thank you for the follows. I might not be where I thought I was. You know, I, I was expecting to see. Uh, what's that? Arr. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to go this way and see where we end up. I'm fed up of following the coast. All roads lead to Vakuta, right? They must do. Feels a bit different. I don't normally get this kind of slope up here. I think we're uh, part. I think we are near where I thought we were. I think we should carry on this way. Actually, we're, we're heading towards that bay. If I go this way, I think I'm going to cut the corner, but we'll see. I twisted. You're right, dude. Toby's good. He's a little bit flat today. He's a little bit flat. He's a bit. I think the heat is making him a bit lazy, and he's not eating quite so much. But also he had his, uh, like, flea and mite and whatever else, parasite pill yesterday. And I think he's feeling a little bit uh, down in the dumps. They, they, they can kind of give him a bit of a... Make him feel a little bit peaky for a day or two, I think. Saw the other side of your last death yesterday. It was crazy to watch. I can't remember my last death yesterday. Where What was it on? It was on Livonia, wasn't it? I was playing Livonia and I uh, was in a team-up. Oh, the, it was the AK and I was lying prone. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'd forgotten, forgotten about that. Why is wide so popular, Surf? Well, for me personally, I, I sit right next to the thing that it plugs in, you know. If I was sitting across the room, I might want wireless headphones. Like when I used to game with a console and I'd sit on the, the sofa and the TV was on the other side of the room, wireless headphones were really handy, you know. They made a lot of sense, but... When you're sitting right next to the device, getting wireless is just put, kind of putting money into something you don't need. You know, it, you're paying, you are paying for the wireless tech. You're paying for the sender box or the, however it sends it to your headphones. You're paying for the receiver. You're paying for that tech. 
it's more expensive and it detracts from the sound quality. There's, uh, Astro A50s are great, but if you spent the same money on wired headphones, they would sound better. Of course they would, you know, because you're not paying for the, the wireless tech, you know. So you get better sound for the money without... If you don't need wireless, why buy it, you know? You're just wasting money. Uh, Bickety, I was going to, to be honest. I'm just really fucking tired. And I don't want to focus and concentrate on, on that particular server, is the honest truth. I, I feel really tired. And I'm not, I'm not like, like, I'm not like, oh, poor me. I, I got to sleep. I, I stayed up after the stream yesterday and did the, uh, the sort of just before midnight trip to the loo for the dog. And then I did the 2.30 trip for the dog. So I didn't get to sleep till about three. I woke up at half seven. I'm just fucking tired, dude. I'm, I, and I'm, that Kempsey character matters, you know. It turns out I've not been wiped, so I've still got the character. I don't really want to concentrate and really focus. And I, I, I just... Namask, I can play on, on like, uh, autopilot and just have fun. Rather than actually having to think about what I'm doing, you know. I, I, I think this kind of suits for today. The USA versus Panama game. It sounds awful to watch, to be honest. It can't have been worse than England, though, to be fair. Roach, I... I this guy was awesome? <laughs> work. Fuck me dead. That's great. Uh, Roach, I don't know if I'm going to have a short stream or not. I've got no... I've got no real preference, you know. I, I try to do a minimum of six hours, and so I'll try to do a minimum of six hours. But I'll see how it goes, you know. If in five hours' time I'm absolutely falling to bits, I'll stop. But I probably won't be. I'll probably carry on, you know. I'll I'll probably carry on and see how it goes. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to do at least six hours, and then we'll see how it goes from there. I didn't really see the gun. It was some kind of SMG. I don't really know. Not entirely sure where I am. I think I might be on the southeast corner. It's hard to tell. some kind of weather event coming in. I don't think it's worth getting surround sound for DayZ, dude. There is no surround sound track, so it's all a bit of a con, if that makes sense. Now, if you like it and you've got surround sound, I'm not saying you're wrong. If you like it, great, you know, but uh, DayZ has a stereo soundtrack, so the best way to play DayZ is with a stereo set of headphones, right? Everything else is just trying to make it up. It's not real, you know, it doesn't really have surround sound. It's trying to give the impression of it. It's not really doing it. It's like faux surround sound, you know. Uh, Twisted Cheetah, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Twisted Cheetah. Did did we bump into each other? Did we? I did. I did. I did want to find guns the other day with to shoot the bad people. I vaguely remember. Or maybe I didn't meet you, and you just mean that's what I do. <laughs> I might be the bad people. I haven't got the gamma down, by the way, guys, but up. But it looks like it's about to reset, so we should be good. Aaron, well, I need to keep the streaming going because I'm coming up in August. I've got the, the summer holidays, and I'll be off for a week or two. So I'm not going to be. I'm still streaming every fucking day I can, like. But I just, yeah, I, I got to I'm going to do the Kimsey map and carry that on when I feel like really ready. Maybe after Saturday, after I've had a day off, that might be the... But I just want to be, like, focused. Be able... Like, this This is, like, autopilot stuff, you know? And, and that's kind of suits for today. It's time to start uh, GG Leak? Uh... Thank you very, very much for the for the gifted sub. You're incredibly kind. Gillipus, thank you for the five months. Uh, Tri Triton Survivor and uh, Twisted Cheetah, thank you very much as well. Yeah, I, I, I personally have never been a fan. I know it's got a lot better now, you know, like surround sound and whatnot, but I used to work in a, in a hi-fi shop and I've sold fairly decent Sennheiser headphones and different shit over the time and surround sound systems and... I used to be into it myself, and, and my view very much is, if there's a surround sound track, use surround sound. If it's stereo, 
fucking don't. You know, that that's my view on it, and I think that's pretty much a decent view. <laughs> like, if it's got a stereo soundtrack, don't try to make it into 5.1 channel surround sound, because it ain't going to work, you know. No matter how great everyone says it is, it's all kind of made up, because the stereo, the game was made with stereo only, you know. Uh, Naki, I've switched back to 936, but it should only be for about another week. I've got an, an internet upgrade coming, and my upload speed has been reduced a little bit in the meantime. Uh, probably as a means to try and talk me into upgrading, but my upload speed's a bit lower, so I've had to reduce my bitrate a little bit, and so I reduced the resolution to try and not make the stream look worse. And I think that worked. It looks good, I think. I'm probably going to go back to 1080p and higher bitrate after... After Monday. So on Monday I'm having uh, fibre installed. The equipment turned up yesterday. So I've got fibre being installed. Uh, and 900 download and 120 upload speed. So that's going to be good. Oh, it's so shit, isn't it? It's so fucking shit. I should have checked more boats. The boats had better loot than, the, than this does. Lovely, thanks for being awesome. Keep on running my phone. Darts, dude, that's cool. Uh, that's cool. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you're good, and uh, I hope, I hope it, I hope you keep enjoying that as well. <coughs> yeah, it's all good, Naki. I. Uh, I, 936 actually looks better on Twitch, I think, for Daisy than 1080p, but I sometimes upload Twitch streams to YouTube, and if I upload a 936 stream, stream to YouTube, it looks really bad. So it's just trying to make both look as good as I can, like finding a happy medium, you know. I hope one day Twitch will allow us to have a slightly higher bitrate, you know. If I could stream at, say, 10 or 12, you know, it would cause a few issues for certain people with, with slower internet, but... They, they could watch in, like, non-source mode and get something similar to what is now, you know? That would be ideal. I hope that happens, you know? Like, the picture quality on Twitch is not the best. But I don't see them investing too much in improving it right now, to be honest. I hope they do, but we'll see. I have a younger sister, Bickety. I have a younger sister. She's, uh, uh, three years younger than me. So she's 35, obviously. Not 41. In December. Buy a fire jacket. Uh. I probably don't need that knife, but I'm going to take it for now. Right, so we've got something to cover up every every extremity now, which is good. Just need to get some food, try and get a gun of some sort as well. Yeah, Bickety, I don't know. It was probably someone having a bit of a joke, I suspect. But yeah, I don't have a brother. I had a sister that used to get me in trouble. <laughs> I remember one time when, when we were younger, I had this like little wooden duck that I'd painted myself. Uh, it wasn't solid wood, but it was like like plywood, and you kind of had to like vaguely build it and then paint it. And And she threw it at me, and it hit me on the elbow, and it really fucking hurt, and I had a tear in my eye. And then my parents came in and had a go at me. <laughs> that about sums up uh, that about sums up our relationship when we were kids. <laughs> we get on a bit better now. Yes, we are. I'm going to get rid of that. It's absolutely dog shit. 
Right. Get some sticks. My sister once punched me in the nose and caused a nosebleed. I yelled to my mum about it and she said, Don't get blood on the carpet. <laughs> Shifty, that sucks. Are you sure they weren't on the tower on the, on the thingy? They could have been. I'm sure they weren't. That sucks, though, dude. Fucking hell. They weren't on the red and white tower shooting down, though. Oh, he was spawn camping the server, was he? Fucking hell. Jesus, I just went down to 30 frames then for a second. That upgrade's gonna, gonna have to happen fairly sharpish, I'd say. Hang on one sec, guys. Turn teleport hacks off now. Okay. Oh shit, I forgot to mute. Fuck! <laughs> uh, Dirty Midden, thank you very much for the seven months. You're very kind. <laughs> They're obviously all hacks of voice commands, right? Where's the PC upgrade coming from? PC specialist! Exclamation PC! Is the bear, sha bear trap foreshadowing my leg break? No! Well, yesterday we had some particular, particularly sneaky fun with the bear trap, so I thought I'd keep it. Hello. Why don't you leave me alone? <laughs> what you've done is come to a fist fight. I'll start again. You've come to a knife fight with some fists, you fuck. I'm gonna watch you bleed, boy. Oh, did he have uh, shit? He, he must have had knuckle dusters because I didn't think it, I didn't think he'd. Uh... Oh well, he won. He must have had knuckle dusters, mustn't he? I didn't. I didn't. To uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't see the knuckle dusters, but he must have had them. There's no way he punched me out there ahead of me killing him with the knife. I was standing there trading, thinking, I've got a knife. I've definitely won this. So. He, he, he must have. He must have had a uh, knuckle dusters. Anyway, fine. It's all good. There's no way he survives that. It, he'll be dead. I should think he fell on the ground, as I did, to be honest. But uh, we'll see. Passive. Uh, yeah, but I hit him with my knife as many times. Right? A knife is stronger than fists. I think. I do understand how the game works, though, right? Yeah, I, I, I stood there trading punches with him quite happily because I had a knife, and knives do more damage, and they cut you as well, so... I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run back, though. I don't think it's very far. Yeah, he brought the Fists of Fury. You can usually do that if you trade blows, but you're using a knife. And I got a couple of heavy attacks on him as well. So I got several heavy attacks on him when he came into the room. And then he blocked and I ran out of stamina, so I couldn't heavy attack through his block anymore. That's something that kind of irks me, actually. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think you should be able to block a knife. Like, if, you, if I'm slashing him with his knife, it should make him bleed. You know, I, don't, I think it used to, and then somehow it stopped. Uh, like... It seems a bit weird, you know, like, how can you, like, I don't think you should be able to block a melee weapon either. Like, you shouldn't be able to block a pickaxe that's a slow attack if you've got nothing, you know. It doesn't make any sense. Right, anyway, let's, let's see if we can get back to where we just died. Uh, Dirty Mitten, thank you very much for the seven months. That's not why I died. I just took a risk thinking he would drop and he didn't, you know. I I thought I was right. Turns out I wasn't. I, I do wonder if he had uh, if he had knuckle dusters on and I just hadn't looked, but maybe he didn't. I don't know. Uh, Dark Vapor, where's the PC upgrade coming from? Thank you again. Dirty Mitten, GG Leak, thanks very much for the support as well, dude. <coughs> right, 
let's have a quick look in here and then we're going to go back see if we can find that tower oh, I've come the wrong fucking side here haven't I Well, it's been a good start, isn't it? Gun down in my prime. I've just wasted one of my rags as well. Good job, Paul. I'm not bandaging run, run, yet. Run, I'll bandage in the next and house. Run again. It's a slow bleed. I might run up to where we just were before I do. It's time to start running. My longest relationship yet. Smiley face. Somebody died. So I don't want to leave this too long, but it is a slow bleed, so I, I've got a little while before I have to do anything about it. Oh, come on, you fucking idiot. Unfortunately, I've got to run past all of these buildings. I might go and quickly loot that tent. Maybe we should bandage. What will happen is I'll get to that tent there, there'll be a zombie, and then I won't, I won't look... I'll be having to bandage twice because it'll hit me or some shit, I don't know. Well, why are you... It's a bit buggy today, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Run, 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 run away, is that it, Funky? I don't know, I don't know who Dale Shannon is. Dale Shannon seems like, uh, I don't know, a guy that, that like, mend your tyre or something. Del Shannon, Shannon's auto repair. Yeah, that song's okay. <laughs> hey, Tonton, hope you're good. We're going to give it five minutes, and if it doesn't get better, we're switching servers. Fucking hell. A double cheeseburger, blimey. Double cheeseburger. That sounds good. Uh, Flacco guy, thank you for the bits. I, I was watching uh, Space Wars, Space Wars uh, Beardy Man earlier. Uh, I, I used I used the Schwartz with that one. I thought I'd use my, my Schwartz powers. I'm, I'm going to go that way now. Space Wars Beardy Man, Volume 5. Uh, you hate yogurt? I like black cherry yogurt. I like it a lot. I'd quite like a black cherry yogurt right now. I'd do quite a lot of unspeakable things for a black cherry yogurt, to be honest. Any good? Yeah, it's alright. It's pretty good, yeah. I kind of want to talk, about, not about the plot of Five, but a, bit, a little bit about it, but I, I just don't think I should really, but I kind of want to talk a little bit about about uh, Space Wars Beardy Man. But I, think it's, I think it's pretty good. Right, now I think that is the one we were in. Is that the one we were in? It might not be. I don't know. Let's uh, 
Let's get to the other side. Uh. Yeah, I think that's the end, isn't it? So this is... I've run around the far side. This is the way we came in before, right? It's time to start running! Happy with the signing of Nunez. What do you think TRM said? Uh, I don't know a lot about Nunez other than what it says on the interweb. Yeah, he looks, his stats look great. I'm kind of hopeful. I'm not convinced this is the same one, you know. I feel like I've gone wrong somehow, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how he is. I think he'll be good. Uh, Riser, thank you for the two months. You're very kind. Beans for Tilly, thank you for the Twitch Prime. And Saramore, dude, I hope you had a good stream, man. Thank you very, very much for the raid. Hope all is well. Uh, we're just getting going. I'm... Uh, I'm struggling not to die. It's Namaus. What's new? <laughs> I hope you're all good, guys. Thanks for coming over. If you're coming over from Ceremore, uh, I hope you had a good day. All right, come on then. Let's. So I just got killed up here. I was trading knife blows with a guy punching me. Hello. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. It's all right. Oh fucking hell. Okay. So we were both dead on the floor. So that's good news. At least the other guy died. Somebody else was there though. Unfortunately. So yeah, it, I was trading knife blows. I had the knife. He had. He was fisting, and he managed to kill me out, outright. Kill me. I didn't go unconscious. He killed me with the fisting before I saw him fall with the knife. You know, I, th I think it was. Uh, I think it was a bit shit to be honest. But there we are. Oh well. Here's to another run. Run for nothing. That, that's good, isn't it? Let's start again, shall we? So I think that dude was a different player. I don't think he was anything to do with the guy that was fisting me. Because uh, he didn't have time to, to loot that shotgun and stuff. That's just some other secondary player. <clears throat> death by fisting, yeah. It's a lot like death by Mau Mau. Please stop saying fisting. Never say that to me, dude. It, it's not wise. It sounds like... What I do then, dude, is I'm, I'm like a dog with a bone. I'll say it for the next fucking hour until I make sure you've gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's dangerous, okay? <laughs> uh, Foo with a tool. Thank you very much for the follow. Nicolobus, thank you for the follow as well. Dead One, thank you as well. Sam Squanch, Sam Squanch. Uh, Blas Blasma Apina, thank you very much as well. Fist me daddy. No, 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 no. I'm talking about fisting. It's it's like the art of fisting. I'm going to write a book. I'm going to write a book called The Art of Fisting. And it's all going to be about uh, melee in DayZ. And, and it's going to be called... The title of it is going to be I'm a Terrible Fister. The Art of Fisting Badly by TRMZ. I, I'm going to keep saying it. How, how long do you reckon? <laughs> Careful you don't lose your watch while fisting. Well, yeah. Today's one is a leather strap. You know, that'll come off right easy, you know. I, I need uh, I need rubber. You need rubber rubber strap if you're going to do any fisting, I guess, wouldn't you? Rubber strap. <laughs> For your watch, not anything, like, on. Lost two rings, blimey. In the one ring that binds them. <laughs> Uh, make sure to stretch, you say. Nah, I just, just like, go get right into it, you know. I'm going to have to make a fire. I, I, I started the mouse, right? I, I, I was going to do Kimsey today, and I wanted to do something that, like, felt a bit more relaxed. And so I switched to this. And now I am definitely thinking that it's not relaxed in the fucking slightest, and I've made a terrible mistake. Saturday in France, they announced 38 degrees Celsius. Blimey, Tom Tom, but it's only Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, the, the temperature's due to be about 33 or so here uh, on Friday. So we're getting a slightly hotter day Friday, and you're getting an even hotter day Saturday by the sound of it. But, dude, I, I hope it's not too bad. 
I believe it's been pushing something like 40 in uh, in uh, Spain and whatnot already. I think I just heard the first rumble of the uh, the event. I thought I was coming up on the outpost, but now I am not so sure. 35. Fucking hell. Yeah, it's different, Euro. It's different, okay. Arizona's very arid and deserty, right? It's okay. I'd rather have, right? I'd rather have 45 degrees in Arizona than 10 degrees in the UK. It's hotter here in, when it's 10 degrees Celsius here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hotter here when it's 10 degrees than it is in Arizona when it's 100 degrees and the water's boiling. It's hotter here, okay? <laughs> Everybody knows it. You go outside. Water boils in England at 10 degrees Celsius. <laughs> yeah, I'm not where I thought I was. I'm at the tanky tank. Oh, well. Yeah, I, I can't speak Fahrenheit, Nero. That's that's for uh, that's for heathens. I don't understand Fahrenheit. If water boils at 100 and it freezes at zero, I understand it. If it's Fahrenheit, I don't understand it. I don't understand it in the slightest. I think it's just one of those things that was picked because you wanted to be different from the overlords. We want to be different from the former overlords. That that's what I think it was. <laughs> How to disenfranchise 40% of your Twitch chat within the first 48 minutes. Go. I'm obviously joking. <laughs> right, come on. Give me a hat. Give me a hat. Give me a hat. Oh, gloves? What the fudge? I thought this was an outpost spawn, but we're on the wrong fucking side. I'm never going to keep that gas mask, but yeah, never mind. Exactly, Vench. That makes no sense, does it? It's freezing at 32. 32 sounds lovely and warm, doesn't it? 32. And it boils at 212. Mm. What does a Brit consider hot? Uh, 73 and mostly cloudy. I, I know we, we talk about it every year. It is a little bit different. It is a, I've been to Vegas when it was mid to high 40s. And, of course, it's hot as fuck, and it is very hot, but it's very dry, you know. There, there is a difference. There really is, you know. Uh, the UK's an island, and it's, it's really humid. I don't need any rags right now. Thank you. Ha! Ha 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 ha! I win. Right, let's go. Oh, he's killed. He's killed. He's killed a dude, he has. He's killed a dude. Let's just move. Move along, shall we? Move along. Nothing to see here. Use Kelvin. Who's Kelvin? And what am I using him for? Uh, headshot. Headshot. Dude, thank you for the prime. You're very, very kind. Thank you. The World Series features a lot of players outside the US, but it's still an American-only sport, though. That that it's not a, it's not a World Series. That's not how it works. It, it's still the New York Yankees versus the Boston Red Sox versus the uh, Dan Marino's Miami Giants. You know, it, it's it's still all America land, and maybe like one team from somewhere else. It ain't a World Series, but that's okay. It's still a great sport. I I think it's a cool sport. Don't get me wrong. And I don't give a shit that it's called the World Series either. Who cares? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why? Why must you do this to me? <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck? Oh. That's some freaky shit going on right there. Good 
Well, I like America, to be fair, and a little bit of winding up's okay. We get enough winding up with our bad teeth and our terrible food and whatnot in the UK. It's okay. <coughs> He's just immersed. <laughs> He got some kind of evil fucking laugh going on. He sounded like a cartoon character, didn't he? We might die here. Didn't know this stuff auto renewed. Was popping into support, but I guess I've been supporting all along. TRMZ love. Really, Veli, thank you very, very much for the resub. You can stop it from auto renewing if you want to. Uh, you can stop it from auto renewing uh, if you wish, but do thank you very much for the resub. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Hull Hawk, uh, thank you for the eight months headshot. Thank you for the prime. You hereby, you're hereby challenged to use the word fisting in every third sentence. Confaded, thank you. I don't normally say fisting. It's only, it's only if someone says stop saying something, then I feel obliged to say it as if I'm a toddler. The Yankees are at a record pace right now. They're doing well, are they? That's good. I like the Yankee Doodle Dandies. They're my favourite. I hear that they're everybody's favourite in America and nobody hates them. Like, if everybody thinks baseball, they think the Yankees and just utter love. That's what I heard. <laughs> and you can see it there. A couple of people saying, fuck the Yankees, you know. They like them so much. They like the Yankees so much that they want to line them all up and then do do, do loving things, you know. They're literally... I, I, how much more can you like them? <laughs> Kind of surprised, actually. You know, I, I, I didn't know that was a thing in baseball, like huge orgies to as a way of support. But the Yankees equals Man U. Yeah, I've seen I've seen online in in the online foosball kind of world that the Man U fans have been trying to like dig out Klopp because they've spent lots of money on a player. It's quite funny. That's what they've got now. Uh, Ten Hag might sort them out, by the way, but that what they've got now is bitterness and throwing stones at other people. <laughs> it's ironic, really, because... Uh, sorry, guys, football talk for a minute, OK? Stop talking about effing baseball players, literally. Uh, Jurgen Klopp, when Man United signed Pogba for nearly £100 million, kind of suggested that it was ridiculous that they spent £100 million on him. Because of the amount it costs, and also because they let him go for nothing, and they used to have him already, and all of the different things, all of the different connotations of that. And, and yeah, Jurgen Klopp was kind of saying it's kind of stupid. And at the very point when Paul Pogba is leaving for nothing after being awful for several years, Man United fans are trying to get one up on Jurgen Klopp's point. Like somehow he was wrong. Have, have you not seen the player he was talking about? <laughs> Yeah, a good try with that one. Uh, good try. I don't think it's going to work. Are we interested to see where Gareth Bale goes? I think that could be cool. Oh, that's bad news. Is that a player or a Z? It's two. Two things. Oh, this server's not good, is it? And, or it could be my connection to it. But something's not right, is it? Something's really not right. No face mask. No. That's kind of good because the light blue has just just allowed me to regen a bit of health. I was still losing health. The guy that did the killing could easily be uh, here. I don't need that. I'm going to take it anyway. But I don't know why I take maps on the mouse. I don't really need them, but anyway. Pelé's prices, well, yeah, I'm Pogba was 100 million like four seasons ago. That's different than Nunes right now, you know, who's like 60 odd rising to 85. It's still less than Pogba. And Liverpool have still got way lower spend in the last five years, you know. And it doesn't really matter anyway, you know. 
I'm glad Liverpool are spending some money. Nunes is 22, so he's he's a younger dude as well. I think it's, it's he fits the profile of the Liverpool signing all over. You know, he's had a, a really good season. He's played well against Liverpool, but Klopp seems to like that. If they play well against him, he seems to like it. You know, like I think that was partly why they went for Diaz as well, or part of the decision making. They were already following him, but he did particularly well against them. You know, uh, from what I remember, anyway. But yeah, the. Uh, Nunes is only 22 and he fits the profile because he's on a five, six year contract. Six year, I think. And um, like in four or five years time, he'll be 26, 27. He'll still be saleable and still have value. Exactly. They'll sell Mane. They'll get some money back. They're going to be selling some other players like Minimo as well and whatnot. They'll get, they'll recoup some of the money. Minimino, whatever. Have I ever watched the MLS? Uh, I've not. No, well, I've watched, seen a bit of it on the telly, yeah, when, uh, when like, Beckham went. I've seen a little bit of it on the telly. I've never seen a game live. I've only ever seen one uh, baseball game. It's the only sport I've watched in America. I've only been to America twice, so that that was it. Uh, yeah, I, I, could, I could see myself, if I was in the right town and there was Major League Soccer on, I could see myself going to a game, but I don't, I don't see me going to America anytime soon. Leads in for Minamino, 25 mil, while now there's an opportunity to swap in for Calvin Phillips and a bit of money. I don't think Curtis Jones is going to make it. I think Harvey Elliott is going to be a mainstay in years to come, or at least I hope he is. I don't think Curtis Jones is quite going to make it. I think he's a good player, but he's going to go the way of someone like John Joe Shelby, who I liked and thought he was good for Liverpool, but never quite was going to make it. <laughs> He's still had a great career. Uh, I think maybe Curtis Jones is going to be a bit like him. Oh, fuck. Stand there watching him pull that. I think they do want Rafina, but they, they do want a, a midfielder as well, like a holding midfielder, so I don't know. And you never know with the press as well. R Liverpool are being linked with Rafina, but. I think Rafina wants to go to Barcelona and all the stuff in the press is all like made up to try and make things happen after time, you know. Well, this is good news. Red Hungary, a one house where there's very rarely any food to get some food. I'm going to drink some anyway. If there's not food here, I could be banging trouble. Savage Potato. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think Phillips would be a good sign-in. Excuse me. Emergency fishing time. We could go fishing, actually. That's not a bad shout. There's a lake not far that way. The problem with the emergency fishing idea is that it's the weather's a little bit bad. Well, the event's coming, right? So I'm a little bit worried about the event that's on the horizon. The event horizon. It, it's coming. Coming round the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Uh, ooh, that's good. What do I drop? We'll drop that for now. Who is City going to drop for Phillips? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. What's the name of the, the... I forget the name of the midfielder that plays a lot for them. No, no he wouldn't be Stones. It, it, Phillips would be playing as a holding midfielder, wouldn't he? It'd be... Uh, what, oh, I can't remember his fucking name. Well, yeah, Fernandinho is the name I was looking for, as the one that's leaving. And the way they are, they'll sign somebody, you know? They, they, they don't always play the same play. Oh, shit. Is it me, or is a hatchet taking the same space a hatchet taking the same space as a uh, 
a cleaver. Does that? I, I, you'd think not a hatchet. The, you'd think the sickle or whatever it is, the scythe, would be bigger, wouldn't you? I feel like the cleaver should be uh, a tiny bit smaller. Maybe like three. Oh, maybe not because the, the knives are three long. Maybe it makes sense. I was going to say three long and one high, but then it makes the same size as a knife, doesn't it? I'm going to struggle here. If there's no food in here, and I don't think there's going to be, I'm going to be in deep shite. That's not what I wanted. I'm in deep shite. I might have to ditch this stuff and come back. I would have been fine. It's the uh, it's the fucker that knocked me out that's causing all the grief, isn't it? You know, like. Am I carrying two pairs of gloves? Like spare two pairs. Let's have a quick look up here. Tonton, I, I don't watch enough. I think Pep Guardiola's a good manager. I, I think he's a very good manager. I think he's the second best manager right now. Maybe, maybe. I think Klopp is a slightly better manager, but I'm biased as a Liverpool fan. But I think he's doing a very similar job in the Premier League and in Europe as Pep Guardiola, but on a lot less money in terms of the, the money that's being spent. So I think he's doing a better job with the money available, if that makes sense. That ladder lightning is a killer, isn't it? Yeah. You die from lightning. Well, you lose about half to 50, maybe 55, 60 percent of your health if you're outside. Never mind. If you're inside a building with floor, then you survive. I don't see this working. I've got to get to the water, I've got to get sticks, I've got to make the fire, I've got to cook the fish, and then I've got to eat the fish. And I'm red health already, and the water's quite a way away. I think this is death. Isn't there a well? Well, I'm not worried about a well. I'm dying of hunger, so the well's no issue. The well is not the problem. The, the food is the problem.
The water isn't very far this way, but it's always a bit further than I think it's going to be. Uh, can you eat the fish? The, you can eat the fish raw. The problem is they've massively reduced the amount of energy that fish gives you, so I don't think it would be wise, even now. I think I would be better off trying to cook it and eat it. If I tried to, if I tried to do anything else, I think it would kill me. I, you get so little energy from raw food now, like raw meat. The devs have really like nerfed it, so I think I'd be better off cooking it while I was flashing red, hoping I could eat it. The one thing with the mouse, like if the food is hot, you can't eat it. But if you cook it on a fire with a stick, you can eat it, if, as long as you take it off straight away. If I'm fishing and I'm I'm flashing red, I think I'm. I, I've got to catch a fish, or st I've got to at least start fishing while I'm still red, and I might make it. I, I might still make this. The problem will come that I, if I start, uh, and I'm going to have to just fish as soon as I get to the water, so I'm going to be in the open, which is not good. Uh, on top of that, uh, if I get like near the fire and I'm not fishing, and then I go flashing red, I don't think I'm going to have time. So we'll see how we go. We'll see. Yeah, Conic. It, yeah, but the, the reason it's this way is to stop be it, stop it being gamed. Obviously, it's a it's a feature for the better of the game rather than a feature that's related to real life. Like quite a lot of other things as well, though you know. But yeah, I mean, most most things, if you cook them, that some things, if you cook them, it kind of releases a bit more like of the calories. But more often than not, you're burning things away or steaming things away. No, don't split. Sharpen. We might actually make this, but it's going to be tight. actually going on. Oh shit. Oh, what the fuck's happened there? That could have killed me. That there could have killed me. I'm pretty sure I waited until the end. I don't know what the fuck happened, but that might be the thing that kills me, unfortunately. Because I went dark blue, I was losing health twice, so I've had to stop to light the fire. Now I'm only losing health because of hunger. Can you dig worms? Not on the mouse, no. You have to fish without worms. You can do that on any map. It just makes catching the fish a bit slower. Right. Two or three more circles and then I'll stop. The doorbell just rang as well. I'm a bit worried the missus is in the garden. Uh, I'm going to have to check. Evening. I'm going to die now, but... I haven't even got my headphones on. This ain't going to work. I still haven't got my headphones on. <sighs> oh, 
Oh shit. How can you really try and put your headphones on this one? Idiot. I think I would have lived then on that basis if I'd not had to go to the doorbell. So, uh, Amazon orders cost lives in day Z. Confirmed. Eat one raw first. I, I don't think it's worth it, dude. The energy is so low. I think the energy from it would be gone before it's cooked. Before I finish cooking, you might be right. But anyway, I'm going to carry on doing what was in my mind before I went AFK. So, I think I die before this cooks. Even worse, if I die while I'm eating it. Fuck me. Skunky, it doesn't have to cool down first. If you cook it on the mouse with a stick and stop straight away, you can eat it. Holy shit. This is fucked. Well, I think that will be enough to get me out of it. I think it will. I think I'll get to yellow just from that one fish. Can't believe it. And we're really in trouble. Oh. I'm going to take them both and I'm going to fish somewhere else. It's time to start running. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe I'm not dead. I did think I was risking it, only getting one lot of sticks, but I couldn't really do anything else speed-wise. Turns out I had more time than I thought based on the Amazon delivery man. It was my fault, you see. I had to go because I thought the missus was in the garden. And I'm, I'm having a shower delivered, uh, like a new shower control unit and whatnot. Uh, and he just left that by the door, but I tacked on an order for whiskey. And because you have to be over 18, he wouldn't drop it off without somebody going to the door. He's not going to leave whiskey on the door because like, it could be a kid that ordered it or somebody that's too young anyway, you know. So uh, I had to make sure I, had, I went and caught him. And he was in the van about to drive off, so it's a good job I did. In the UK, you can order whiskey on Amazon, yes. You can get, like, some uh, sort of food and supermarket type stuff, but they do quite a lot of whiskey on there, like... Uh, and other stuff, like red wine or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Still going up. I think I might make a very quick fire just somewhere in these trees and cook that other piece of fish before we worry about uh, anything else because I, I want to get keep my energy going up. Like one piece of fish has taken me from flashing red. Look how good mackerel is. Flashing red all the way to white apple. I mean, that, that's very OP, isn't it?
Oh, Nightmare, yeah, he was funny. Right, now I can clean my glasses, at least that's the start. I managed to fucking eyeball my glasses and scuff them up when I... Uh... That stars is annoying, isn't it? I can't start cooking until the fire's a bit hotter. Maybe I'll put one more stick on. Should let me. F oh, I was going to say it should be letting me f roast on it front by now. His shower uses whiskey, not water. <laughs> now that would be an interesting one. Uh, Danger Mouse, thank you very much for the new sub. Moon Rolling, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Cheers, both of you guys, for the new subs. Skull Brother, dude, sorry, it took me uh, 17 minutes to see it between me going downstairs for the delivery and uh, uh, also. Uh, me shitting my pants and dying of hunger. You know, we made that somehow. I can't believe it, but we made it. So you can tell that you can eat it because when you put it in your hands, it's not steaming. Which means it's it's edible. Am I a fan of beer? Uh, not so much anymore, no. I, I, I kind of used to like it. I don't, I don't mind it. Uh... I found myself drinking a lot less nowadays than I used to. When I was younger, I drank loads and loads of beer. But nowadays, if I have a, if a meal, I might have a glass of wine. Every few evenings, I might have a glass of whiskey. But I don't drink much. I used to drink a lot of beer when I was a, a lad. Not anymore. God, I just did, I ate that fish and it took so long for my... There's something severely wrong with the server at the moment. Ugh. Real Veli, uh, what's your budget? What kind of things do you like? What's your, what, sort, what, what other whiskey do you like at the moment? Thank you, uh, Flipler. Thank you. I thought going downstairs was going to do me in there. I really did. Take take a drop. Uh, take a DP. No, uh, the, the vitamins don't help you with your health regen. No. Is Woodford Reserve risky or is it bourbon? I think it's bourbon, isn't it? Not that it really matters. Smoked whiskies, uh, well, Lagavulin if you can get it for £50. If it's £70, then don't. You could get Bowmore 18 for £50 to £100, I'd have thought. That might be worth a try. Bowmore's good. Bowmore's pretty good. It's, it is smoky, uh, but it has a kind of a slight sweetness to it as well, which I quite personally like. But Bowmore 18 would be in, in that kind of price bracket. Very nice, bad boy. That's not a bad result, dude. What the fuck's going on there? I was robbed, I was. Unless the fish is going to appear in a minute. Have I tried Drambuer before? Yes. <laughs> but more when I was a kid. Yeah, I don't really... It's orange liqueur, isn't it? I don't really like stuff like that. Yeah, I, the, the whiskey I just ordered downstairs is Highland Park, just the standard Highland Park 12. You could get Highland Park 18 for that money as well, although it's not really smoky. That would be amazing, I'm sure. What's Drambuie then? It's, it is a liqueur though, isn't it? But what's the flavour, is it? I can't remember. What is going on here? I and mean, sometimes you catch a fish and it, you, it sort of takes your bait and you don't get the fish, if you like. But I feel like server performance or something is stopping the fucking fish appearing. <laughs> the 
This is borderline unplayable at the moment. I, I don't know whether I can carry on with this one. I think we might have to... It might be that uh, there's a load of new uh, there's a load of new mods yesterday, and it's playing havoc. So I, I, I'm being a bit harsh saying the server's running badly. It's not necessarily the server, but 118 dropped yesterday, and um, there was quite a lot of mod updates today. And it may be that the servers aren't running great. Modded servers, I mean, aren't running great with the new mod, the new patch yet. Scotch whiskey liqueur. Okay, yeah, I've had it when I was a lad. But no, I don't really like any liqueurs at all. Uh, guys, I think I'm going to have to change servers. I might log out and log back in just to see if I can fix it. But this is uh, this is a bit of a shitter at the moment. I can't... I actually am I'm mega bugged. I can't do anything. Oh, now I can do that at least, so I could probably pick up that stick. But... Schmig, well, it's not just the handbug. That's, yeah, you're right, it should, but there's something severely going wrong with the server as well. Switch servers, will you? <laughs> I recognise that voice, even in text. <laughs> oh. Right, I didn't really mean to sharpen a stick, but I've fucking done it anyway. What we could do... Now we appear to have some space. I haven't got the fucking fishing rod. Love ya, Paul. I put the fishing rod in my pantaloons and now it's not there. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, I was having a few connection problems on Chernerus yesterday as well, to be fair. Never mind anything with mods on. I was on a server with no mods. Uh, Glass I do. Thank you for the 28 months. Twix Twixus? No, Texas. Thank you for the 25. Grimslayer, thank you for the 2. Amstrad, thanks for the 28. I hope you're good as well. Danger Mouse and Moon Rolling, thanks a lot, both of you guys. Thank you. Hi Jungle, you're right, dude. <sighs> yeah, well I'll try swapping in a minute, Bad Bunny. To be honest, if I've not got the fishing rod, we might be swapping straight away. That sucks. Fucking donkey dick, doesn't it? So somehow, it robbed me of two fish that I should have caught. And has now managed to disappear off the face of the earth. My, uh... It's adios my fucking fishing rod and hook. I'm not going to piss around looking in the bushes. I chopped the tree down here. It's not here. I'm just going to move it. Move it or lose it. I might have done something to drop it. It might be in the bushes, but I, I think we just carry on. I have had two fish, so we're kind of okay for a little while.
Yeah, Venge, I talked about that yesterday. I'd, I'd noticed that on uh, Stable 118, you get the, the stamina stutter when you run out again. That sucks. Uh, Texas, thanks again, dude. Cheers for the support. Glass Eye and Grim Slayer as well. Thank you. So that's the Millie base where that dude shot me before. I don't think I'm really in a position to go there just yet. I don't know. I, I think I might do anyway and just see if we can... Uh, I might get myself killed, but uh, so what? I, 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 I don't really want to give up on this character. I think I might uh, I might try and get over there and see if we can loot some stuff. Uh, it's called the Dalmore Sirius and a single de decant will cost 47 to 30,000 pounds. Uh, so when you buy yourself a glass, buy me one as well. I will though, it's okay dude, I, I think that's... Uh, I had a glass of Glimmerangy Signet when I went to Edinburgh and a single shot was 25 pounds. Uh, and that w It was a one-off, I, I was on holiday so I thought I'd try it. Uh, it wasn't worth it. It just wasn't worth it. It's the law of like economy of scale, right? I'm taking this like you're being serious, of course. I'm never drinking any of that shit. If you spend 20 quid on a bottle of whiskey, you get something okay. If you spend 40 pounds on a bottle of whiskey or 40 quid, whatever, you get something really much better. If you spend 400 pounds, it ain't the same, you know? <laughs> you spend twice as much as 20 quid, you get at least as big of a distance as, difference as you do 40 quid to 400, I think. You know, there's some people that wouldn't drink piss water like I do, but I think you, you get kind of okay stuff for the money. Uh, Sam Squanch, thank you very, very much, dude. I think they should add the Sam Squanch to uh, Cherno and Steve French. They should definitely do that. I think they could add Steve French for sure. Uh, maybe they might need some kind of America map, maybe, or Canada map. It's a placebo. Well, there is a difference, Hanlon. It's just, I don't think it's a placebo. I think there is a difference. It's just like everything, you know. Like, with, if you get if you get a 10 grand bog standard brand new car, if such a thing exists, it's really plasticky and it's not so great, but it will get you where you want to go. If you buy a 30 grand car, it's much, much better. If you buy a 300 grand car, or, I don't know, maybe a hundred grand car. The same sort of thing. It's the way everything is, you know. Like There's there's a sweet spot where going above it, you're making less and less difference. Same with anything, you know, whether it be PCs or whether it be uh, graphics cards or whatever. It's the same kind of deal, isn't it? That guy's got a sledge. Sledge of Doom. The Sledge of Doom. Okay. I think I might toddle along the beach towards the docks then. Uh, fan of everybody. bourbon. I, I don't drink bourbon, uh, so no, is the quick answer. I know you're a fan, uh, but yeah. It's just geography, dude. Like, if you were living here, you'd be a fan of scotch. <laughs> it's just geography and the prices involved. I'm sure it's great. It's just that it goes back to the economy of scale. Over, if it's 100 bucks for you, it's probably £150 for me. And for that money, I can get something better, you know. That, that, just the scale of getting it over here, you know. A uh, little bit bad, Bunny. Yeah, I've had a few. I've got a, a viewer that regularly watches uh, who has a pub in Japan. And he sent me a couple of bottles of Japanese whiskey. I, I've got a picture of the labels on my phone. I can't remember the names, but they were good. They were very good, yeah. Like, not like just like the, the ones that everyone's heard of, like Suntory or something, you know. That dude's got tunnel vision. Tunnel vision, that dude has. Vaporizer Redbreast is my favourite. It's not Scotch though. It's just my favourite whiskey is actually Irish. My favourite Scotch is at the moment is Balvinie Doublewood. Uh, I like that quite a lot. If, if I'm talking about the ones I'd actually buy rather than like money no object, you know. Red line, yeah, it does. Another day, another whiskey chat. It's all good. Day one doesn't have any vanilla servers. They're, they're all modded. That's not a bad thing, though. They're all modded. They're all a challenge still. They're all fun. 
Cider is pretty big in the UK. Redline, I haven't had any since the last time we talked about it. I've saved the last little bit for whatever feels like the right occasion, you know. And I've probably got, I don't know, about an inch and a half left in the bottom of the bottle. And I'm saving that for whatever feels right. Sam Squench, uh, I am, but I don't get to watch the races because they're always on when I'm streaming. I don't think my health regen is sped up, it just feels like it is, but I don't, I don't think we regen any quicker. My blood is quite high, so my regen, I and mean, the only thing that slows your regen down is if your blood is low, so my blood is reasonably high, so my regen is pretty good, I suppose, but yeah, there's nothing modded in the server. I have indeed, Paulie. Yeah, I'm uh, hoping to see. Uh, I hope he scores more goals than uh, a certain player at Man City. I, uh, who knows whether he will or not? I, I think it depends how well City and Liverpool play next year. But it would be fucking hilarious if he outscores Haaland next year. I don't think he will, but it would be fucking hilarious. I actually started editing a little video this morning to turn that Claymore thing from yesterday into a little short, but. I didn't finish it in time. I had quite a bit, lot of different things to do this morning. And I, I got my hair cut as well. I, uh, but yeah, I, I'm going to finish that tomorrow before I uh, before I edit the main video of the week, whatever that's going to be. I'm going to not light those for now. I probably should do, but I'm going to not light them just for now. <coughs> Seamus, we, we have a combination of both. We're a little bit halfway between. We uh, we do Celsius for temperature. We uh, we have miles per hour in the car. The, the, everything is sold. Like when you buy a car, it's sold with a miles per gallon rating, you know. So my car, it, like on the screen, it tells me I've done 51 mpg or whatever, right? Uh, but when I go to the petrol station, I buy petrol in litres. <laughs> Milk comes in pints, petrol comes in litres. It's, it's kind of, yeah, we are still a little bit mixed. So yeah, our roads are miles per hour. Knife in sheath for room. Yeah, good shout. I didn't realise there, there was a belt, to be honest. I grabbed that ages ago, didn't I? There was a guy just uh, dossing his way down the hill just now. like a dead player. Oh god. Oh, they what was that? Is that a bear trap being sprung or bear trap being set? steps.
What do I do here? I think I've got to try and get down. Thanks for not turning me into fishing hooks last time we met Winking Face. Some place, no worries, dude. Love you, bye. This is dangerous. None of this feels safe. This is not a smart move either. It's actually... Oh, is that Moses? I don't think he suicided. No, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck went on. Somebody else fired a pistol. I really have no clue what's gone on there. I do know that I've got some Mosin rounds and I want away from here right now. I've got a box of Mosin rounds, I think, haven't I? Or was that, an that was another life? Oh, shit. I thought I had a box of Mosin... Oh, I did. Yeah, I opened it. I need to get some food. I, I, I kind of don't want to fuck about, really. I need to get some food and make a fire. I'm thinking I might just risk a couple of houses, see if I can find a few cans of food, and then we can go to the outpost. If not, I've got to get prepped for fishing. I'm going to take a few things to get rags. I have six rags, I'm going to need more than that. I should have cut the guy's body up for hooks as well, but there'll be another body, I suspect. I don't think all of this loot is from the server. I think some of this has been dropped. Some of this stuff here has been dropped by players. Oh, please don't. I thought I'd prematurely released again. Alright, so we've got rope. Get those baddies pulled. Go, 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 go.
I was expecting a melee attacker, so I pressed F. That sucks. We put so much effort in to get there. Guys, I'm going to switch servers now. Uh, nothing wrong with that death. It's completely fine, other than he ran in incredibly quick, but uh, I'm sure that's fine. Uh, but the uh, the way it was performing beforehand was fucking awful, so I don't think it affected the death, really, but I'm going to switch to another one now we're dead. I enjoyed the get, like coming back from that. That was kind of fun, but I, I don't want to play anymore on that one. It's just not running great. I'm sure it's something to do with the patch yesterday and mods. I don't think it's the server normally. I don't think it runs like that, so... Uh, I'm going to join a different one. No, I'm going to go on a different Namalsk server for now. I did Chernerus most of yesterday. Woke, dude. Woke Jeff, thank you for the nine months. Jeff Mann's Twitch baby, thank you very much. JW Fighter, thank you for the 10. Jimmy Jammy, thank you for the 17 as well. Brad BMW, Pano, Texas Glass Eye, thank you. Yeah, there was a bit of teleporting going on and it wasn't running great. Uh, but I, that, I don't know. He did seem to run in the house very quick, but I don't know. He, he was just on the ball. I don't think that was any issue, really. I, I don't think so. Really enjoying the Cheems Avod. Had the shite scared out of me a time or two while watching. Pajama Rama, thank you, thank you. I am intending to do Kimsey at some point very soon, but I've, I've been putting off a little bit, to be honest, but I wanted to do it today. I just don't know. I, I've woken up a little bit now, but I felt so knackered at the start of the stream. I didn't really want to do it. Thanks again, Pajama Rama. Thank you. Bongo Meerkat, thank you for the bit. Oh, well, that was an hour and 45 minutes of nothing, wasn't it? Fucking hell. It is annoying there to have got all of that good loot. And then uh, I I had to get the dead body. It was really risky. But I don't know. I, I, I couldn't switch guns and get ready in time, you know? Uh, Elite, dude, thank you for the 10 months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. H-bomb, yeah. I, I, I think it might be more on your screen than others. Maybe. I don't know. But we'll give this a try for a sec, guys. I don't know. I might switch away from the mouse. I don't know. That wasn't the most fun in the world. Uh, but I think... Uh, the surviving the this close scare was, but hmm. Yeah, cracks, I always forget to do that. You're right, it does. Midnight trouble typing message deleted is definitely likely to cause you to get more messages deleted. I think you were making a joke about paying your day's e tax, right? But it looked like you were trying to suggest I pay my real world taxes, you know, mods can only read what you write. So I'm pretty certain you were joking, but it could be read that you were somehow suggesting I was like, like the uh, the Starbucks of Twitch, like lording it up with all of my my uh, ill gotten gains that I don't pay tax on. <laughs> but I don't think that's what you meant. <laughs> I think you were suggesting I was paying my day's e tax. It, yeah, exactly. Came after two other messages whining about tax, but I think they might have been Daisy related as well. I could be wrong. Yeah, Paul Capone slash Jimmy Carr. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's an event on this one as well. Well, 
we'll have another little go, see how we go. Can you still order a latte? Yes, but only if you give me your, your first name, your surname, your full address, your po postcode, and your uh, password for your online banking. And then I will uh, read it all out when it's ready. Sean Court, I know, but uh, when, uh, when people try to... It, it gets a little bit like a kangaroo court, right? So... It's, don't, there's no drama, but let's just leave the modding to the modders, you know, it's all good. Sorry, let's leave the, uh, yeah, yeah, the modding, to, not to the modders, the modding to the mods is what I should be saying, but you get what I mean. How is the new update? It's, it's okay. I, I really enjoyed you know, getting, a, well, not a kill, but getting some fun with the claymore yesterday, let's say. That is cool. I, I think there's some really cool connotations for the explosives. Uh, however, I'm not sure... It's running as well as 117, you know, it might just be teething errors with the servers on the first day, but it feels to me like it's running in some ways a little bit worse. It seems a bit more buggy, like the like the stamina glitch that happens when you're uh, when you're running and run out of stamina and then the game starts like rubber banding. That's come back and that seemed to have gone away. Does it not really encourage camping? I don't know, Ricky. I don't think many people are going to get a claymore and then sit at a heli for like hours and hours. And people might do it once, but I don't think it encourages camping. No, I think it. I could be wrong. It hasn't seemed to so far. I I don't know. I when tripwire traps first came in, I left one and then watched it for ages until someone stood on it. But then I didn't do that every day thereafter. I did it once, and then that was probably it. You know, I did it once or twice. You know, like. When the novelty wears off, people just use them situationally when they need to use them, kind of thing, you know? Oh, yeah, leaving a claymore on the orb and then blowing people up. That is going to be... You have to be very careful for stuff like that. Why did it just stop? Thank you, Spider-Man. Very kind. Moons, yeah, I did. You're right. I did nearly miss it. I haven't actually seen any of those pox files yet on the ground in the game. I didn't see any experimental anyway. I just tapped double caps and it left it to on. I just did that dub, so I don't know, maybe it's because I'm playing a modded server or something, but if I double tap caps lock, it stays on. I ran past jam in the corridor, did I? I I'm not paying enough attention. A good shout, I'll go and grab it. Oh yeah. I was too busy looking at this. Apparently they spawn on the floor in after a dynamic event. Okay. Uh, Real Veli, yeah, we probably have got a donate link for some rats, uh, but yeah, he does have a link. I've linked it in, certainly my early Namask videos all had it. I maybe haven't done it lately, but my early Namask videos had links in them.
But yeah, du double caps lock just brought it up. Yeah, there will, be, there will be something in the Discord. Where's the best place to get NBC gear on Chernerus? Tissy. Tissy's the best place. It's also the most dangerous. There's loads of other places. Northeast Airfield. Any fire station and medical building. So there's there's like Summit Chennai Plana and Novo. There's a medical in Krasnostav. There's a fire station and a medical in Berezino. It's possible, if you're really lucky, to get an entire gas zone loop from a Berezino spawn by not going much further than the Northeast Airfield and maybe Chennai Palana. You know, you can get them real quick, but you need to be lucky. Seems quiet here. The, the, the server is full, by the way, guys. It's a full server, so uh, it should it should contain plenty of peeps at some point. But it seems quiet right now. That other server felt like everywhere I went there was about six people already dead and another six trying to kill you. You know, this one feels much more sedate, and it's still full. Oh, we've woken them up now. That's good. Some fucker's been looting this. It's not got a lot in it, is it? I did speak too tame, for sure. Uh, Dynamite Dan, thank you very much for the five months. Elite, MVG Lily, thank you very much for the ten months, dude. Mm. Just realised I've not spawned with a... Uh I've not spawned with the, the uh, flares, the road flares haven't spawned in. If you find a hatchet or anything like that, you can get bark soon enough, I guess so. XQC, how many viewers was XQC getting streaming DayZ? That is amazing. It is a very good thing, that, you know, it is a very good thing, and, and I hope it carries on. Uh, people like Summit and Lyric in particular that used to play DayZ, DayZ like all the time years ago. Uh, them playing DayZ, I really think it's good for the game and, and it's nice to see them playing it again. Like they're like like OG DayZ streamers, you know. They both started out kind of on DayZ. So it's cool to see them back, you know. But partly when that kind of happens, you know, soon enough, like next week, there'll be some Tarkov streamers playing it or something, you know. And no, not no detriment to it. Again, that will be good. So it's not a negative thing. It's all good news, I think. But usually, it's a sign that there's a little bit of a dearth of other things to play. <laughs> uh, I'm very good, glad they're playing Daisy, and I hope they carry on. But normally, that means that there's no new games on the horizon. Whatever they're playing right now is a bit dead, because they come back to the old faithful. You know, they come back to the old faithful, and then a new game comes out, and all of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> But I hope it carries on. I hope it carries on. And, and people like, like like Lyric and Summit that used to play Daisy loads, it is really good to see them playing it. And that, that's Twitch, though, by the way. Just talking about that there, there's no malice in that. It is Twitch, you know. Like, people should play the game that they want to play, you know. That nobody should be playing Daisy if they don't want to. You know, there's no loyalty or, or no. there's nothing wrong with what I just described. But uh, a lot of the times it happens, like... Sometimes some of the Tarkov streamers will come back and play Daisy, but when they're completely, absolutely bored shitless of Tarkov, and fair enough, you know, that, 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 that's fair enough. The odd one that does nothing but moan about Daisy while playing Tarkov and then comes back to Daisy when Tarkov's a bit boring, you know, that, that's a bit frustrating, but there ain't many of those, you know. I think that's a bit annoying. I shouldn't do that, should I? I 
guess it's not very fair to say Tarkov streamers. People do that. It doesn't mean they're Tarkov streamers, but it does happen. Right, well, we've got an absolutely... It was a waste of time coming up here, really, but I don't check many of the big ones. I was just kind of hoping that there might have been something decent. <sighs> yeah, Sanko, I, I did kind of half intend to play it when... Uh, when they introduced uh, VoIP, it kind of gave me a bit of a maybe I should try it kind of feeling, but I never did. Probably should have, but... Uh, little Boris, I don't agree with you, dude. I don't agree with you. Uh, it does have bugs, you're right, but I think Daisy deserves attention. It's the best open-world survival game of its type on the market. I don't agree. I, I, it's still being developed. I wish it had more attention. Uh, but, I don't know. Compared to other games in its genre, it's, it's of its type, it's the best one available, you know. I wish there was uh, a better version coming, probably from Bohemia as well, you know. But right now, there's nothing better. And I like suggesting that Daisy doesn't t deserve attention, but say Tarkov does. Tarkov has plenty of issues and plenty of problems and so on, just like other games do, you know. So I don't think Daisy is any different to most other games in that regard. The thing that Daisy has done has is it's uh, it's remained some kind of popular since 2013, which I think is a big achievement. Not many games do that. Spook, I, I think it does do well at, at certain things. It makes you feel in the adventure you're in. I, what I love about Daisy more than anything else is the randomness, you know. You can you can have some sprawling, long-running adventure and then you can die and have some really funny moment that was that was amazing too, you know. I, the randomness of it is what keeps me interested, but yeah, I, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of sort of things to like about it. Love, never leave me, Paul. Little Boris, dude. Well, uh, you're here watching the watching the stream, though, right? It'd be nice to to not just t turn up to be a bit negative, you know. I just look through your chat history; it, it's not the best. <laughs> I just look through. I can see you telling me how much money I earn about five messages before, you know. Like, I don't know. Maybe come in and be a bit positive, or don't come in. Whichever you like. <laughs> whichever you like is good for me. Uh, but. I don't know. You're entitled to your opinion, by the way. If you don't like DayZ, you don't like DayZ. I, that's, I completely respect it, but I do like it. And I've been turning up here since 2015, listening to people bitch about it. It gets kind of annoying after a while, you know? <laughs> How many years do I have to listen to it, you know? <laughs> uh, Imperious Zen, thank you for the 33 months. Dynamite Dan, thank you for the five months. You're very, very kind. What's the point of the watch you spawn with? To be honest, it doesn't do a great deal. I think it was added... Obviously, you can tell the time with it. But there's not a great deal of reason to need to tell the time, you know. It, you, can, you can maybe plan a little bit if you're wanting to avoid night time or work out how long till daytime or whatever, maybe. But I fucked this up. I fucked this up. That's annoying. And now I've not done that correctly either. It's kind of frustrating that two sticks isn't enough. It's, it's given me the plus symbol. But it's not enough to defrost the, uh... Fuck's sake. Now I need another hand drill kit as well. I'm going to be in exactly the same boat again with two sticks. Like, to be fair, I'm not trying to dig you out on your opinion, by the way, Boris. You're entitled to it, you know? You're entitled to your opinion. Of course you are, you know? Like, that's fair enough, but... I don't know. I just, uh... 
I, I don't think it works that way, you know? People play games because they like them or they don't, and games deserve attention if there's fun to be had in the game, you know? Like, I, I don't think it... I, I don't really agree, and I certainly think the Daisy Devs have got some things wrong. Let me rephrase. Bohemia have got many things wrong. Uh, I think they've just fucked up the Armour Refrogger launch as well, you know? Bohemia do make... They, they like to fucking uh, kick themselves in the knackers when they do anything, you know? They really do. Uh, but also we don't see the insights as to why they do those things and maybe how they need to pay the wages and have income to do so i don't know but i, I think there are some issues but i love daisy it's my favorite game of all time you know i'd rather i'd rather think about that i want daisy to get some popularity and i think it's good that xqc and summit and lyric play it to be fair lyric and summit they started on daisy it was part of their birth on twitch as far as i remember i think lyric and summit both did you know so it's cool to see them coming back and play it. And and Daisy on Twitch is uh, Daisy is a smallish game, but for Twitch, it's actually been quite a big part of it over the years. You know, I, in a way, you know, a lot of the big streamers, even Shroud, kind of played a lot of Daisy in the early days and plays it a bit now. You know, it it is kind of in the in in the Twitch culture in some ways. You know, in 2014, it was the third biggest stream stream game on Twitch. I think you know it was like League of Legends and then CS:GO and then DayZ, as far as I remember. You know, uh, I I think it's kind of cool to see it getting a little bit of that. And and to be fair, I think the devs are doing a good job as well. The devs that are here are doing a good job with the the limited funds they're being given. You know, they are mo making the game better. Uh, I just don't think they have got a whole world of uh, a whole world of money to be fixing stuff. You know. And, and you, I saw you mention the hand state bug. It's it's such a pain in the ass. The hand state and the weapon raise bug, but they're all related to server desync. They're all related to to desynchronization and the, your client and the server disagreeing. And they fixed a lot of what causes it, and it's not any better. You know, I, I hope it does go, but it's a big problem. Bi earned fifty two million in twenty twenty alone. Great. Fifty-two million dollars. That's their that's their turnover, though, right? That's not what they earned. You, you understand how businesses work, right? Like to give you an example, a small supermarket in my town, like my my Tesco's in my town, will take fifty-two million pounds in a year. It's probably a million pound a week supermarket. It's not making fifty-two million, is it? That's not how the world works. So no, that that doesn't mean they've got fifty-two million and everything's rosy. They they might have invested forty five million, and they so of that fifty two million, Steam probably take fifteen million. You know, never mind anything else. You know. But yeah, I, BI are doing okay. But you you find me a company that did well in twenty twenty, so that makes it okay for them to lose money in twenty twenty two, and I'll find you a company that goes business, goes bankrupt. You know. That's not how it works, is it? Nobody. Like, if, if you're a, I don't know, if you're a plumber, and in 2020 you had a really good year, it doesn't mean you retire and you don't need to earn money in 2022, does it? You still have to earn. That's how businesses work. They don't they don't work on, uh, oh, we had good money two years ago, so let's stop selling anything. Mike, no, you won't get to keep it. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> Why is Steam taking money off Tesco? Oh, who knows, you know, I don't know. Uh, Gaben's got fingers in many pies, it seems. <laughs> Kevary, well, there are plenty of servers that will suit what you're looking for, dude. If you want a more lightly modded experience, there's loads of them. There's loads. I'm playing on one right now, you know. There. There's loads of lightly modded or no modded servers out there. There's maybe not as many and it's not quite as popular. So lightly modded or no modded is not as popular as uh, heavily modded. It's not, but there, there are lots of options for you, dude. Oh, fucking hell, get around the there, you twat. Well, most servers I play in are lightly modded gene bands. Pretty much, well, all of them are. All of them are. All of all of the ones I play on, I would class as lightly modded because, for me personally, 
my barometer for heavily mod modded is things like infinite stamina and trader bases and things that take it away from being a game that feels like the one the devs made, you know. Probably might have pushed it a little bit there. I wanted to drink more though. I, I did just eat a full full jar of jam. I don't normally loot these, but we might just get a lighter or something. Maybe some matches. Well, not very much at all, I guess, is also possible. Right, I think we're going to try and find a bit more food and then I think we're going to get away from here. <laughs> Professor, yeah, well I've been playing quite a bit of Namask lately. I, uh, I have been kind of enjoying Namask a bit more. I, I had a bit of a break from it and now I'm back on it. I'm really liking it again. Run through three zombies with uh, with no stamina. That'll definitely help your situation, Paul. All right, let's get in here. That does not bode well. Just in case there's somebody at the top of the stairs and I get the chance. Was Kim Co good? Uh, Gravy, I, I've talked about it a bit earlier, not that that matters, but yeah, I, uh, Kim Co I've not tried today, but I, I was just, I'm really knackered and I wanted to just do something that I could just enjoy and not f concentrate, if that makes sense. I really enjoyed Kim Co, but I, it requires a bit more f concentration and I haven't got any. Uh, I'm going to carry that character on. I want to use it for a video at some point if I can, but. I felt really, really fucking knackered this morning. I, I stayed up with the dog and I didn't get to sleep until about half two, nearly three a.m. last night, and then I was up at half seven. And I just, yeah, t for today is, uh, today is Namask and Chernerus and stuff like that. I haven't got the. Uh, it sounds like such a stupid thing to say, but I haven't. I'm not in the right frame of mind to t really try and focus on a character I actually care about and really like play a map that's much harder. Where you've got to use, like, an entire mag to kill one fucking zombie, you know? I, I just don't think I'm there today. I was up all night dogging. The dog is incredibly cute. Uh, and I'm, I, my missus is... I can You can tell she's happier, you know? She, she really... She's, she's wanted a dog for ages. In fact, she, she had bought this house. She hadn't moved in, but she'd agreed to buy this house before we got together. And her reason was so that she could get a puppy, you know, that was the whole reason she was moving house, you know, to get a puppy. So it's been a long term goal of hers and she's really, really happy about it. So am I, but my fuck is it tiring at the moment, puppies are like babies. I think the, the best engine for DayZ right now is the engine it's on and anyone that says otherwise is probably talking bullshit to be honest. That, uh, it, that that subject has come up a lot, but lots of lots of positive things about Unreal Five, I guess. But like, it's so hard. Like Daisy is just not a typical game. It it needs a, a certain set of things that most other games don't, like dynamic loot and so on. You know, infected and they, it needs to be persistent for months and months and months on end. You know, like that's not something that most engines have to do. It's a, it's just not not something that happens. Hey, how do I stop being completely awful at PvP? Uh, don't do what I do. Don't do what I do is a good start, you know. Don't do what TRMZ does. <laughs> uh, uh, good question. 
to be honest, I think the more PvP you do, the better you'll get. It, it, a lot of it is about staying calm and thinking, you know, like, it's not all about, uh, it's not all about aim, it's a lot to do with thinking and making good decisions and you'll win as a result, you know, make a bad decision and you'll lose. Uh, that, that is a big bearing, so the more you do it and the more calm you stay, the better you'll do in the long run. Uh, there's a few other things as well, to be fair. I'd, I'd suggest if you're on PC, you play a PvP deathmatch server, like, every time you're going to play for four hours, play, like, half an hour of a deathmatch server before you get on DayZ, you know, like, if you're playing for the evening, play a little bit of deathmatch first. One of the things that you need to do, though, if you do deathmatch, you need to treat it like it matters, like DayZ, so set your hotbar up to be the same as how you have it in regular DayZ, and play it like you don't want to die, and play it like you're, you're practicing, you know, like... Play it to stay alive and get as many kills as you can on one life. Don't just run around trying to get five kills and 20 deaths. Try and get five kills and one death, you know? Like, try and play smart and keep your character alive. Think about positioning and stuff. Uh, deathmatch servers will help you a lot with the hotbar and the fluidity of changing weapons and so on. If you play the deathmatch server the same as you play vanilla, you know, like with the hotbar and everything. This was a good one. I picked the middle one because I thought we might get better loot because people often miss it and we did get good food. Uh, the other thing you can do, I haven't used Aim Labs for a long time, but if you're struggling with Aim, Aim Labs is really good. Aim Labs is uh, software that's free for PC users and there's lots of different Aim training you can do on it. And if you do like 10 minutes of Aim Labs every day, your Aim will get better. You know, even if you're like the CSGO player or something, it, it would still help. Probably more so for a game like CSGO than DayZ, but stuff like that can help too. You can do a lot more aiming in five minutes on Steam Labs than you could do in five days on DayZ, you know. So in terms of practicing your aim, you can do a lot more a lot quicker that way. I don't, I don't really want to have a big debate about the state of Daisy and what's right and what's wrong, you know. Like, there are problems with it, but the reality is that the people that are here, by and large, are here because they kind of like it. And I'm, I'm here because I love it. I, I started my channel on my favourite game. I started YouTube for, for Daisy, and I, I love Daisy. It's my favourite game. It is my job to stream it now, but I think the fact that I love the game was a big factor in me growing and sticking with it since I started, you know. Like... In, in a month's time, I'll have been playing DayZ. Uh, well, I know. I'll have been making content on DayZ for, for eight years, you know. And I, I've primarily done DayZ and nothing else. I think that's because I like it a lot. And what's kind of cool is that Twitch is about like minded people coming in and enjoying or liking what they like, you know. And sometimes it's a real downer when it's just people coming, coming in and wanting to change that dynamic. It's nice to have a bit of positive and. In the last couple of years, there's been a whole load of fucking positives about DayZ. Despite a few negatives, without a doubt. You know, there's a whole lot to be thankful for in the game. Uh, to be honest, two years ago, I didn't think it would be getting developed now. So the fact that it's at least getting some ticking over, I'm glad about. You know, I, I thought it would be dead in the water by now, by now, and it's not. And they're still recruiting, which might mean that they might keep it ticking over next year as well. Who knows? I don't know, but I'm glad it's at least getting some attention. I've not actually found a grenade launcher yet, Sabretooth Tiger, so I, I've not tried it to really have a have an opinion. I, I don't know. I, it might be OP, it might not be OP. I, 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 I've died to it, and it made me smile when I did. But if I die to it every day, it'll stop making me smile, you know? We'll see how it goes. Well, I, I die to the, to the weapon raise bug or something quite often, you know, but I guess because I'm playing so much. Yesterday I had a situation where I probably would have died anyway, but I couldn't raise my gun. It just wouldn't raise, you know. These, it is frustrating. There's, there's no denying it, but uh, there's plenty of games that have bugs that are still fun, you know. Right? Plenty of people love Tarkov and it has its issues, you know, server performance-wise, for a start. Like, I, I, I stopped playing Tarkov when people were killing me and I couldn't see them and then they leaned just as I died, you know, like, I'd been shot like eight times and I only saw them when they leaned and it looked like I'd been fired at once, you know, I, I stopped playing Tarkov then, you know, like, that, I'm sure it's a lot better now, but that, that's what I mean, like, 
For some reason, the bugs in Tarkov frustrated me, whereas the bugs in DayZ, I kind of can deal with it somehow. I don't know why. Almost two years. Love the content. Keep it up. From a Chelsea fan, I disliked you a tiny bit that day. JK, <laughs> keep on running. Deadly TRM swords. Z goal Z, TRM Z goal Z. What can I say? Uh, between Chelsea and Liverpool, Liverpool are slightly better penalty takers, and that's about it at the moment. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Deadly Swords, thank you very much for the resub. Also, Bread Unbread. Sorry it took me a little minute to see your resub. Sorry, your new sub. Thank you so much for the support, dude. Thank you for the new sub. Really, really kind. Thank you. Uh, likewise, did I loot the other one already? Likewise, uh, Buzz, thank you for the 10 months. And Huck, Huckmeister, thank you for the bits. I don't think I looted the other one. There's, there's two. I think I came up and looted the one. I don't know. I came out of this one, didn't I? I've got the other side to loot. <sighs> I always go for that ramp, and you don't need to. I don't know. I always go for the ramp. I don't know why. Right, I think that's me done with this, uh, this shithole. Go down the next one. Then. Yo, I, I I can see the allure of Tarkov. I really enjoy Tarkov to a point. I I think boring is a subjective thing, you know. Like, I, 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 people like Tarkov and some people don't, and so on. But it's it's clearly done a lot for uh, for for PC tactical shooters. You know, it, it's the most popular one. Uh, and it clearly has some pos positive points. I just find myself getting a bit bored, you know, like... I get so what now itis in a way, in that game, that I don't get with DayZ, and that's just the way I'm built. It's not really to do with the game. I, once I've got my stash to a certain level, I couldn't give a shit anymore, and I don't want to play it. house over here. I might go and loot that house right quick. Uh, thanks for the follows as well. There's quite a few follows that just came through. Thank you as well. Uh, making sure I've not missed anyone. Imperious Zen, dude, thank you for the 33 months. Never leave me. I'll try not to, but I did ignore you. Sorry, dude. I've got a serious case of the munchies going on at the moment. I need to get my stomach shrunk again. I, I've had... Uh, I, I got my hair cut, and next to it is a baker's where I live. And so I, I went and bought a gluten-free loaf. Five fucking pounds for a gluten-free loaf of bread from the local baker's. But it is amazing. It's the only good bread that I can have. Like, if it was regular bread, you'd think it was okay. It's like about the standard of kind of average okay fresh bread. Which, for gluten-free bread, is like fucking orgasmic. It's like the best bread I can possibly have. And I've had, like, uh, for, for lunch today, I had two slices of it lightly toasted with, uh, with two fried eggs, bacon, and beans. And it was fucking glorious. I would have paid ten quid for it in a restaurant quite happily. It was, it was so good. And then after that, I've had, uh, I've had a little packet of Walker Salt and Vinegar Crisps. And another slice of the bread, just because it's good. And I'm now, like, three hours later, like I haven't eaten all day. I, there's something wrong with me at the moment. I need to stop eating. I'm a greedy fucker. Five pounds is what in US dollars? Uh, about seven at the moment. About seven. The, the pound is getting worth less than the dollar. Look, well, the comparison is getting closer, so it's... I think it's about 1.2 at the moment, so it's a, probably about six, six, six fifty dollars. But the pound has gone down, like, plummeted like a stone lately. It, it was higher than that, like, six months ago. Uh, bear you, Billy. Yeah, I, the problem with getting a bread maker is what I'm actually doing is saying to my missus, please, will you bake me bread on a daily basis? And I'm not really keen to do that right now. I'd rather keep my knackers.
Ipswich Town new shirt comes out tomorrow. Looking forward to it. We've got to buy three shirts. Uh, do you own any football shirts? Not any recent ones. No, the last football shirt I bought was the uh, uh, the orange uh, orange. I think it was the third kit. Oh god, I'll be sick here, aren't I? The orange third kit with the dark blue sides. Uh, when the year Liverpool beat Arsenal in the uh, the FA Cup. Michael Owen scored two goals after the Arsenal won one nil up. And it might, it might have been two thousand and two. It might have been a bit earlier. I can't really remember. Somewhere around then. How much bread do I eat? Hardly any because I'm gluten and gluten free. So I don't hardly eat any bread. Like next to none. Like real bread. I don't eat any. You know, like gluten free bread. That's I get that five pound loaf. I, I, the last one I had was about. Well, it's not the last time I had my hair cut, the time before that, so it was about three months ago. Something like that. It's great, but £5 for a loaf of bread, just the, the principle of that is enough to make me not do it regularly. I'm not saying I'm an alpha male, Bear Jew. I'm just saying I don't have the time to do it. That's what I'm saying. I've, we, my missus got me a soda stream as like a little... When I moved in, she, she saw I was drinking a lot of like... At the time, I was drinking a lot of mineral, like fizzy mineral water, you know, like sparkling water. She got me a soda stream. Uh, she, one, one Christmas, she got me a coffee maker, like a Tassimo type thing. And, uh, I don't know, about a year ago she got me a Velvetizer, which is like a hot chocolate mixing thing. The Soda Stream and the Tassimo have already gone on Facebook Marketplace, and the, the Velvetizer hasn't been used since, I don't know, November, you know. The bread maker's just going to be another one of those. I don't want any more things that sit in the cupboard under the stairs or get sold for a fiver. Yeah, th that's the last shirt I had, the orange one. I did... I also had... I had a Leicester City shirt when Martin O'Neill was the manager. Well, Walker's one, a blue one. And I had a Burnley home shirt from... I don't know, around the same kind of time. About the same kind of time, Martin O'Neill, Leicester time. Uh, I'm a Liverpool fan, but I was born in Burnley and I used to hit, live right near Leicester, so I just picked them up. When I moved to Suffolk, uh, I, uh, I picked those up as like a little memento of... Oh, I missed something there. Where I kind of used to be, if you like, you know, so I picked the pick them up. I bought the Burnley one from the Burnley Cub Club shop in Burnley. I couldn't understand what the dude was saying, and I used to live near there. I like the idea of a bread maker, but I don't know. There's quite a lot going on right now with the puppy and whatnot. I don't think it's the. Uh, I don't think it's the top priority right now. I'll just make do with pit breads. It's safer. It turns out getting a puppy. Uh, is not it, it does not do wonders for your sex life, right? What it means is, like, I'm on the sofa downstairs for a few hours while my missus gets some sleep, and then I come to bed at about 2.33, and then she goes downstairs about 5, and in the middle we're asleep. And so, yeah, that basically don't get a puppy if you want to have sex. <laughs> Happy anniversary. The streams are amazing as always. Keep up the fantastic work. It's a Welsh Springer Spaniel. Uh, Grimlocky, thank you for the 10 months. That's really, really kind. Mitch, thank you for the gifted sub as well. That's that's very cool too. I hope you're good, Mitch, dude. Having a puppy is like having a toddler. It, it, it's, it's, it, it's, it's different, but puppies are more fun. That, that, I think puppies are more fun anyway. <laughs> that's not, it's not like a comparable love, maybe, in some ways. I think, in fact, I think it is pretty close, you know, but... Uh, yeah, I... Uh, I don't know. There's slightly less entitlement from a puppy. <laughs> uh, well, I'd pr I, I might think about getting an Ipswich shirt navigator if I moved further away. But I live in a town that has a small football team, like a really small team. They're not, like, the tiny. So, to be honest, I'd probably go for, like, my hometown's club rather than Ipswich. I'd like to see Ipswich do well. I, I think it would be good. I think... They've been languishing down, uh, down in in the the under, the undergrowth, if you like. They've been in the uh, the upside down for far too long. You know, it'd be 
it'd be good to see him do well. I could maybe make rope with those rags and save a few, but... Did I come up here? Did I go up here? Grim, Mitch, thank you very much. I still haven't seen a single episode of the new Stranger Things. I need to get on to that. How hard is the mouse? It's a lot harder than Vanilla Chernerus. It's a lot harder. The sp getting out of the spawns is a lot harder. Uh, Namowski is definitely harder. It's easier to learn the map, but having a long running life is is tricky. You've got to you've got to think about what you're doing a bit more. Like being here, I'd say this town that I'm at here, it's roughly fifty fifty. If you've got no gun, especially like I'm in right now. Well, I have got a gun. I just haven't loaded it. So. It's less than 50-50 if you've got a BK-18 and you don't fucking load it, but... Uh, I, maybe it's not 50-50, but one in three times you come in this town, you'll die. If you come here on your own and you've not got a gun or you've got a kind of crap gun, I'd say one in three times you're going to die. Roughly. Or one in three times you'll be put in a situation where unless you do amazingly well, you'll die. King Cooper, I've never played a console version of Daisy because I've been playing it since 2014 on PC. I've never really felt the need. I'm set up to stream Daisy on PC, and so going through all the rigmarole of trying to set myself up to stream it doesn't seem kind of worth it, you know, because it's so much easier and probably better to play and stream on Daisy on uh, PC. Those shots sound a little bit beyond the military base, but I don't know. There's an SKS over there. I'm kind of eager not to go and get involved with that for now. Early yard, you're going to be today's PC master race, are you? Yeah. Rigmarole is a real world, yeah. that a sporter
that is good. Too much junk here. That's been placed there so you can get on the roof, I would guess. Might have a quick look at this base. Didn't I just eat powdered like not powdered milk? Didn't I just eat rice? I just had a whole packet of rice, like really not very for long minute, many minutes ago. Really fucking yellow. I don't think I'm going to bother looting this base because it's it's terrible. It, it doesn't normally have a great deal of loot, and it's normally dog shit. I am light blue, which burns through your energy quicker. That's probably why. Holy shit. I was only well I act I'd already eaten a load of it dude so I'd already eaten a load of it then drank it a well and then ate the rest so it, that wasn't the only bit I ate I'm pretty sure it was a full pack of rice when I started scoffing it bollocks to that Eat the steak. <laughs> Shut your bum. <laughs> uh, Rasta, Crafty Lady, Sorak, Erica, thank you for the follows, and Mary as well. Ohio, uh, I, I think it's about 24, 25 Celsius here, which is it's it's actually really nice. I wanted wanted to go out for a, a pretty decent walk, but I, I didn't have the time. We're gonna head this way. I, Trying to work out where to go. I, I don't know. I, I guess we ought to do an outpost run. Guys, I, I don't think I'm going to do the mouse the whole day, but I'm going to have a crack at the outpost. But I'm going to do like one. I'll try and do one decent life, and then if I've still got time, I'm going to switch to another map. Maybe Livonia again. It's time to start running. But yeah, it's not. Like I said, it's hot in the title of the stream. But it's actually about my ideal temperature today 24, 25 Celsius is lovely. I love it. Only 18 Celsius, is it? Fucking hell. You poor bastard. Where are you? Lapland? <laughs> I'm still a bit pissed off about my last death on Livonia. I, a fucking dude shows up and I don't have the patience to stay still. He probably would have gone to the well. Forty nine in Dubai. Well I guess it's always hot in Dubai, right? Okay, now that is crazy though. Forty nine, Jesus. Had to mow the grass, did you? Ooh. Uh quiet man, a few people have mentioned it. I didn't see that he played it, but yeah, that's cool. I, I did ask this earlier and someone probably answered, but how many people were watching XQC went like, what kind of views were watching? I, I mean that not because I mean, XQC is a huge streamer, but it's just interesting to know how many people watched him while he was playing DayZ. Like, how, how many people were in? Like, 60k, that is a, I mean, that, that's a lot, right? I know Summit and Lyric have been around and I know, I know them a lot better than I know XQC. 
Uh, I know of XQC and I know a little bit about him, but I've, I've never really watched him stream so much because I don't really go in. Summit and Lyric, I've both watched stream loads, but I've, I've not watched uh, XQC so much because he doesn't play games that I'm really interested in, you know. Uh, dead zombies. Guys, uh, I, I presume that timeout was for it, but we don't talk ill of other streamers, by the way, so uh, please, it, 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 opinions are fine, you're welcome to your opinion, but if we allow them to be expressed in here, it just makes my stream look bad, which we, I don't want, you know, so let's not start dissing other streamers, that's not a good idea. I mean, I, there's plenty of people that don't like me, right, but if another streamer's letting their chat badmouth me, then... Uh, I'd say that reflects on the other streamer, you know. I, I don't want that here, you know. Riddled hat, yeah, it might it might be a temporary thing. We did talk about it briefly earlier, but sometimes when stuff like that happens, it it's I Daisy is a great game of its type. I love it. It's my favourite game, right? But sometimes this happens most years, by the way. It's not like a new thing. It usually happens around about the time there's not much coming out around summer-ish. There's a dearth of other games. Tarkov hasn't had a wipe for ages. There's there's not much going on. There's no new game coming out until maybe September, October, November. And then people play DayZ for a while, you know. Uh, but it's still a real positive thing, you know. I'm glad. I think that's good. Brooks, yes. Uh, just not today. I don't think it means that we're going to see XQC playing DayZ, like, every day. However, if he does, great. <laughs> that would be fucking brilliant. <laughs> Uh, Doctor of Nothing, thank you for the Prime. John's Per, thank you for the four months. Riddled Hat, yeah, I, it, it certainly doesn't do any harm. It can go one of two ways, though. Sometimes, in the past, without talking about any individual streamers, a streamer has come and tried the game, and it's not been to the state where they really wanted it, and what they've then done is bitch about the game to 20,000 people, you know? Or however many it might be, you know, that that's like an arbitrary number. That's probably not accurate, but... Uh, and then uh, you, you get nothing but negativity for three weeks, you know, until everyone forgets and they've all gone, you know, like... Uh, like, what happens is people come in and say things like, why are you playing this dog shit, you know, and, and that happens for like two weeks solid. <laughs> uh, but nowadays that happens less, which does show some kind of improvement because sort of people play it and invariably have like enough fun to come and play it again you know which is much much better you know like uh, it's certainly much more of a positive thing now than sometimes it used to be there's been times in the past where I've seen a big streamer playing DayZ I would never have said it while at the time but that's filled me with dread not happiness I'm not really in that place anymore <laughs> like it doesn't fill me with dread anymore because usually they they might not play it much, but usually they they kind of find things they like, you know. Dusk, no, I changed servers. I got killed, unfortunately. I found some really good gear at the docks and then got killed at the docks. 
but I've switched servers. I, I don't know what was up, really. It might have been something to do with, with mods on, on the, the other server and the patch, but it was just rubber banding a lot, and so when I died, I switched, switched to a different server. This server's running much better. But it's not got the same mods on it, so it's probably related to it. We definitely need a shotgun, don't we? Fucking hell. Hmm. I've got one. I guess I'll... I'll take the other. I think I will. Baseball bat. I'm coming back to do that tower. I just want to grab another stick if I can. I want to defrost my food, but I don't want to do it in here. It's a bit more dangerous than I would like. I ought to check that car as well, I suppose. Do I have a favourite map? Not really, no. I, I, I kind of, uh, I like to flit around. At the moment, I'm, I'd am i rather play Livonia than Chernarus. I know I played Chernarus a lot on the day of the patch dropped, but that was because the patch dropped, right? Uh, yesterday. Uh, I, at the moment, I, I'm kind of, I feel a bit jaded on Chernarus. I, I love it, it's one of the best maps in, game, in the game, but I've played it so much, you know. I kind of need a bit of a break from Chernarus at the moment, so... Uh, I'm kind of playing mostly Namaus, Deer Isle, and uh, Kimsey I'll be on again soon enough. We've been doing a bit more Essica lately as well. essica has been pretty fun, but I'm giving uh, I'm giving Chernarus a bit of a break, and I may well come back to it. Like every patch, I always come back to Chernarus, right? Certainly, but... Uh, and I, I do want to do a little bit more Livonia as well. We did some Livonia yesterday. We had kind of a good little adventure for a little while with a cool dude. Well, that's a fucking bust, isn't it? You normally get better than that. <sighs> How many sewing kits have I got? I'll just drop one of these. Can I light a fire there? Whoever built this tower was not a fan of handrails, were they? to me. I 
Okay, let's start. I'm going to start tidying my inventory because I've got nothing better to do. I, I don't normally bother tidying my inventory, but for now, I might as well put pistol rounds in there. Right? This is not going to be tidy enough, but it'll do. batteries together. Sewing so kits and repairer dealies. What else have we got to go back in here? Oh, there's more bullets there. We'll put you there. Well, this this has been fun. I, I, I feel like Amish Z all of a sudden. It's just like being ish. Like tidying your inventory and, and like pretending that you're you're a tidy person IRL. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he is. Somewhere in Spain, Ish's inventory senses are tingling. Yeah, I hope he's having a nice time. I'm sure he is. He's certainly gone to Spain at a time when it's going to be hot. Like people in the chat have been saying, it's 40 degrees there today. So he's certainly getting some some hot hot heat. I think we should put that there. Keep safer in the backpack. We've got the plus symbol already, that's good. We just need to... Uh, we need to defrost all of this food. That knife's warm, let's get rid of that one. There we go. Two knives is definitely enough. Now, I had three sticks on there. There's only one stick left and the fire's 500 degrees. There's, the food is still freezing. I think three sticks, three stick fire should be enough to make him go from frozen to, di to dry, personally. But I haven't got much patience and that might have an effect. I'm just putting another stick on because if, if, it, if it goes out, it's going to put the fire back down to 100 degrees and we'll be waiting for fucking ever. Do, do I not like that? All right, come on. Uh, drenched. Drenched. Okay, let's start eating some of this thing. Look at that, just in time. Spain isn't far away. Why not visit the Running Man's HQ? Uh, he might be outside looking through the window now, I guess. Oh, fuck. He'll, he'll be seeing me mithering about throwing up, I guess. That's not ready yet, is it? Why am I just putting that in there? It's not ready yet either. Let's leave that too. Modfest 2023. Yeah, it's, it's at uh, Vegas, isn't it? Paul's Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Golden Age. Yeah, I am. But there's a, ground, there's a first floor extension out the back he could probably stand on. Sorry, a ground floor extension. I have Umi Tan, but not for a long time. I haven't been to Ireland. I haven't. No, it's definitely on my. Uh, it's on my list. I just got to avoid Belfast. Not because there's anything wrong with Belfast, just because gravy's near there. <laughs> I'd actually quite like to go to Belfast. I think I'd be all right. I'd probably like to go to Dublin's, the one everybody knows of and goes to. I'd quite like to. I'd quite like to go to there. I'd quite like to go to Belfast as well, as well, to be honest. I'd like to go somewhere like off on the the west side as well. Uh, when I was a lad, I always wanted to go fishing on the River Shannon. It was meant to be like amazing. The River Shannon was like the place to go. <laughs> Vicky. Belfast and Dublin, two hours apart. That doesn't mean I'll go, though. I wanted to go to Boston when I went to New York, and I was in New York for nearly a week, and I didn't go. Right. Everything's dry. It's not going to stay dry, though, so let's ship some of this stuff out. 
if I put the I don't think they'll get wet in the trousers so I think we should try to get it get all the food in my pantaloons like that all right symboled up ah. but there's a slight problem I feel like it might kill me trying to get down there. Land on the friends. All right, Kitty. And for next trip, I'll, for my next trick, I'll, uh, I don't know, win the lottery on Saturday. Aim for the bushes. What do you think I am, Rambo? Oh, this sucks. Do I run or do I not? I didn't think I wanted to run, because if I'd ran, I'd have been double fucked. If I'd run, I think it would have cost me more health. So if I'd ran, I feel like I'd have probably gone over the fence. Uh, might not have done, I don't know. I guess we could try one another day. We'll try to work it out. But I think if I'd ran, I'd have lost more health, and I don't think that would have been good. I feel it's unfair to say that I've, like, Mr. Mr. Broken Leg Man's has called that one, Bigotty. I've been robbed by a game bug there. I've been, do you know what's probably happening? There's probably a fresh spawn looting my, my corpse right now, or what he thinks is my corpse. I probably should have made the split first, but I wasn't sure if I'd live or not, so I thought, fuck it, we'll just, we'll just go. What's helped me, though, is I was completely full health, so I've lost half health right there, but... It could have been worse. Oh well. This uh, this weather event is uh, excellent news for us, I guess. I've got to get some space to uh, carry some sticks. The leg's been broke a little while. I need, I need to make some space. I did all that inventory sorting. I'm going to fuck it all up now, aren't I? I think you need at least 15 sticks to go to the outpost. That's space for 15 sticks, I guess. I don't remember a time when splints weren't a thing toxic. I don't remember that. Even in like the original version of Daisy, I remember playing, like on standalone that is, you could get sticks to make a splint. You couldn't get sticks from a bush. You had to go into an area of woods. And if there was enough trees close together, you could look at the ground and search for a stick.
Buffalo Bill, dude, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Thank you for using your Prime sub on my channel, dude. Thank you. Mod was morphine, was it? Yeah, so standalones always add splits. That, that's, that's why I can't remember. Buffalo Bill, thanks a lot, dude. Very, very kind. Cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel. Just a quick reminder, guys, and, and it's, it's as per schedule, if you want to call it that, but there's no stream tomorrow because uh, tomorrow's Thursday. That's the edit day, so I'm going to get Sunday's YouTube video edited tomorrow. Uh, I will be streaming Friday, though. I've not got to get the kids, so I'll be streaming Friday. A wheelchair would be nice. Do you know what would be nice more than a wheelchair? I think what would be nice is if I could remember not to keep holding shift when I've got a broken leg and it doesn't make any difference. That would be a good thing. Now, I'm not entirely convinced I'm going the right way anymore. I could be turning myself around. Might be heading to the beach here, to be honest. It's, uh I'm going to keep following the sun for now. Metric, yeah, you definitely could. Have a good one, bro, my guy. Buffalo Bill, well, thank you. Thank you for that. Cheers for uh, checking out the vids. Oh, thanks, thanks to your friend as well. <laughs> uh, we're North Light is Mage. I've only just kind of done a little bit of the edge of the cutter and not much else. I'm heading towards the west side to maybe do an outpost run, but I need to... It'd be nice to get an assault vest, actually. Oh, God, this is going to be tricky. say maybe they, the, the wind is a bit stronger looking in the trees than maybe it might need to be. Seems to be mega bugged. Hi Bunza, hope you're good dude. It's really bad this, but I'm so used to issues with the sound and stuff. I hadn't even noticed that the sound was kind of buggy. like that there to be honest. Maybe the tree's not big enough. You should be able to light tree you should be able to light fires under a tree. That tree might not have been big enough. That one probably is. It is right by the fucking road though. Well this is good news isn't it? I'm going to try and get in this big group of trees here. I'm somewhere close to the military barrack. Uh, you can light a fire if you're inside a tree or the cone of a tree, but I don't think I was there. I don't think the tree was big enough. This one I'm pretty sure is. Prexel, I got bugged by a fire. I couldn't get access to a ladder on top of a tower just behind me, so I had to jump. Or wait there. Forever. <laughs> There was no getting down, I don't think. I don't think I could have cured it, so I, I just did what I did. Oh, 
one of the matches at Dow. That's why I can't really fucking find you, idiot. Sounds like it's stopping. The fog is actually the only reason that makes it safe to use this fire though, so if the fog dissipates, I kind of can't really be here, I'll end up getting myself killed. Would I call myself the Jack Bauer of Daisy? No, I wouldn't. I'd call myself more. Uh... <sighs> I can't even think of a decent uh, comparison. Uh, Daniel Stern's character in Bushwhacked. I forget. I forget the name of the character, but I'd say I'm more like him. Harry Maguire sit play. That's a bannable offence. I'd say. Uh, Artorias, thank you for the six months. That's really kind. Joel Solo, thank you for using your Prime sub on my channel as well. Uh, cheers for the support. Really, really appreciate it, dude. Fuck me. Hopefully the fire doesn't get spotted, dude. Thank you. Cheers for the support. Really appreciate it. The Jack Duckworth. Well, I'm gonna. If, if my glasses broke, I would tape them up for sure. Hi hey, Desert, hope months, you're good, dude. Months, you've helped Thanks me for escape work stress during lunch. Thanks. You're right, I don't yell enough to be Jack Bauer. I'm just far too calm, aren't I? Far too calm. Let's try these fuckers as well. I, th I don't know if they got damp when I took them out because my gloves were damp. Plus symbol should be any second. There we go. Storm's definitely stopped, so I think drying our clothes fully makes makes some sense. Anything else still wet? If it doesn't dry, it doesn't dry, but I'll, I'll give it a quick shot. File Transfer Pro, thank you for the 10 month inning. You're very, very kind. 10 months you've helped me escape work stress during lunch. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I hope uh, work stress keeps diminishing. Well, that's that. Thanks for the support, dude. Thank you, Confade, as well. Hopefully the fire doesn't get spotted. Yeah, I think we made it okay. Oh, I'm hoping that that's where the, uh, the, the little... Uh, I forgot my leg was broken, to be honest. That should be where the estuary is, just there. <clears throat> Chapzilla, the only good loot at the North East Airfield is at the medicals, you know, if you're looking to get gas zone stuff. Yeah, okay, that's good. Right, let's go this way, then. So you want to ch check all the medical tents, try and get, like, gas mask filter and NBC loot? Beyond that, not really. I did find an AKS-74U at one of the containers there, but that was more luck than anything else, I'd say. Hi, Wolfie. Yeah, you're right, dude. It was a bug, though, dude. It's not my fault. Not my fault. Honest, Gav. Not my fault.
Uh, Dirty Grinch, thank you for the 17 months. That's very, very kind, dude. I don't think I was handbug, Uncle Food. I think the fire was blocking the uh, the option to get onto the ladder, if that makes sense. Because the fire was there. The radius of the fire was stopping me being able to find the ladder. Because I could, if I hovered over the fire, it was still showing up. It just... The, 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 there was no getting off the ladder while that's there. Any tips for beginners? Uh, always eat yellow snow. Sorry. Yeah, I couldn't resist. <laughs> we never get yellow snow mentioned in the chat. <laughs> uh, there's a little Nightbot command that comes up that's kind of like my standard tip for Daisy, really. But one of the biggest things you can do with Daisy is set small goals, you know, just try and have fun. It's meant to be fun. I think I've gone the wrong way here, you know. This is not where I thought I was going to end up. We really have gone the wrong way, but it's fine. Anger. Uh, but yeah, I, when you're first starting out as a, as as Daisy, like maybe you've watched Tote play Daisy or something, don't expect to be making it to the Northwest Airfield in like 45 minutes, getting gear and getting a squad wipe. You know, <laughs> like set small goals and play it for the fun. Learn the map and learn the game. You know, take your time and learn it. it is a much better way of playing it than trying to go mad and like expecting to go ham with all the kills. So we could go left to the docks. So I think we're going to go that way. We're going to go on towards the the outpost, I think. Might as well. I'm collecting the sticks now. My leg's broken, right? So we might as well collect the sticks. I don't think my leg's going to be much more than a few minutes now. It's been 15 minutes since... I broke my leg and maybe a minute or two later I had a look and it was 15 minutes late since I looked so any minute now my leg should be healed certainly in the next three or four minutes top sort of thought are there any gas zones on the mouse only inside Athena 3 uh, on on the mouse you, you don't need uh, you don't need a full NBC suit for it though you only need a gas mask and a filter there's not much medical on it, so trying to find a full suit. I did nearly do one. I didn't know you didn't need one, so I was trying to find one. I think I was missing one item, like maybe gloves or whatever. But I think I was missing one item. But when I went to lend to you, you didn't need it anyway. You only needed the, the face mask. The, the gas mask. Leg is healed. There we go. Is this zombie? Oh. I'm going to get some bark as well. I'm going to get some bark because if my matches were to get wet, I'd rather have a backup. I think that makes sense. That down there is where we were fishing on the other server, just on that, that bit there. So we're not far from... Like, I went mooching over with red health and got over to the town relatively quickly. So we can get there pretty sharpish. Uh, Dirty Grinch, thank you for the 17 months, dude. Thanks very, very much. Might as well get three more. 
When was the last time I'd done a full Athena run? I haven't done Lantia for ages and ages and ages, but last week I had a good run to Athena 3. And me and a random went there and he jumped in and I think he got killed. And then I killed a dude inside, ended up red health. And they heard me and somebody grenaded me from the floor above. Like through the floor. It, it sucked balls that it worked. But they managed to throw a grenade and it killed me through the floor. Which I think sucks ass, but there we are. Do I need a fishing rod? I probably do need a fishing rod to be fair. I might just get one more long stick in a sec. I could have fitted that in but I don't, I don't want to fuck around. How are you going to fish without a hook? I'm going to get a hook from one of these boats. Failing that, I'll just drift to the town and... Uh, uh, failing that, I'll just drift to the town and get myself a... Uh, get myself a dead body cut up. Guys, while the server comes back, I can really quickly go for a, for a wee. I won't be a sec. Apticus, thank you for the five months. That's really, really kind. Thank you. Uh, Matt, Matty, uh, Matty, I don't think it's a bug. I think the devs know. Grenades explode and they kill kill you through things. I think, I don't think it's something you'd report as a bug because it was a floor in Lantia as well, so it's a modded area, you know. I think grenades, like, they, they changed it so walls and certain subjects in vanilla don't uh, block grenades a bit better, but on a modded map, I don't know. I don't know if it's a bug or not. I think it's just modded, you know. Underground areas are a bit weird, aren't they? Because there's no real like system in the game for underground areas right I'll be back in a sec guys won't be long Love ya, Paul.
Nice work, you done. Hold off slightly. I think I got away with it. I didn't spill much of it. I just caught my elbow on. My elbow the side of the wall somehow. I spilled. Spilled. I don't know. Two or three. Uh, Hove, thank you for the 11 months. Fire Dog, thank you for the 45 months, dude. Thank you. Sorry, guys, that took a bit longer than I wanted, but there we are. And then he just spilled it off the desk as well. Okay, let's crack on. Yeah, we were after hooks, weren't we? So I'm going to need a dead body. There'll probably be either a fishing rod or hooks on one of these boats. Uh, Wilkins, I don't know enough about Varane. I, I don't know enough about Varane, but I feel like Eric Dyer has kind of... Uh, i just not seen enough football, but Dyer seems to have really waned a little bit. I don't, I don't think he's the player... Just as, as Mourinho came into Tottenham, it looked like he was going to be back to his best, but he's never really got there, I don't think. But I've not seen enough uh, of the foosball to really... This last season, I've only really seen Liverpool play. Uh, Kazin, yeah, I think I'm going to go to the outpost. I've only got a BK18, so I'd quite like to, yeah. I have got some decent food on me, so... I could probably make it without fishing, but it might be nice to have a stick just in case. Yeah, sorry, have a... Uh, have a hook and a fishing rod just in case. I don't think there's many boats along here. I might be making a mistake. There's, there's, one, there's one or two the other side of that rock, I think. Wilkins, yeah. I, I don't know. I... There was a time I thought Eric Dyer was going to be a mainstay for England, but he's been well and truly pushed out by, uh, like, Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips and whatnot, you know. PRM dead ruining. Uh, made sick. Dude, thank you for the ten months. That's very, very kind, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you. and he's, got, he's kind of got a little bit better, is he? That's good. I, I, I did uh, I did see Liverpool play Spurs, but I don't even remember if Dyer played or not. I saw the Liverpool Spurs game, the game that ultimately cost Liverpool the points that won the would have won them the Premier League. So they drew one game in in like forever, and that was the game that mattered. Keep running, young man. TRM dead love. But yeah, uh, it's good that he's back back to form a bit, you know. Has there been much fallout? Sorry, guys. Uh, football, not soccer, by the way. Wildcats talk just for a minute. Uh, has there been much fallout in the press this morning about the 4-0 loss yesterday? I, I haven't seen any news today. I, I, has there been any, like, uh, Southgate out stuff? Nice 
not been able to watch much Absolutely recently. nothing. Mm, Apparently, interesting. I have to do work in exchange for my salary. TRM dead love. TRM dead love. Faustus, yeah, that sucks, dude. Ho hopefully, they'll they'll start paying you to do nothing soon enough, you know. I'm sure it is Exodia. Yeah, I'm, uh, when England beat Germany 5-1, uh, like it meant a lot then. That was a qualifying game, though. I, I guess this is Nations League, but yeah, it w I can see it would, yeah. And it's not just a 1-0 win or something, you know. It's it's a fucking absolute pasting, isn't it? 4-0. You could argue that they already do. England never beat Germany, except for when they do. Not enough, but they do. I vaguely remember them uh, beating Germany not so long ago. Arbo, uh, I, I am a little bit worried about it. I, I, I know England got to the Euros at final. And I think Southgate is a is a, an, an, a novel choice, and I think he's done a good job, but I fear he's a little bit too careful, you know. He seems to be turning into a young Roy Hodgson all of a sudden, you know. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but... And maybe I'm biased, but I can't believe Trent Alexander-Arnold can't get a game. When we can't create goals in open play, and the guy that's probably got the best assist record in the England team doesn't get a look in, you know, it doesn't make sense. Uh, Made sick. thank you so much for the gifted subs. You're very, very, very kind, dude. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a guy there. Put my gun away. Wait, we are missing someone. Roger. Roger. Yep. Okay. Everyone is. Okay. You're right there. So who's the guy with the backpack? Orange backpack guy. Hello. Got the backpack. Oh, he's got a backpack. Guy. Yeah. Well, where are you used to off to? Two. Well, there's two, isn't there? There's two of you. Sure. No, we are twenty-five. Hello. Well, where, 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 where are you going though? Right. Where? Uh, it was a civil, civil enough question. Where are you going? Are you going to the town? Where are you going? This way. Uh, are you going to the outpost or to the island? I don't know. What about you? Fully decided. Hadn't fully committed yet. I'm going to the outpost. This is for the Claymore kill giggled my ass off all afternoon. Alright. Well, there's three of you after all, is there? Do you, do, you, do you like company or...? Uh, not, not three's company. No, there's only three barracks. If you go with four people, then somebody doesn't even get to loot one, you know? Ah, Who's that yes, guy? Is yes, he with you? Sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do I do now then? Have you not got guns or anything? I haven't got any bullets. I don't. I don't know about them. Uh, I, well, what do you need? I, 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 I'm just going to go this way. Don't shoot me! One of them didn't really want to talk, and he I, he did give the impression that there was more than uh, there was more than two as well. When I said two, and he he went what two? I think he he got a bit confused, thinking I was one of his group for a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought might happen. It's only an, a sporter. Even if he hit me, I, it, I think he'd do well to kill me. That's not a sporter. That's a BK-18. got to start duking at the time when he's had time to load it. I 
I think we can make it. I think we can. I think we can. It's really, really hard to hit somebody swimming. I wonder if one of them started already. Swim, swim. No wonder he wasn't hitting. I can hardly fucking see him. That, I don't think they were easy shots. Like, looking back, I can hardly see them, you know? It, they, they, I don't think they're bad shots. We have an event on the way. Do you hear that? There's an event just started rumbling. So now they've got a gamble. I think they'll stay on the island. I don't think they'll go. I don't even know if I hit the guy. I don't think I did. Got a, am I quicker than three players? I think I am. I think if I go to the outpost, I'll be quicker than them. They'll drag each other down. They'll fuck around with the fires. They'll. I think I'm just going to go. I'm not. There's no firefight to be had right now. Uh, I could stay and see if they try to swim over, but I think they'll be thinking twice about swimming because I. One of the reasons I fired back was to let them know I had bullets to give them something to think about, but. Right now, what I'm thinking is I've got to get as far away from the ice as I can and then make a fire. My shot back at the dude was pretty close. I don't think it hit, but it was fairly close. It's just very hard to tell. This isn't snow that's going to get me wet, thankfully, so if I dry my clothes, this snow is not going to get me in trouble. I wish I had gloves that I could dry. Uh, they weren't mad they couldn't team up. They realised that I was racing over to get the loot, you know. I think they... I said to the fisher guy, I'm just going to go this way, and he couldn't really see where I was going. And then they probably collectively thought, he's going to go to the fucking outpost, and now we're not going to get the loot. Shoot him, quick, shoot him. But thankfully, I'd got far enough across, you know. That was, that was the thing. And now, the event's coming. It's a gamble to set off. Like, they haven't even swam, so... Or they, they may have swam by now, but... This, this is good. The further I can get, the better. I do need to make a fire and get the plus symbol, and I, I don't need to dry my entire outfits, really, but I need to make sure the boots and the, my gloves are dry, I suppose. I've got to do that. I don't really use the hand wraps, Master, uh, uh, master Race. I, I don't like it. I prefer the challenge of Namalsk. I think the hand wraps make it too easy, so I don't bother. You are absolutely right, though. I could make hand wraps, and that would sort me out. But... Uh, Nova King, thank you so much for the seven months. You're very, very kind, dude. Thank you. I hope you uh, are having a good, good day. Hope you're good. I got this sidetracked then by for a sec. Thank you very much, Nova King. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you as well. 
Hull Hawk, thanks for the bits. Uh, that, this is for the Claymore Kid Google my ass off all afternoon. Dude. Thank you very, very much. Uh, although it wasn't a kill, I was uh, that was a friendly Claymore. It only robbed the guy. That was friendly, you know. I could have run up and shot him in the head, but I let him go. And he got to keep some trousers and a jacket as well. Uh, I thought that was very friendly of him. Right? Taromi, thank you very much for the 17 months. I don't think YouTube will see it that way when I upload that to YouTube. But anyway. Made sick. Dude, gifting 10 subs. That's incredibly kind. And thank you very, very, very much for the support, dude. Light blue, we're now risking frostbite. We're going to have to get a rig on that. I do want to really book it though. I really want to get a move on. I don't think if I was... Well, I would. I'd be stupid enough to set off now. But I think I don't think those three are going to set off for the outpost now. I think they'll go to the island. And they'll try and get some loot. And I think they'll wait for me there. I think that's what will happen. Uh, I don't think I've killed anyone today. And I don't think I killed anyone yesterday either. I, I, I didn't actually kill him. But uh, it was I think that was worthy as of a last kill because it gave me the choice and it was epic. But I uh, i don't remember having a firefight. Oh, no, I did. I, I traded with the dude yesterday. So it would have gone down as the last death because I also died. I, there was two and I killed one and his mate killed me. But uh, it wasn't exactly full of firefighting last night. Maybe when I switched to... I can't remember if we went on Livonia or anything, we got any more kills, I, I, I don't know. Like I, like I tweeted on uh, Tuesday morning, I tweeted yesterday, there was so much PvP on Monday that that was it for the week. Oh yeah, I did kill a guy with a bear trap on Livonia, that was epic, that needs to go on to, uh, that needs to go on to YouTube, it does. I guess I could get shot in the back here, but it's probably not likely. Uh, I hope we get something decent. I think we probably will. I'd love to know why standing up made me stand in it. Weren't YouTube shorts better to gain subs? No, they weren't. They weren't. I the YouTube shorts didn't do a great deal for me, like the little one minute things, they didn't, they, they get good views, uh, well, for what they are, but they, they, they're not, uh, the only YouTube shorts that are really going to work on YouTube are the ones that are like TikTok shape, the, the mobile phone shape, I think, really. Uh, they get good views and they're easy to do, but they, uh, I don't think so. Dry gloves, there's no point yet, Ryan, they don't start drying until the fire gets to 300 degrees. So I'm absolutely going to, but there's not much point dropping. I can drop them now, but it doesn't make a lot of odds. If I don't, if I get the plus symbol and they're not, as long as they're damp, actually, it does, that would be good. But this the fire's taking a while, isn't it?
Uh, Hiromi, thank you again. Nova King, Hull Hawk, uh, Caleb, and in Made Sick, thank you very much. Uh, Faustus and Nice Folk, thanks a lot as well. Clothes do dry on your bo body without dropping them, but it takes fucking ages. A red-headed Tilda Swinton. Hmm. Z-Dub, yes, it will. Well, at least now we know it's drying. I might as well dry the rest. If I dry the rest, then I can... Uh, I can slightly improve my temperature and we're going to run. We're going to run from here. We're not making another fire. We're just going to have to run for it to make it before the event happens. So having everything dry, assuming we don't get a uh, cold event, will be good. Looking so intently for what's coming from behind. There could be someone coming the other way. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, okay. How is 118 treating you? Uh, yeah. I, I feel like one or two servers that were running better on 117 are running worse on 118, but that could be a lot to do with mods and how they're running right now, and they'll sort themselves out in the coming days, but so far so good. The Claymore yesterday was the best thing I've done in a while. I, I, I don't know, I might mind saying that. It probably wasn't as good as the Bear Trap a little bit later, but I, I think 118 is a bit of a slow burn for me. I, I still haven't found an M79. Uh, the major bugs are still there, and but... Like, it's going to increase the ability to do, like, fun things like wait at helis and blow people up with claimers. Also, I'm going to die to those things a few times as well, I guess, you know. But it, it, to me personally, it's not that dramatic of a change from 117. Lord Senpai, for getting to where I'm going, I'm actually following the water that's to my right. So I'm following the water to get there. Now... It's, I wish it didn't do it, but those, those snow, uh, s the snow winds you see there, like the little tufts of snow or the little wispy bits of snow, they they blow directly north. So that tells me that I'm running west right now, roughly, maybe north, like west west north kind of thing. But uh, I'm not using that anyway. I'm following the water. If I keep that water to my right and I keep going this way, I'll get to the outpost. Just Jacob. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's okay. It wasn't a problem today. Is there anything that the devs could add that would... Well, obviously the bug fixing Mickleman, making cars work like they do in armour, or armour reforger. Uh, like removing the hand state bug and the weapon raise bug. Those two in particular... I think the biggest improvement for the game could probably come from server performance if there's any way they can do it. But in terms of features in the game, which is probably what you mean, I think it's mostly quality of life things, you know. I would like to see a little bit more made of Livonia. They could massively improve, improve Livonia's map. I'd like to see them use the sea in Chernerus and, and maybe add... Assuming they've got cars working, I'd like them to add boats and maybe the odd, the odd aerial vehicle, but... Some stuff off the, in the sea on Chernerus, and then the ability to get there on a boat would be cool. I think that would be good. Yeah, you're not going the right way until you think you've missed it and then you see it, like, seconds later. <clears throat> I really would like to see some substantial changes to Livonia. I like the core of Livonia. It just, it, it's been so long and I, I don't know, it, it would be good. 
reckless read. Well, for me personally, it's only changed it to a small degree. I I got killed by a launcher once. I got killed by some kind of grenade explosion, the IED. I don't know what it was. I didn't see it, but once. Probably was a claymore, and they were baiting me to run into it, but I don't know. Uh... Beyond that, it's not really changed much. I, 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 I've killed somebody with a claymore yesterday. That, well, sorry, I knocked a monk on with it, uh, and that was cool. But I, I think they're, they're all small quality of life changes. I think they'll be fun and they'll add a small element of fun. But when the novelty's worn off, you'll use them sometimes and sometimes you won't. Uncle Food, yeah, they definitely. They said they were going to work on Livonia this year. There's, uh, there's no way it was only going to be a castle, you know, but. I, I, I don't know. Maybe they've been doing it like a big lot, a lot of work on it, and they're just keeping it quiet for now. Because a small castle doesn't change a lot, does it? Man? Oh, guy, I think it'll be a bit like tripwires. Like, I haven't tripped a tripwire in fucking ages. You know, when they first released them, there were more tripwires around. People seem to have not bothered using them so much. Yeah, Uncle Fruit, that'll be good. I am looking forward to that. Reckless Reed, well, I've not experienced that yet, you know, I've just not experienced it taking away from much, really, I don't know. Like, even the grenade launcher, if you, I've, I've looted loads, and I've been around a lot, I've normally only found three, three or four max of the, oh shit, of the gold top grenades, I didn't, it would be that quick. Oh, well. I'm only going to just fail as well. This is going to be one of those times where I don't just make it, I'm going to just miss it. see the outpost when I get the, uh, the other side of this. Oh, I was going for the container but I just couldn't quite make it. Maybe I shouldn't have waited until my backpack was dry. If I'd have left before that, we'd have made it. Uh, so we're going to be yellow health, possibly even just into red. It's not guaranteed death, Cutmo. You have to. If you're yellow health, you may well be dead. Yeah. I don't think I've lost quite 50% of my health there, because I wasn't quite full. So it's not the end of the world, but it would have been nice to make it. What the fuck? What have we got in here? Not much by the look of it. Belt, different jacket.
It's an SVD there. Oh, with a mag. Badly damaged, though. I don't have any bullets. It's all 9mm something there. Say I saw 9mm somewhere. Oh, there's nothing in the fire. That makes a refreshing change, doesn't it? Bamas. That's cool. The Famas is is uh, is damaged. Sorry, is worn. So it gives me an actual viable gun for close range. I think I might try and get that in the bag. That's the jacket. This is not quite enough. It's not quite enough gear, really. I, I, I know I, sh I should be very ha very happy to get the SVD, but if they're pushing me now, badly damaged. Oh, I've got a box of rounds. That, I didn't see it. That's good. I thought I'd found some. I really did think I'd found some, but I've died so many fucking times on this map uh, this morning. You know, I wasn't sure I was mixing characters up, but that's good. At least we've got some bullets then. No weapon cleaning kit, but at least we've got some bullets. So it'll probably last long enough to... Uh, to do is. In fact, now I can I can feel a bit more comfortable about dropping that. Now those three guys, they're probably going to want to come this way. Cold even in here. What the fuck is that all about? Uh. Tom, they, there was three guys about to swim over when I uh, when I I kind of pushed in the queue. They w they were about to swim over. I was like, "Where are you going?" And they were being a bit cagey, so I just started swimming. And then they started shooting at me as I was swimming over, but thankfully I got far enough so that they missed. So yeah, it's uh, there's three dudes not a million miles away. I don't think they... I've just had an event as well, so I don't think they're coming this way. Yet. I think they probably stopped at the island. Do I have a favourite item? I don't know yet, dude. I, I'm not one of those that uh, like goes in and tests them all in the offline mode or something. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but there's, I don't go and do that. So I've not fully had the chance to test it yet, so I don't know. I've not tried all of the newfangled stuff yet. I really haven't. So I think they might be waiting for me to come back. Yeah, I think they might be. So uh, Hence I'm gearing, gearing up as best I can before we go. Got a lot of junky bullets, haven't I? Oh well. Of 
got to be very, very careful. The uh, the FAMAS is great at CQB, but you're normally hip firing it, entertainment. and you waste quite a lot of bullets. And I've only got one mag, and very few bullets left to fill, so I can fire half a mag and fill half a mag up pretty much, and that's it. So I need to use the bullets pretty sparingly. It would be amazing to find a mine here or something and somehow try to plant a mine and then like wait somewhere so that their mine goes and then we can come and like try and like have them once they're a bit injured or dead. Jambra, thank you very much for the six months. PK, okay. Thank you for the 21 months. You're both very, very kind. Thank you. Not worried about night vision scopes, can't really be worried bothered with that. We have the plus symbol. We're back to white health. See what I don't know really is whether they will wait for me, and I think they might wait on the island, or whether they might gear up as best they can and then come and charge this way. I think they might got everything set up so I can watch you again. I think they might wait. I think they'd be mad to charge, because if they charge they're gonna be uh They're going to know that I'm more geared than they are, you know. That, like, there's three of them, of course, but they know, they're know they going to know what the gear's like here. It's much better than what they're going to find. A little bit disappointed there's no helmet or anything. There's a scope there, but not a good one. Oh, well. I'm not going to do anything else. Sometimes I go away from the base a little bit and catch some fish. And then come back and, like, kill the extra zombies. And then maybe some more loot has spawned in or something, but... I haven't got a fishing rod, I've got no reason to stick nearby, so I'm going to fuck it off and that'll be that. Yeah, there was a helmet in the container, but it's not one that will really do much for me. It's It, it wasn't a military helmet, so I'm not. it doesn't have a great deal of ballistics, so it's not really worth the bother. It was, a, it was a, one of those moto helmets or whatever they are. Saw the FAMAS. Saw the FAMAS. What do you propose I saw it with? Me cock. I did see the FAMAS. Alzanator. It's not a military helmet. It was one of the uh, motor helmets, whatever called. There was a saw in the container, yeah, but that, that was a hand saw. You need a hack saw. It has to be the it has to be the hacksaw, the uh, the regular wood saw won't do it. I'm pretty sure it was a handsaw, right, and not a hacksaw. I don't put batteries in the VSD unless it's dark, and then sometimes I do. I prefer it like that. I don't like the red. I make uh, I find it more accurate and more nice to, or nicer to use like that. Hi, chef. Hope you're good. Crowd control, uh, it actually does work well. Though. When you saw it off, it, all it takes off is the... Uh, it's not like the blaze or the mosin or something. It just takes off the hand the hand guard, the handle, sorry, that, the carry handle. So it takes this shit off the sights. It makes the sights really, really nice. Hi, Sam Reed. Hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. So part of me wants to go a little bit a different way when we get there, like maybe go a bit to the left and get get back across nearer the docks. I don't think we can go to the island. I think if I try to come back via the boat, I think they'll be around the uh, the hills. That some One of them will be on the boat. Maybe all of them will be on the boat, but I think they'll be around the boat or they'll be around the, the, the lighthouse and the, the rocks there. I, if they're not coming over this way, I think they'll be waiting for me. You know, I think they'll set a trap and they'll wait. I ain't in the, mo the mood for walking into that, really. I 
thank you. Oh, yeah, that rail mounts for a Mosin Just or an SKS. Say, keep up the great work, brother. Boom, thank you very, very much. That's really kind. I hope you're good. Thank you for the 17 months. Uh, I'm going to put the gamma up because we're getting into night time now. Uh, Luke, thank you for the eight months. Jambra, thank you as well. Uh, cheers. Uh, Dars, thanks for coming in. Thanks for checking out the stream as well. Thanks for lurking in. I am going to... I've, my missus just brought me up a, a sandwich. I've got a chicken mayo sweet corn salad sandwich. In actual bread. Gluten free, obviously, but actual real bread. But I'm going to eat a little bit of that. That's good. Evening, Paul and chat. Just starting to see some trees in the distance. I think we need to be a little bit careful of uh, We need to be a little bit careful of these. We could end up cresting a hill and they're like 20 metres in front of them or something. They might not have swam over, but I'm pretty sure they will I think they'll still be around that uh, base there. Fuck is it now to me? I guess that's one of the many benefits of the pita bread, right? They're a little pocket, whereas this is like doorstep bread and the filling's all falling out. Only because I'm eating it with one hand, not over a plate. Well, I kind of want them to wait for me in a way, but yeah. I need to piss a little bit too. Well, that's frustrating. Now the, uh, the weather's getting worse and the sky's falling in. I'm not going to be able to see them again. I suspect it won't be long before I can't see that boat, even though I'm getting nearer to it. Maybe not, maybe not. It's not actually that. It's not getting foggy. Not okay. Come on, come on. I'm no, I'm heading back to the main line. A little bit disappointed we didn't get any uh, night vision goggles there. That's the one thing you really hope you get if you do an outpost run with that, along with the gun. Actually. You can get uh, you can get AKMs there and so on. They could get they might have an assault rifle with us with a scope. They they may well have found something half decent, but I don't know. Hi Hutzler, hope you're good. Thanks for coming in. I really want to eat this sandwich and I'm struggling. I might just stop on a little man with no watch. See, the thing is, I've got no armour. Like, I haven't got, like, a stab vest or anything, so... Uh, if they shoot me with anything half-decent, I'll probably die. See any fires?
Pickle, the outpost is on the west side of the island, the submarine's on the east, yeah. Rapture, no, that character died, unfortunately. I, I died, I've switched services. Though. There's only one ship, Henry saying it's not real. We're running back from the sub and that's the military island. Guys, obviously I'm eating a sandwich, so my uh, my mic is a little bit further away from the mush for a minute. I would still expect them to be there, but I'd expect there to oh. expect there to be a fire, there is a fire. this sandwich and try and kill three dudes. I'm gonna put the uh, put the mic back for a minute. We'll worry about eating the sandwich once I'm dead or they are. I can see a light on the right hand side there. too close to it. I didn't think I'd get this close to the boat. This is not good choice. Possible that could be a smoke screen and they're on the boat, you know. It might be uh, they might there might be one of them over there and two of them over watching, you just don't know, but I should have gone round a bit more. I, I, I should have gone to the right a bit more, I think. I'm going to have at it a different way. I think that red might be a zombie. I don't know. If I've got to swim there, then I'm going to go to the boat. I think the way that red is taking its time, I think that's a zombie. So I think I'm going to try and get in the boat. I'm going to have to dry my clothes and get the plus symbol. I, I think I've got no choice. Drunken Monkey, I think they're back on 118. It was a bug, they weren't intended, it was an unintended bug. On one or two servers they were still spawning on the zombies, but on, one, on many servers and on stable it was, it was bugged. But it's been fixed.
that freeze? Oh, that's a fucking annoying thing, isn't it? I shouldn't really use that, but anyway, let's do it anyway. This is lighting. I didn't think it was going to light it up. It is doing. It's not good. Hi, hi, the pro dude. You're right. something weak. This needs to happen quick. Come on! So I put it. Oh. There's extra people there. That that that's not not anything to do with those others. That's a more geared dude. I think there's a geared guy killing the three, maybe. I don't know. But I think there's other people there. Someone threw a grenade as well.
I've just seen somebody running to the right unless it was a zombie. I'm a bit worried I'm going to encounter someone when I crest here. see him holy shit I, I don't think he might not be dead still let me just double check I think that's it remember when we were talking about batteries that would have been a good time to have had a battery I think there might still be people in the L shape. I think if I wait too long, somebody that died is going to be running back, so I think I've got to go. This is one of the fishermen, I think. What is this? This is damaged. Mm. He was fishing when he was killed. He's got the M79. This is getting annoying. Insane, yeah, I realised that, but I just dropped one. I, I think I just need to get get some of the gear. I'm, a wor I'm worried there's other people here. I 
Haven't got his fucking head strap either. Where did you go? Oh, where are you? I think there's one left alive, at least. What condition was his press vest? God, this is annoying. Can't see. Oh, there it is. could do with that tortilla bag. I'm going to go and grab the tortilla bag and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to get myself ready and then we're going to get the fuck away. Oh, okay. Well, that'll prove difficult then. First M79 I've seen, the very first one. I hope they fixed it. Why? What was wrong with it? something to make a fire with. Probably don't need this anymore, but... food. That's okay. I've got a fish. I'm, not, I, I'm really worried about the other dudes. I know there was three and I only see two. I've only seen one dead guy, I think. I think the geared guy has killed more than one. I oh, know there was one behind the barrack that I've not looted yet, wasn't there? But I still think there's one alive, you see, so I'm a bit worried. And the fire was last on in the L. I think there's one alive in the L shape and I'm a bit worried about that.
more so than I am anything else right now, including loading the drum mag or anything else. Someone's got to be alive. Unless that AKM guy we just looted managed to get all three of them. off at the moment. I'm, I'm struggling because I'm carrying junk. I'm going to get the food where it will stay dry. Struggling to eat this sandwich. <clears throat> right, let's get this loaded. I know I've got more bullets, but I'm not going to do the others. I'm just going to put that in for now. You're right in there, dude. There was three of you. There should be one left. I killed the guy that was killing you. Unless they turned on each other, of course. He's one of them. One of them was shooting with a BK-18. I think he's gone. I don't know, maybe he's dead somewhere else. There was a lot of shots. He could be dead somewhere else. Oh, you decided to follow him, you? Okay. I think I'm going to make the swim for it. I, I'm a little bit gutted we haven't got night vision goggles. I need to go. I need a head strap. Mind you, oh no I don't, fuck it. We'll go. We'll, we'll put the effort in. We'll go across to the submarine to try and get an MVGs. Why not? Let's just try and get away for now. I definitely wanted the night vision head strap because in the long run I'd like night vision goggles, right? But uh, I think we'll put the effort in and we'll do it right. Yeah, I've got a head strap. I'm sorry. I mean, I want a head torch. Uh, I want a head torch so that I can uh, see if I if say there's an event, but I've changed my mind on that because I don't have a gas mask either. I think there was one on the scaffolding, but I've spent far too long there, and we've come away with a really decent loadout. I can fix my SVD. There's a few things I could have done. I, excuse me, I could have used a leather sewing kit or kept it or whatever, and, but I've got two epoxy, so I used one, and that was fine. I, I just think we've got the good guns, we've got most of the good loot, it's time to get the fuck away. I had one on my head, Hyper Pro, but I took it off to put the head strap on, I think. Oh, there's a head... If I've kept it in the inventory, I meant to, but I didn't remember clicking it. That's good, then. That's good. So I have got it. 
I think that went well. I pushed it a little bit much with how much I looted there, I think, but I think it was probably worth it. I'm still undecided if I really should be keeping the, uh, the FAMAS. The FAMAS is epic. At, at CQB, at really close range, it's epic. Like, inside Athena 3 covering a door or something, it would be better than an AKM. But, it's risky. It's risky. I've got so much stuff. And I've got the M79 as well. What I really want to do is get a kill with the M79 launcher, you know. That would be amazing. I hope George isn't waiting in the woods. I'll be fucking dead for sure. Oh, dude. Uh BL can't stop me. XBL can't stop me. Dude, I hope you get you get that sorted, man. That sucks. Yeah, one mag is not great. I actually think it's safer to make the fire in the military base up the hill than it is to make the fire down here. This is where George was waiting for us before. Oh, is George here? Is he all right, George? <laughs> uh, thanks for all the follows. There's been a few follows in the last ten. Big Hot Todd, Crafty Pal, Jonathan, Big Boy, uh, Milkers, uh, Snyokus, and JS Swan. Thank you. That is cool, though. That is very cool to get the, the M79. George would never make a fire in this barrack. He just wouldn't even dream of it. scared me. I don't have a lot of... Uh, I need to find some clothing. I don't have a lot of rags. Outside chillin', watching he who runs. Dude, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the support. Very, very kind. Thank you. Take everything out of there for now. It's time to start running. Fix the weapons first, then we're going to get the mac mackerel cooking, and then we'll be, be away. Liquid swords. Well, I'm not particularly worried about frostbite. The fire's going to get me to white any second, so I don't think it will save me a great deal of time. It's, it's definitely something you should do, only if you've got nothing more important to do, and right now I think... Uh, Thanks for all the great entertainment, man. I think Bring getting the mackerel on the fire. Back. Bring Bandit Man's back. Well, he was here yesterday. I held someone up at a, a, a helicopter crash site. Using a... Using a thingy. A claymore. Yeah, I, drying your clothes out like this definitely makes sense while the fire gets to 300. But I've got other shit to do. Fix the SVD so it's shootable. Fi fix up the... Uh, like, get the mac mackerel cut and ready to go. 
eat this food. I know, Neo. <laughs> Did I lock the door this time? Yeah, probably. There was a belt with a pistol holster and whatnot in amongst all of that loot as well, but never mind. I also need to sort the drum mag out as well, I've still not done that. Looks like a cold event as well. So. Uh, Ohio, dude, thank you very much for the, for the resub. Uh, bring back the bandit mans, we'll see, you never know. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Ohio Anonymous. Thank you for gifting uh, XBL the sub. You're very, very kind, dude. Thank you. Uh, I thought there was... Oh, I've got things hiding in my inventory. I thought there was another SKS box. I thought there was another one. Did it go in there? No. That zombie just aggroed. Might be aggroed on the animal, way. I'm going to go with that for now. I know the drum mag's not full, but I'm going to go with that. Might as well reset the plus. It's time to start running! She wasn't there a... Wasn't there a coat somewhere? No, oh well. I'm sure I saw a jumper somewhere. There it is. Just want to get a few rags, just in case, because we're about to run out of rags. I've got one bandage roll from amongst all of that looting, which is good, but I only had one disinfected rag, so... It would be good to have another one. Sort of ready to go, just in case. Sour, thank you. Sour, thank you very much for the Prime. Uh, cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel. That's really, really kind, dude. Thank you. Right, so I'm going to go across towards the submarine, I think. It's a slow-going route, but I, I want to do it. I'd like, We've got such a good character here, and I would like to get an M79 kill as well. I, I would love to get across, go to the sub, get the MVGs for the head strap. 
and and may, maybe see how we can go. You know, maybe we can carry this character on if I if I run out of time. But we've got quite a lot of time left yet today. I feel like I'm engaged in this character. I've not got loads of kills or anything. Just that, like in the dark execution of that dude. But it, it's this character with the M79 and a, the loot we've got. It's got uber potent potential. I'd say you know. Sebastian, don't do that, dude. Uh, don't uh, don't beg for subs. It's it's against my chat rules, and it's it's free to watch, dude. It's fine, you know. You don't need a sub. It's fine. Mercury Hot, thank you very much, sir. Thank you again, Sour. Thank you again, and uh, Hemi San, dude. Thank you for the gifted sub bomb. You're very, very kind. Thank you. What's my favourite soft drink? Uh, Forty percent proof whiskey. If it gets above forty-five, then I class it as spirits. <laughs> What's my favourite soft drink? Probably, uh, probably Coke Zero. Uh, obviously, I prefer real Coke, but I don't have that because it's it's bad. Uh, I, I like like alcohol's good, but Coke Zero is just safer for me to have. Uh, I guess other than tea, uh, I've always been a coffee drinker, but I guess my favourite soft drink is probably tea. But uh, coffee was my bag until it started making me uh, shit like a god knows what. It's time to start PRM dead love. JDZC, Zic, thank you very much for the support. You're very kind. Sorry, I might have got that a bit wrong, JD, but th excuse me. Thank you for the prime sub. You're really kind. Triplex, thanks for the for the gifted sub to Mugavi. Nodger, thank you for the resub as well. You're all very, very kind, guys. Thank you. Two drops of water in whiskey makes it a soft drink. Mm, I can see that actually. I can see the, uh, I can see the rationale. I have got to go for a piss. I cannot wait any fucking longer. Just I'm going to wait a little bit longer. <laughs> I'll get across these trees. I'm probably going to have to log out, I think. It's going to be safer. I haven't got any Coke Zero. I do quite like it, but I don't. I don't tend to have it very much. I just when I'm streaming, I drink tea and I drink uh, like cordial, like squash. Like I've got summer fruits, Robinsons mixed with water. Uh, I'm too tight to be drinking Coke Zero every day, dude. And I don't mind spending a bit of money on like luxuries. Like I, I spend a little bit of money on whiskey. I love it. I like it, and that's a luxury. But. Coke Zero feels like an unnecessary, you know. I, I, I can I can have squash and it's cheaper. I, but I do buy Yorkshire Gold, so again, I really like tea, so I get... I, I like to pick my pick my luxuries a little. The tea and the whiskey, yes. Coke Zero, too much money. Fuck that. Not eight quid for a cat lighter box of 24 cans. Fuck that. Johnny Coca-Cola is so proud. Yeah, it didn't used to be that way, did it? Redline, it didn't, did it? You're right. It is better now, though. I think when you were waxing on about it, I don't think we've got the new flavour in the UK yet. You know, we're always behind. Right, here's as good as anyway, guys. I am going to go AFK before my bladder fucking explodes. Oh, the dog's really yapping down there. I should think he's... Uh Pissing uh, Mrs. T. R. M. Z. off some. He's probably making his dinner and he's hungry. Uh, Triplex, Nodgda, uh, J. D. Uh, Hemi San, thanks a lot for the support, guys. You're very kind. Won't be long.
Holy fuck! Doc is not having a happy time. Holy shit. <laughs> he just wants out of his room. You're nosy. Dude, thank you for the gifted sub bomb. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you for gifting 10 subs. That's really, really kind, man. Thank you. <clears throat> right. Uh, thanks a lot. Who you think? Ben Stone, Lukey, Dirty, Tervis, Mab Dog, Sven, who I've already seen say thank you. Ushan, uh, Paintball Chopper, and Nick Bajan. You've got your nose that you thank for the gifted subs, dude. Thank you. <coughs> this is the only way to use these points, and they are so well spent. <coughs> right. Hopefully won't take too long. We're on a really good run with this, dude. Hopefully we can uh, keep it going. And to be fair, I don't really give a shit. If I can use the M79 launcher and get a kill, I'll be very happy. The only thing is I've never fired it before. Maybe I fired the equivalent in the modded servers, perhaps. So perhaps I should try and use the smoke grenade and just see if I can use it. I've got one smoke grenade and I've got two real grenades. So maybe I should load it with a smoke grenade and just have a practice go. Because it, it obviously arcs. It has like an arc. If you're aiming to shoot that and you're standing here, you have to aim above and then it arcs down, I guess. I don't know. We'll give it a look. Well, let's just say I was aiming for that big tree to my left. Let's have a look. I was aiming for that, right? Ranges to 75 metres. Let me just aim straight at it. That seems to have kind of landed where I wanted it to. We'd better move now because we've just made that, that noise as loud as fuck to other players. I am going to the sub BS Jimmy, yeah. I don't want to aggro the Zeds. I don't want to deal with them. This heli site is dog shit normally anyway. There's a compass there. I'm just going to carry on. That sounded like more than one. Go, 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 go. Still seem to have an alarmingly large amount of st stamina, considering I'm carrying a an AKM, a uh, an SVD, a... Uh, what else have we got? An M79 and, and a FAMAS. As well as a press vest.
Sorry, dude, but I didn't really feel I had any choice. It just had to be done, didn't it? I think that had to be done. There's no denying it. Got any food? Alright, we didn't get any loot off him. What gun? Has he not got a gun? No, okay. I had to. I have to get a kill with it, right? That's cool. The way you eject the cartridge out before you load the other one, I didn't notice that the last time. That's kind of badass. It pulls out the old one and then you put in the new one. That's cool. That animation looks good. <clears throat> I wonder if you've heard the poo before, <laughs> before he died. You think he might have been dead already? I don't think he was, dude. I think he fell back like that. He was in a really weird pose because he died to an explosion, I think. I think I killed him. I don't think he'd been looted. His stuff was on the ground. He was halfway through warming it up. I don't think he was... Uh, I don't think he was dead already. What is the max, ra max range on that thing? I've no idea. And it ranges to 75. Uh, and that's as far as it ranges. No, uh, it doesn't. Oh no, you're right. I'm not. I'm, I'm hip firing there. It might range higher. You're right. I only hip fired, didn't I? No, it only ranges to 75. But I think it will be usable beyond that. You'll have to aim high, though. You know. From one corner of the scrapyard to the other. Or well, ambush. I don't know why I took that, to be honest. I've got a cooking pot and a water bottle. I feel like the M79 is going to be good for clearing, like, through shooting through a window or something like that. You know, that was obviously easy, but if they're out in the open 200 metres away, I think there's a very good chance you'll miss, you know, unless you're amazingly good. Because you've, you've got to get the aim right and then they've got to stay where they are as well, you know. Like, even if you aim it right, they could move. I think that if they're, like, camping in a building and you can aim at the door or something, maybe that will work. Fat Matt, that was truly heroic as well, killing some poor sap warming his food. Now, wh where that is, he could have been geared, so I, he wasn't, unfortunately, but I wasn't going to go and look to find out. It would be cool if we could catch a group around a fire and explode them with this. That would be fucking funny. I'm actually struggling to see what's better in Athena 3 than an M79. Dallas, thank you for the bits. That's very, very kind. Thank you. You're nosy. Thank you again, dude. Love the stream and run on. Thank you very much, dude. I'll do my best. I need to go more to the right, actually. Yeah, I need to go this way. I've gone the wrong way slightly there. I'm g I thought that was the swamp there. It's not, is it? That's the dam. I want to go this way. Got a long way to get around the airfield. The dam is so close to there. It's, it, this bit of the nap is, map is a real bottleneck. It's not very wide at all. Swagman, ma, Swagmaster, because the mag is a 75 round drum mag and I've got 65 bullets in it. I haven't got any spare bullets left. I've got 65 in the drum mag and 30 in another mag. And I've not bothered fucking around with them for now. I'm just leaving them like that. So it could take 75 in that drum mag. Uh, 
Have I got space for sticks? That is the next question. Where did I find the M79? I got it on a dead dude. Right, I think that's the uh, cold event over, which is good because I've just run out of plus symbol and whatnot, or I did a little while ago. HE? What's HE? Oh, the explosive... I think I already had them. Oh, they were at the outpost. I got two of the explosive nades at the outpost myself. So the two gold tops uh, were at the outpost. <coughs> In one of the barracks. Coast there, then. I saw that. I think that must be the coast. Okay, this must be the road to the uh, to the Millie, uh, the Millie Swamp. Yeah, it is. So we're going against the tide, as it were, right now. I want to go towards the submarine, and I want to do an outpost run. Sorry, sub run, in the hope of getting uh, NVGs. That's my plan, anyway. I've got uh, I've got matches somewhere. Uh, but the one good thing coming up towards the sub, we may bump into players coming the other way here. It would be nice to have a suppressed... Uh, suppressed pistol or something suppressed. Visibility is not great. I'm going to go around this side. No gas grenades? No. I don't even know where they spawn, so... Well, I was thinking of milk when I said gold top, yeah, but they definitely are gold tops, yeah. I haven't got any left now other than the one that's in the gun. I actually think, I, I think on a map like Chernerus, I'm not convinced the M79 is going to be too OP, but somehow, I feel like if they're quite common on the mouse, they are going to be OP. One thing that seems to be balancing them so far for me is that the, the rounds are actually quite hard to find, so you don't seem to be blessed with like infinite numbers of rounds or anything, you seem to struggle. Like I've been playing Chernerus 118 quite a bit, and I've normally only ever had like three at the most. J3, I don't think that's the case for the uh, the M79 grenades. I think you can get the M79 gas grenades. I certainly I found them in the 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 uh, static gas zones on Chernerus. Oh come on! Fuck! Now I'm in trouble. I got the weapon raised bug. He's aggroing.
Yeah, Van Fitz. I'm not talking about gas grenades. I'm talking about the gas grenades for the M79. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You are. Yeah, you're saying the same as me. Yeah, I found them in the static zones. Yeah, somebody was saying center of the dynamic. I think that's the handheld grenades. Yeah. You're, so I'm arguing with something you're you're strongly strongly agreeing with me. With. Apologies, dude. I, I'll put it down to reading the zombies while I while I read the chat. Sorry, killing the zombies while I read the chat. It's the zombies' fault. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping not to have to use the AK, to be honest, but... Shit. I was really hoping not to have to use the AK, because it's loud, obviously. It, that's not good. Ah, <sighs> fuck. It, it was the, uh, it was the weapon raise bug that caused that, like, I, or the, whatever, you know, I was crouched, I tried to do the stealth attack and it wouldn't fucking do it. That, that was really annoying. You could see it happen as well, I even did the stealth animation afterwards, but it didn't kill it. Yeah, water bottle and tape isn't a bad idea, but it'll get me three zombie kills, I guess. You know, that might help. Yeah, I might check the zombies, but the, the problem being, when I go back to the zombies, that's where all the... All the uh, the new ones will have gone to, you know, that they'll have been more aggro. Eisen, uh, that's only what I've heard. I've not actually found them there, so. Hi, Paul. Hope you're well. Big Fart. What a name. Dude, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. I hope you're good. Uh, thank you for the six months gold badge resub. I found the M79 on a guy that I killed, unfortunately, or a guy that he killed. I'm not quite sure which, to be honest, but I found it on a dead guy anyway. So, unfortunately, it's not... Uh not much use for... Uh for note telling you where it came from. There's an event coming. That sucks. I don't have a gas grenade. What am I talking about? I don't have a gas mask. I am so tired. I can't get my words out. I'm so fucking tired. The bloody puppy is... Uh, he's making me even more stupider. So I'm still going to go for the submarine. I'm not sure if I'll wait for the event to stop before I swim or not. I may well do, but... Turn on the puppy cam and go and take a nap. I'd probably get more views, wouldn't I? Go on, turn left. You know you want to. You didn't really want to, did you? You wanted to turn right and look at me, you fucking miserable fuck. <laughs> Weapon raised bug again. <laughs> when I was being chased by the zombie, I just wanted to get to the far side of the rocks. And just be sure I wasn't about to get fucking, like, snuck up on by some other dude.
I'm going to need some more food as well, actually. We haven't got a great deal of food. <coughs> when will they add SpaghettiOs? Uh... TRM dead love. They'll be called something else, won't they? They'll be called what, uh, spaghetti ovals or some shit. Metascorpion, thank you for the 17 months ads. Thank you for the three. You're very kind. Thank you. There is Alzanator. There's lots of new spawns with shotguns and shit, though, isn't there? You know, but yeah, that that might be the place. I was yellow not so long ago. I've had a can of spaghetti and two mackerel since, but I'm seemingly permanently exist in a state of light blue so I'm going to need I reckon I'm going to need three or four cans to make it to the outpost preferably it might be good might be good to get a uh, hook from one of these boats Yeah, they're called spaghetti hoops. Yeah, they are. They taste... I don't like the taste of spaghetti hoops or spaghetti-os, if, if that's what they are for you. I, I prefer proper baked beans. Spaghetti-os are, are uh, a poor, poor substitute. None of them are as good as, like, the little ones that are, like, shapes in, like... Like Christmas trees and dinosaurs and shit, though. Those ones. I haven't had them since I was a kid, but I'd much rather have those. But I didn't check that boat. I'm going to go back and check the boat. That's good. Someone's up ahead. I'm starting to prep for the uh, submarine. I, I probably shouldn't be doing this yet, but we might as well start. We could always kill an animal. I can hear a, I can hear a deer just to my left slightly. And usually just up this way there's a there's sheep or goats or similar as well. do with a rod actually I think that would be good sheep or goats or similar uh, the the unknown geats the unknown geats of Namalsk half sheep half goat Go, 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 go. I'm amazed we've not seen anyone coming from the, like, past the, uh, the swamp. Like, running the other way. I, I just, I don't know, I, maybe I'm just over-egging it, but... It feels like there's always loads of people around here and it's like a little conveyor of people and we're running the opposite way to the conveyor, but no, not, not at the moment.
Have I tried Branston beans? Yeah, I quite like them. My missus isn't so keen. I quite like Branston beans. Uh, my missus doesn't really like any beans so much, but yeah, I, 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 my favourite are corral beans or corrali beans from Aldi. I like those, which are my missus's favourite as well. I quite like them. The Aldi own brand beans. Uh, Lil, Lil Boofy and Quindine, thank you for the follows. I'm going to check the boat. I know I'm not checking as many boats as I could, but I would quite like a fishing rod. A fishing rod would be really quite useful. I've just about got enough space. If I take 15 sticks to get to the submarine and a fishing rod, I think I'm well away. I think that's okay. Uh, what is the number one dish that is in the UK that is from the UK? Probably fish and chips. Fish and chips, uh, like, you know, like traditional battered cod and chips. That's probably it. Probably our most popular dish now is curry. Uh, like a Sunday roast is really good as well, but there's not much. English cuisine is basically taking everybody else's, you know. I, ch I suppose that's fair, actually. Chicken tikka masala, while it's like, like an Indian-inspired meal, it's... Uh, it's actually kind of from the UK because it's it's not something they have in uh, in India the same. We kind of have made like our own like bastardized version of a curry, you know, a bit like spaghetti bolognese. That's not really Italian. It's like some crap that they they create to get English people to eat it. They have more like ragu and stuff over there. Not so much like proper bolognese. Not in the way that we have it, anyway. Like with like more, almost as much mince as pasta. <laughs> Bangers and mash, toad in the hole. Yeah, they're all right, but they're not like the number one dish if you're talking about how many have them, you know. Yeah, Munson. There's no denying that, but he he did specifically say uh, that originated in the UK. So I wasn't going down the curry route, but. Like, some of the curries that are really popular over here kind of were created over here as such, weren't they? It seems to be taking longer than I expected. Go and check this barn, actually. There's often players in this barn. It might be worth a look. Well, of course it did, Hushbang. Of course it did. But it would have been, uh, like, uh, Indian uh, people that emigrated to the UK that created something that seemed popular for the locals, you know. Okay, no. And I haven't read up on it, but that's my guess, right? Maybe I could trade a gold top for all of his gear. Yeah, that'd be a good trade. He's made of gold, though, you know. Gold. I like gold.
I'm not sure I've really got time for this, to be honest. Let's not bother. I was going to get more, but I think we'll leave it at that. I'm going to go back towards that house. going to come around the back. There is a chance somebody will turn up before the event before the event happens. But they are running out of time, obviously, so I just wanted to check that and come around. If there's anybody coming, we might have seen them, I guess, but there could be somebody in there, I suppose. food there. Two cans of food. Alright, how many sticks do we want? I think we need to defrost food. Mind you, we can do it on the fire with this, so Two is enough. That's at Nemsk. We, we need to be a bit careful. So we're going to get the plus symbol. Defrost the two cats of food. We should be okay for a little minute then. Break my takeaway, I didn't see any of that. Never even heard of it to be honest. Chambers, I've heard other thoughts from others. I'm going to have to watch it, dude. I've seen all the other seasons. I've got to watch the last one, or the this one. What is the purpose of the event? Uh, it, it's inspired by the uh, the similar kind of stuff that's on uh, the game Stalker. And it's actually the, the kind of central lore of Namal. So namalk has got like all sorts going on. Uh, but it's, it's inspired from the game Stalker, and... Uh, it's like related to the alien law that's in this map. Not actually going to help me any. How many sticks have I got? I've almost got enough to make the make the switch, you know.
That sounds amazing, Hyper Pro. That does sound amazing. Glazed chicken chimkin wins. That sounds good, dude. I like the sound of that. I've got the thought I heard someone try the door. I think I'm wrong. isn't he? Oh man, what up, dog? I don't got shit, dog. I don't got shit. Alright, dog. Use my fire if you want. That's fine. Thanks, man. Yo, what up, dog? Holy fuck. Maybe I did hear someone trying the door. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. He knows I've got a dog, yeah, he must be a stream stalker. <laughs> he must be, mustn't he? It's too dicey that, what the I've fuck? I've been catching up during work hours on your past vids as I've been away for a week. Glad to be watching you again. Dude, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Cheers for the support, thank you for checking them out. Gems, thank you. a small tree. I haven't got any knife or anything, sorry, any fishing stuff, but because I've got those two, uh, I've just picked up those two cans of unknown. I think I'm just going to go. I think the cans of unknown will last me. I'll probably be yellow food when I get back, but I might kill a polar bear or something. You never know. I think I'm just going to go for it. So there was some shooting over here. We'll, we'll have a quick look at the well. There's always somebody there. This is where having a buddy would really be helpful. Now that wasn't really smart. If there's somebody else in there, do you want to talk? We didn't have to shoot. Obviously, I, I did want to shoot. I don't really know if I want to take anything else. I might just leave it.
I haven't got even all of the food, but I don't want to fuck around. I, I don't. I don't want to fuck around at all. I'm not going to do with a torch to swim thing. I think that sucks as well. Like, I've done it once or twice, but I'm not doing it. I, I don't want to. I wanted to M79 the room. My plan was to M79 the bastard, right? That could have been fun, but... He came rushing out, and then I had to shoot him with the AK. I think he'd been uh, shooting there already, though. We'd heard some shots. I'd better get in the trees, really. There's that stamina bug again. Does. It is all his fault. Yeah, I wanted to kill him with the grenade launcher. What the fuck was he doing trying to kill me, the bastard? Exactly right. Yeah. Now, to be fair, most people normally, when they hear you opening, they aim at the door and wait for you. Like, if you want to win in day Z, normally it's better to wait. Now, if you happen to have high ping, like say your ping's 200 and, you, and the, the enemy then happened to have 60 ping, waiting is sometimes bad because the peaker's advantage will kill you, you know, but... Unless he knew he had like 300 ping or something, waiting and aiming at the door was his best opportunity, I'd say. Yeah, there was someone else there. Yeah, you're right, there was. I'm pretty sure there was a dead body stripped in there, but... I just grabbed enough food so I didn't have to worry, and then I fucked off. I should have took the jam over some of my food, but because the cans are warm, I didn't really want to switch out my food, because oh, they're they actually cold already. They don't seem to last very long, do they? But yeah, anyway. So that choice was a bad one. I was thinking the cans were worn and it would help me uh, to stay warm, but clearly that was bullshit. For somebody around here, I've got pretty decent frost resistance anyway. I'm not going to lie, Fronky, I did shit a brick a little bit when I saw the shotgun coming out. I was like, well, I'm going to kill him, but as I was killing him, I was like, if he fires, I'm probably going to be on con at the very, very worst myself, you know. It felt like a, a, a trade or an, or me might go, I might go on con kind of scenario. It really did. I'm not going to reset my plus or anything. I'm just going to have at it. I'm just going to get across. So this is a slow uh, a slow run. We, on the upside though, coming across the map, we did get a couple of kills. You know, we, we met a new spawn. We killed a couple of dudes. Were they particularly hard? Not necessarily, but that dude had been killing people, so... Now, hopefully, what will happen is the guy that killed him, sorry, the guy that got killed in there will get back there first and get all the other guys loot, you know, that'd be cool. Paul's not very good at reading scripts, yeah, that's right. I, I, I don't know if, who, if that relates to another streamer that, or YouTuber, then I'm not agreeing with that bit. <laughs> I'm not good at scripts, though. <laughs> Uh, James, thank you for the five months. Meta Scorpion, thank you again. Yo, dog, could be that guy. Maybe, maybe. I think if he was, he'd probably be running back, to be honest. Oracle, I'd probably definitely agree with regards to YouTube. I don't think I agree with Streamer. As far as I remember, he only ever streamed Daisy twice. I don't think that uh, that qualifies. <laughs> I think it's a bit unfair on uh, somebody like Smoke that's been streaming the game for six years, to be honest, I think, personally. <laughs> but uh, certainly as far as YouTube goes, yeah, I wouldn't make you wrong. I, I, I kind of had a bit of a taste for Mr. Moon myself back in the day. Uh, when I talk about Daisy, I guess I, Frankie on PC is the reason I'm playing Daisy. And his videos were amazing, but they were mostly on the Armour mod, you know, Armour 2 mod and so on, Armour 3 mods and whatnot. 
which is great. There's nothing wrong with those. They're good videos. But for me, if I'm going to name the number one of something, for me, I'd pick Standalone because that's my game. You know, it's the one I played the most. I, I hardly played them on. If I was to pick my favourite video on DayZ, it would be Maverick Moon by Mr. Moon. That would be my favourite. There's lots of others, but Ma Maverick Moon is the one I enjoyed the most at the time. Meat's back on the menu, boys. I actually don't want to kill it. I don't really want to kill it. There's a polar bear right over there. I'm probably going to have to kill it. I don't need the meat. I've got no inventory space. Oak Hill, uh, what, on DayZ? I've not seen it if it's on DayZ, no. Mr. Moon is brilliantly funny as well, I agree. And he's able to do RP and, like, be funny himself and bring things out of the other characters around him as well. Eating snow does make you cold, yes. It's not such a smart play. I'm getting away with my temperature a bit here because I've got clothes that uh, that stay dry to some extent. We're getting close to this polar bear. I was hoping to avoid it, but we've had to go a long way round. I don't really want to kill it with the AK, to be honest. Yeah, that's right, it memes. It, it, it can kill you as well. If you drink snow, you can get, uh, like you say, internal frostbite. You can, If your core temperature goes down too much, it never comes back and, and you just die. So it, it's not a smart move. Even if you're eating snow by a fire, it could still kill you. I only played the forest really early on when it first came out. Uh, you couldn't even save. It was kind of fun and it was kind of scary, but... Uh, I have a bit of uh, trouble with any single player game. I know it's co-op as well, but when I played it, I don't think it was. It was single player, but I, I think it was single player at the very beginning. Uh, but yeah, I have a bit of trouble with games like that. I just get so what now itis really, really quickly, and I, I don't really want to carry on. Might be able to avoid that polar bear, I think. We might just leave it. I sound like Atomic Shrimp. I've never seen Atomic Shrimp. It sounds like the name of a, of a like sexual device. I'm not trying to dig out Atomic Shrimp, by the way. I don't know who he is, but I'm imagining some little, uh, some little device that, that's good at fluffing. <laughs> that, that's the shape of a shrimp. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure he's great, by the way. I've not seen any of his videos, but yeah. <laughs> it's a cool name. Sons of the Forest. I've not seen any clips of that yet. I'll have to go and check some out, to be honest. What is fluffing? Uh, it's like uh, tickling. Slightly. Yeah, I was thinking about that as well. Atomic Shrimp would be a good name for my peen. Although, although it describes the size, it doesn't really... Uh, it makes it sound a lot more impressive in terms of how it's used than would be true. I think maybe damp shrimp would be more accurate. <laughs> uh, flaky, not flaky. That sounds like I've got some kind of disease that I haven't got. Well, we must be going vaguely the right way. Oh, I thought I saw a fireplace. I didn't. There's the sub, though. We definitely are going the right way. I'm going to have to make a, make a fire. We're risking frostbite. I think here will do. Some pennies towards the puppies treat fund. Ah, oh, Stephen, thank you very much. Cheers for the uh, the resubscribing, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. 
I don't honestly I think at the moment the puppy might not be getting too many treats. He's in he's in Mrs. TRMZ's bad books, or I am, one or the other, I'm not sure. I think it's him. It's either him or me. <laughs> no, he, he was crying like hell earlier, and I think it was a bit frustrating, but he seems to have calmed down now. A respectable shrimp. Hmm. I don't need that. I'm just going to bin it. I don't know why I picked it up, to be honest. So I'm going to dry my clothes. I, in fact, I might not dry them. It might, might not be worth it, because we're going to have to... Uh, should. We're going to have to swim again, so whether it's worth it or not is probably very debatable. just want to make sure I'm not getting frostbite and improve, imp get the plus symbol again for now. What if you get into PvP here? Well, I've got decent enough gear. I hopefully can handle it. must be 300 now. It's not, but it will be very soon. Uh, Crazy Bell, yeah I do. I, I'm divorced though. They, they, I have them like every other weekend and half the holidays and whatnot. Uh, 13 year old and 10 year old girls. You do hear a bear director, we kind of swerved past it on the left. It's fairly close, but not close enough to aggro, I don't think. We've got the plus symbol yet, so we might as well just uh, dry out the vest. I, I know these are damp, but I don't think that really matters. I left the fire, which has probably affected how quick I'm getting the plus. Grenade launch the bear on the way back. I could do. I, I don't. I want to save it for players. You know, we've got one kill against players with that. Oh shit! He's he's getting a bit closer again, the little bastard. There he goes. Look. I think he's still far enough away. If I shot him, we'd be in trouble, but at that range, he'll leave me be, I think. I'm starting to get a little bit closer. Uh, young, the, the young prune, the, the grenade launcher was added to that 118 stable that dropped yesterday, so been an experimental for three or three weeks or so, maybe around that. It's dropped to stable now. I think one launch grenade would kill a bear. He might be right, I don't know. Given we've got the AKM and whatnot, I think we're okay. It's just goes to show how hard this can be because now the uh, the visibility has gotten worse. I can't see the uh, submarine. I hope we get close enough to it before it gets really bad because you can easily run past it. We're on the right track at the moment. We're going kind of towards it, but. We've got to swim again yet. We've got to go across the uh, kind of canal or whatever. It's not a canal, but there's like a, a river-sized uh, gap that you have to swim over.
think it will kill is definitely not good enough for chat. Well, I want to save it for dudes, though. I, I want to save it for dudes. I, I don't want to waste my time killing a uh, killing a bear. I want to kill dudes with it. I've only got one left. We might find more at the sub. It's the sort of place where you might... like. I, I found two at the outpost. I bet there might be gold tops here. I bet there's a chance. I am a bit worried about the visibility, to be honest. I wish I'd got a bearing on that. I should have paid more attention to where it was. Metal Militia, I, I tried a yellow box IED just like fucking around with it on, uh, on Experimental and I uh, knocked somebody with a Claymore yesterday on yesterday's stream. I think we're about level with it. I think we've just got to cross over and we'll be there. I think it's not very far. Can you F11 with an M79? I honestly don't want to find out. I would imagine it would kill others as well, wouldn't it? You'd expect it to. Chetnik, well, uh, I don't know if I should say congratulations or commiserations, but I hope you're not too sore, dude. I hope all is good, man. Fucking hell. <clears throat> you can F and Evan with it, can you? Okay. Now, I think we're going kind of straight at it. But the visibility is getting a bit low. The F11 was the spear is gruesome. Mm. That's the only thing I can really dry out. This is not good. There shouldn't be more water. I'm going to fucking miss this. I don't know where it is. I don't know what I've done wrong here. I've gone wrong. I could fucking see it when I made the fire, but I didn't really get a good bearing, and then... Can't believe our Twitch baby is a year already. Thanks for the entertainment, mate. Oh, fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. I could see it, and I just didn't point myself at it. Compass ain't going to help me, and I know I'm going. I know what direction I'm going. The wisps are pointing north. But 
There's no f footsteps in the snow queue, Raz. No, I wish there were. I'm going to make a fire and dry my stuff. Well, make a fire and wait till the storm ends. Sounds great. That's what I am doing as well. But the downside is that if it starts make it, making a storm that makes me wet, it'll put the fire out. So we're going to get we're going to end up with frostbite. Hades War, thank you thank you for coming in and happy birthday, dude. Thank you. Uh, Beardy Bandito, thank you for the one year inning. Bob from the Bell, hey Paul, how's the dog, dog inning going? Can't believe our Twitch baby is a year already, dude. That's mad. Thank you for the support. Thank you very, very much. Really, really appreciate it, man. Uh, he's going all right. He's been a bit uh, been a bit of a bastard today, but he's been all right. I'm way too early on that. I am a I am a dog lover, Mercury. I am honest. I am. Now we're in the shit. Eating the thing has got my plus symbol. That is so good. Eating that hot food has just got me the plus symbol. Toby is the name, JD. I've just got to not move for now. I'm gonna. I reckon I'm fairly close to the sub. I'm probably past it. But there's no point in me moving right now. What I've got to do is wait until I think I'm not far from losing the plus symbol and then light a quick fire with a stick and it will reset my plus. <laughs> Poacher. Werner Herzog, what a fucking voice he has got, holy shit. Uh, Riptos, I've been to the outpost, I've come back and got a, got a kill or two. I uh, managed to lift an M79. Uh, I didn't get NVG, so I've come to the sub for that. I could see the submarine, and I didn't pay attention at a fire, and then I lost my bearing after the fire. I'm really quite close. So th this, way, this rain will put that fire out, but before it does, it should uh, should be enough to get me warm. There is a way to glitch the fire to stay awake, stay awake, to stay lit, but I'm not going to do that. The igloo does look cool, yeah, I have made one. Not for a long time though, it's such a time consuming bastard of a thing to do, right?
So that fire there, even though it's not burnt for very long, that's going to keep my plus symbol reset. And I'm going to have to do this over and over again. Well, Cats, you can't select the snowball size anymore, I think. I think that was a mod on the server. Make snowball. There is no way to set it on this server. I don't think I've got a sheath in there. Oh, I have got a sheath. I've got, I've got a boot as well, you see. Yeah, good shout. I hope I've got lots of paper. I've got eight bits of bark. That's very good. Very good then. Very gad. Fuck me dead. You need uh, you need loads of snowballs of different sizes, and you need string and sticks to make a snowball base, like to base build with it. It's, it's a few sticks to get the base thing for it with some rope and then you need like fucking hundreds of snowballs I think you need 30 of a certain size 10 of another or 20 I forget but you know when you're doing it but you need different size snowballs and like when you get a snowball it's random so you need so many large ones oh shit oh we could be in trouble oh shit oh shit oh shit Please, please, please. Give me the plus. If I lose the plus and I can't... If I lose it completely, I'm fucked. Oh, there we go. We've got it back. <laughs> so dodgy. A combination of the food still being 50 degrees. And, and that is just... That's what kind of kept it going. The food started making me go up, eating warm food. That's annoying. I hope we can ride this out. We may end up with frostbite. We have got quite a lot of frost resistance. I haven't got any rope, I couldn't build a shelter even if I thought it was worthwhile. I don't think my plus is going to last very long. I'm going to have to keep making fires fairly regularly and hope to sort of ride it out. Yeah, these, these storms can last 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so, maybe a touch more, maybe a touch less, but sometimes what happens, unfortunately, is you get one storm and then the next storm kind of piggybacks into it. So you can have one and then another, but hopefully we don't get that. That would be fucking catastrophic. I'm going to try and eat this food. It's still got some heat. I'm going to try and eat it now. And as soon as I've eaten, maybe I'll eat one more and then I'm going to make another fire. Make a torch. Mm. Can't the torch still go out? I think the torch can still go out. And even so, I, I kind of want to try and do it this way. 
I, I, I have been using the torch a little bit, but I do feel like it's a bit crap and it's not going to last very long. I think it's it's already been kind of attributed to some rack that he's going to do away with that, you know, and stop it from being a thing. Why not just head towards the sub if you have to make fires anyway? Uh, well, because I don't know where it is, Beat Boy. That's the point. There's, it's, 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 I can only see 30 metres. I can pick a random direction and hope it's that way. But I think I'm close to it. So uh, if when this storm clears, I think I'll be within about 500 metres of it. But I don't know which direction it's in, right? h -bomb, it doesn't make any difference, unfortunately. No, it wouldn't. No. Like getting out of the wind, it would be cool if it... Burnt myself. It would be cool if it did make a difference. Time to find a Tom Tom, yeah. It doesn't seem like seconds ago that I made a fire and I'm already thinking I should make another. It is tricky though because if I make them too quick I won't have enough kindling to make fires to get myself back and I'm I'm burning through the sticks as well like I don't even I don't even know if I need a stick or if I could just use bark. Yeah, there should be rags on the sub. That's, that's true, right? I think we're going to make another one. I'm going overly, uh, overly careful with this now. I'm making them more often, but I think if I don't, I am fucked. You can see how much frost resistance you have, Tinky. Uh, I'm not gaining much right now, but it shows you there. So that's the full bar. I'm there. To be honest, I've never got much more than just over halfway. Like, I've lived for like 10 or 11 hours. Well, I, I think I've lived for slightly more than that, but I've never maxed out my frost resistance. I've never lived long enough. Hyper Pro, this is a storm event. It's not a cold event makes the screen go blue. So this isn't actually a cold event. It's making me cold because of the wet from the snow. Uh, but every cold event, it's, it, I don't think there's a set time, but 10 or 15 minutes, sometimes a bit more, but normally about that. I, we must be at least halfway through it, I'd have thought, at least. Is the visibility getting better? I don't think it is. I think we'll be close to the sub. I feel like I ran... I don't know if I ran too far left. I, I think I went too far left, in which case it might be that way, but I just don't know. I, I, I don't know which way. Since I got... Since I thought it went wrong, I started going right. So I might have been too far right, and it's actually that way, you know? I just don't fucking know. It's probably like four foot that way, and we're right fucking next to it now. And there's a dude there going, why is there a fire keep appearing over there? The fuck is that knob doing? He's right here. What a dick. Ugh. This is going to burn me. Oh, 
Well, I'm glad we had the uh, the bark. If we hadn't had the bark, I think I'd be a bit worried. Here's Owen, dude. Thank you for the 36 months. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the three years. Admiral Curvo, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Sorry it took me 13 minutes to see that one, dude. Thank you very, very much. Really, really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Fixed pants before ruined. Yeah, they are damaged. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to hold off for now. There might be better pants in the base. Oh, that fire didn't seem to last hardly any fucking time. I think it's starting to stop. Wind is dying down. Unless I'm going mad, the visibility is getting better. <coughs> Excuse me. G-Dub, what's the best gun? Well, there is personal taste in that. A, a great starter gun is a double barrel shotgun. A great medium sort of like gun that gives you a chance is an SKS. The best gun is is probably a FAL or an M4, depending on your taste. I think probably the M4 more and more, you know. But uh, the M4 and the FAL are really hard to get and very not common guns to have. So there's all sorts of other great guns, AK-101s, M16s, uh, if you like a sniper rifle, the Winchester or the, sorry, the Tundra or the uh, or the Blaze or the Savannah or the Mosin, there's loads of good guns but if I was going to go for a rifle I'd probably pick the Mosin if I was going to say the very best gun it's either the FAL or the M4 probably. Kiraz, I don't see the point, I don't need to know where my fires are I don't really see the point walking a few hundred metres. I could go a few hundred and then come back. That did occur to me, like run that way, come back, then run that way. A bit like playing Stranded Deep and just keep coming back to my home island. But the storm's ending now. I don't really see the point. I'm probably alright. I just need to wait for the visibility, which is improving all the time. And we'll see the sub somewhere. If it gets dark and the visibility stays low, I'm going to cry. Oh, My gut feeling on how, how far we'd swam was fairly good. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Jesus fucking Christ. That's the second time I did that once trying to get back on the west side and I, was, I didn't know where the land was and I gave up. I was like, I don't know where the boat is, I can't find it. Made a fire and when it cleared it was slightly closer than that and I was right next to a great big hulking boat.
There's already a stick in there. That's nice. So what we really came here for was NVGs. I think someone's been here recently. I might be wrong, but I think I feel like someone's been here recently. So, uh, I don't know, there's not normally knives on the floor. I could be wrong, but it just feels like there's been some dropped loot. Well, that's good. Come on, please, give, give night vision goggles. What the fudge? There's no night vision. Uh, cutting the FAMS is not new. No, it was introduced a few patches ago. Jay Brown, well I came from the outpost and I didn't get NVGs there. So I've actually done the outpost and then run all the way across the map to come here. And there isn't any. Oh, someone has definitely been here. Yeah, I'm getting that way, Tickles. Nothing in the... Oh, no, there is something in the fire. I wonder... Somebody has been here recently, then. Like, very recent. I don't feel like it was a loot cycler logged out. There's, I don't know, maybe, but I think there'd be more loot in this fire, you know. Could be wrong. Well, I guess we're going to go. I, I don't think I'm going to bother killing the zombies. I think I'm just going to try and get away. I'm going to save the mine for now. It might, If I do get into Athena 3, it might come in handy. Although I think I'm less likely to do Athena 3 now. No night vision. I don't know. We have still got the head torch. I might just get the plus symbol and have one more crack at the... Uh, One more crack at the sub, just to double check nothing spawned in while I'm still here. Yeah, Tickles, I think somebody got MVGs and dropped the head torch. I think that's exactly what happened.
Well, I might as well fix the trousers then, because I've not... I've not got any better ones. Yeah, I got the key card. I got the key card. Just have to kill someone with NVGs. It does seem pretty simple when you put it like that. This isn't the OG. This isn't the the OP one that spawns in uh, Lantia, is it? This one. This is just like another version of the press vest, right? I don't remember ever having the the other the other one. It's just it's a proper plate, I think, isn't it? Plus, I'm going to leave them to defrost. Let's just have one last look. How many sticks we got left on that? Two. That should be enough. I ought to be. Ch I was just going to say I ought to be checking up here. Congratulations on your little Toby. My girlfriend and I have a three-month-old Aussie, and yes. It's very much like having a toddler. Great Angry run chair. today. Dude, thank you. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it a lot. Thank you very much. Hope all is going with, with you go with your one as well. I could how fun your great adventures are and how cool the PvP is. I could talk about the interesting topics and hilarious interactions are, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Not your Libra. Dude, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I think Robot Lady does a good uh, can't be bothered type voice, you know. I think it's like almost comes natural to her. So on the subject of sarcastic robot voices, me and uh, Maggie watched uh, Rogue One the other day when the kids were here at the weekend. We, we sat and watched Rogue One because. Uh, when they were here during the school holidays, we watched episodes one, two, and three: *Phantom Menace* through to *Revenge of the Sith*. I'd forgotten, you know, the uh, the former Imperial droid that's in *Rogue One*. It's really funny. I don't like that scope block, so it's no good. It, I don't need that. The Imperial droid in *Rogue One* is really funny. It has some great one-liners. It's really sarcastic, and it doesn't like it. It like in a dry way. It's really good. K2SO is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay. Well, they're making a series for for on Disney, aren't they? Of uh, the dude, the I uh, forget his name now. Uh, 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 what is his name? That guy, Cassian. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping the robot will be back for that. I think it, I think it'll be good if they bring that robot back. I'm kind of looking forward to that. It'll be interesting. Not Yo Libra, thank you as well. Very kind. Alright, we've got that one done. That's good. What's my thing? Hang on. We done? I think we're done. Alright, let's go. I'm not gonna plant the mine here, I'm gonna save it. Oh, he's got a long way, hasn't he? There is quite a lot of zombies. It makes me wonder, you know, maybe somebody else is on the way. Uh, I don't know, system. Uh, 
system down. I'm not sure how zombies in real life are, you know. They might not need body heat like we do. They might not need to be hot at all, you know. They might have... The infection might, like, put, like, antifreeze in their blood, you know, or the equivalent biological thing. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about real life zombies. There is uh, there is a few of the servers that were using like the winter zombies, like the modded ones that look like they're frozen, or at least the outside is like their clothing and stuff. They do look cool. It would be good to see some of that in the mask, I think. Tell you what I would really love. I'd love to get these frames everywhere. I've got 151 frames right now. This is about the only place I can have an amazing firefight on the mask. <laughs> Where frames are no issue and everything's buttery smooth. 155, I just... Fucking hell. My ex-wife had anti-fleas in her blood, did she? So I came over this, thought I was going wrong and went slightly right. And I should have gone slightly left. Garrett, it's coming. It's not coming yet, but it is coming. I'm going to do it. I've got, I've got, I've had the money aside for about a year, dude. I've had the money aside for a while, but uh, I just, I like to get my money's worth, right? To be fair, I like to get my money's worth. This PC I'm using to play on was sent to me for free, <laughs> but I, I think I, I like to get value out of shit. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a northerner at heart. I'm not going to upgrade unless it's either absolutely essential or the timing is right, and the timing is coming. Gala, my monitor taps out at 165 hertz. But to be honest, if I upgrade, I think I might get a new monitor. I'm not sure if I want to play at 1440 or 4K. I think I'll stay at 1440, but I'd imagine... I don't know what the specs are like, and I don't know for sure that there's new graphics cards coming out, but I'd imagine the 40 series cards will, will play DayZ at 4K and not, not even touch the sides, you know, so... I, I, I don't know if I should go to 4K or not. I, I'm kind of alright with 1440p, but I don't know. Summit hated trying to swap to 4, 4K. I think it does cause a lot of issues with uh, like setting your stream up and whatnot, and, and also other things at times too. But <laughs> 4K is hit and miss. It depends on the game. I think that's one of the issues, right? Do you want to take that chance? I think I might stick to 1440 for now. Aiming at 4K is hard. Aiming at 4, 4, 4K is hard. Aiming at 1440 is hard. So yeah, maybe I should go to like uh, 1P. <laughs> if I only had one pixel, I couldn't miss, could I? <laughs> Hey brother, hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while, but I recently saw the video where you explained about your dad. I'm sorry for what you went through. Hope you have a nice day. Love you. Bye. Daisy Psycho. Dude, that's really kind. Thank you very much for the bits. That's a really nice message as well. Thanks very much, dude. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Cheers for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Libra, Angle Chair, and Daisy Psycho. Thank you very much. Guys, I, I don't know what's going on between a few of you in the chat, but if you've got something you want to thrash out between you, take it to Whisper. And if you're not interested, don't. But let's just make sure we keep any commentary about it or actual attacking each other out of the actual chat. That would be good. So even if it's just reporting to the mods, do that in Whisper, right? Don't do it in open chat because it just feeds into it and creates more fire, you know? Just... Take it to Whisper if you really must. I don't even know what you're talking about. I've missed it all, but yeah. Let's keep it out of the chat. Otherwise, Baby Gravy and Uncle Food are going to smack your bodies. Come on, come on. I say all leaves in Daisy. Wouldn't that be leaves? 
Yo ass be red raw. <laughs> I'm just talking about my big wang. Everyone fights over it. Yeah, well, maybe if, maybe when you're excited, they fight under it. You never know. I don't know. I have some empty cells they can go in. Blimey. I might like... Uh, to be honest, I might like a nice night's sleep. Can I bring my own mattress? <laughs> can I, if I can bring a pillow and a mattress and my phone fully charged, I'm in. Hi, Hero Nate. I hope you're good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I hope you're good. Thanks for coming in, dude. Uh, Crazorn, thank you for the follow as well. It's not so far now. Well, I say not so far. We're at least halfway. We're about where we left the polar bear before, so I need to be a bit careful. I could end up coming over one of these mounds and bumping into the polar bear. The breakfast ain't that great. What do you get for breakfast in a... In a in a jail jail cell. I presume where you are it's more like an overnight thing, is it metric? Like a temporary type thing. It's not like a it's not like a forever home. It's more of a like you're in there till the morning and then we'll see what we do, you sunny boy. Right. what is the breakfast? I'm interested. What do you get? I'm imagining it imagine it's like eggs benedict or poached salmon or something, is it? Oatmeal and crackers, says Oakhill. Mm, sounds like he's had a stay. Rat burger. Oh dear. Yeah, the drunk tank. Oh, it is a challenge. It is a challenge, Bobsy. It really is. Rice crispy breakfast bar. Oh dear. Microwave all day brekkie if you're lucky. That sounds all right. I'd actually like to go to the shops. I've got some fresh bread in the, uh, like, for, for, for me, my type of bread. I'd quite like to go to the shops and get some strong salt and vinegar crisps and make some kind of, like, uh, salt and vinegar uh, crisp, crisp sanger. That'd be good. Happy 60 months. Do I get one of your watches? Uh, I haven't got an F91W right now. Uh, mind you, you'd have to see me face to face, even if I did. <laughs> uh, G-Man, dude, thank you very much for the 60 months. Uh, I can happily give you a watch. I can arrange for you. I can arrange for you to get a, a, a really premium quality Bolex Raytona, and 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 they're the top tier of Chronograph. I was set to type a lovely message to you, but a little bit of stick came to my mouth. So I haven't. Instead, here's some bits. Now, dance, boy, dance. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. Thank you very much. Uh, but I would need, in, in a, as a down payment, to make sure I can secure your uh, high-quality product. I would need, uh, in exchange, a Patek Philippe uh, perpetual calendar. Box, papers, brand new. It's not much to ask. I think that's a good trade. Bolex, Bolex is top tier. I, I tell you what, I quite like. Not, not that I'm sure. I'm sure some people own them and love them, but I really love watching. I don't watch it for long because the missus gets annoyed. But you know, like the the QVC type channels, they're often selling watches uh, in the evening, and I, I don't. I don't look down on any watch, whether it's fifty bucks or whether it's five hundred bucks. But listening to the bullshit those guys talk about the watches they're selling and the, what they say about them. I, I can't believe they're allowed to get away with saying some of the shit they say, you know. They say so much bullshit. And that normally it's some great big fucking rubbery, plasticky monstrosity. Well, whatever it is now, Hyper Pro. The shopping channel, anyway, you sucky fuck. <laughs> uh, meet you down at Clacton Seafront. Oh, I'd like to go to Clacton. Hey, Peach. Monkey, I did not want to critique my Simeon cousins. <laughs> Fair enough. Dance, boy, dance. Fair enough. Bake, rib, bake, rib, bake, bake, ribbed, bake. I can't say that. Great big rubbery monstrosity. We still talking about watches? We are, yes, living room, yeah.
Uh, Delta, a little bit, yes, a little bit. Although I'm not exactly going to the same place I normally do at the moment. I'm kind of going a bit random. I don't know where I'm... I know I'm heading back to land, but I, I'm not going for the same bit I normally do. Oh, that looks pretty close. Will I buy you a Hublot watch? I, I wouldn't buy anyone a Hublot watch, even if I was a billionaire. Need to have a look at Nico Leonard for why. Although I do actually quite like a few of them. It, they have a bit of a bad rap, Hublot, Hublot, I should say. I like a few of them. They, they, are, they are so expensive, and kind of some of them are incredibly ugly, but to each their own. Uh, American Pixel watches aren't heavy. I, your cell phone in your pocket is heavier than a watch on your wrist. But I, I, we talk about this a lot, so I'll try and keep it short. But it's not just about telling the time. I, a watch is an old-fashioned thing that's obsolete in the modern world, including the way they're made. You know, with like uh, balance wheels and uh, like like being automatic or manual or whatever. They are obsolete, but they're there's still advancements being made in them. But anyway, bite that by the by. It's not just about it, you know. Why does a woman wear a, a bracelet or a or a man? Why does a man or a woman wear a necklace or a chain or earrings? It, they don't do anything. It's not just about uh, it's not just about the telling of time. Although I do like to do that. I like to keep my phone in my pocket. You know, I, I like to just glance at my watch rather than fuck around with my phone. If I'm driving, I, yes, there's a clock on the car, but it's a bit small and it's on. The, I, I often my my wrist is on my steering wheel. You know, like even sitting here. On my gaming PC, there's no time. The time on my my second monitor is right on the bottom right corner. It's kind of behind my behind my thing. But it's a lot easier while I'm sitting here to glance at my wrist than it is to pick up my phone and and fuck around with it. You know, like. But anyway, irrespective of just telling the time, there's there's a bit more to it than that. You know, and some people like it and some people don't. But you know, some people uh, some people spend a hundred thousand pounds on a car and have it on finance and never fucking pay the bastard off. And other people get a, a 15 year old car that costs them next to nothing and they still go the same places, you know, like, you, you know, the car still takes you where you want to go, you know, <laughs> whether it costs 10 grand or it costs 100 grand, you're still going to the same place because it's still designed to take somewhere. It's not really much. You know, we're not rally drivers, are we? When we're on the road. I understand maybe buying a kit car or something or buying a, a track car if you've got the money and the, the desire, but everybody's got their own thing, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, there's very little that you like. There's very little you can actually own, and like maybe it's just me, but I can get a, like a an attachment to certain objects. I think a lot of a lot of little boys can like like or blokes or, or or and women too. But it's kind of a common thing that you can get an attachment to items in a way. I don't mean like how you love your kids, I know, but you get. I get fascinated by things. When I used to go fishing. I would fascinate about the latest thing that was out or the latest technique or the latest rod or whatever and golfers do it, PC players do it with graphics cards or monitors or new mice or new headset or whatever. We all do that a little bit but with watches you can have that but you put it on your wrist and you take it everywhere you go so you, your first kid might have been born while you were wearing that watch. You might, have, you might have been married wearing it, you might have gone on holiday wearing it, you might have whatever you know. All, it, it goes with you through your life. You know, it's kind of a cool thing. How, like, you don't wear a pair of shoes and you've still got them thirty years later. You can potentially do that with a watch if you get a nice one. You know, and the other nice thing, of course, is if you buy a nice watch, it might cost a load of money, but you buy an iPhone today and buy a Rolex Samarans today. In twenty years' time, see which one's worth any money. You know, <laughs> the iPhone has been recycled into fuck knows what, like hoverboards or something. Whereas the Rolex of Mariner will be worth more in 20 years than you paid for it today. This is the short version week. Yeah, it is, yeah. I don't... Uh, I don't... It wouldn't necessarily be easy to buy one of those, by the way. I just picked the first and most famous watch I could think of. Uh, 
Uh, Koopa, I don't talk about my own watch collection, dude. I, 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 it's for me. It's not for flexing. It, it's for me. I, if I had a, like a watch YouTube channel, I'd talk about it, but I just don't feel like it's the thing to do. I, I, if I was a watch collector and I uh, still worked in like Asda as the supermarket, for example, I wouldn't be wearing like a fancy watch into work. I would wear like a Seiko or something that... I, and I own a Seiko and I own a Casio and stuff like that. I, I, for me, it's not for like flexing, you know. Victor Domicus, uh, not un not likely. Uh, not many premium brands devalue much over time. I, I don't agree. If you bought an Amiga 30 years ago, it's worth more now. And Amiga probably not as popular now as they were 30 years ago. You know, they're still popular, but they like if you go back to the 50s, for example, they were way bigger than Rolex. They were much more popular. But if you bought a 50s watch then, and a lot of it's to do with the value, obviously you'd be fucking 70, you know, you'd have to be 90 years old. But over time, they don't really lose value. They just don't, you know, they, they, they're still, the, the tech is very similar. Uh, if you look after them, they, they, don't, they tend to maintain. I'm not saying they're an investment, but they actually last, you know, they'll last your lifetime and still be worth money. Breitling have had a big drop, but if you bought, you, you might not want to buy a brand new one now, but if you bought an Avitimer 20 years ago, it would still be worth more money now than it was then. And one of the reasons for that is because the prices go up. Every year the watches go up by about 5%, you know, or maybe 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 a bit less, 2, 3, 4%. So every year the new version gets more money. So over 20 years, your old version sound now looks a lot, lot cheaper, so people pay more for them. Exactly, Uncle Food as well. I've got my dad's watch in my watch box that I, I gave it to him when he was uh, he, he was 60. I gave it to him for his 60th birthday. Uh, I, I gave it to him. He wore it for the last 10 years of his life. And it's in my watch box and I'll have it until... And, and then someone else will have it, you know. It, you, you, you're, not, you're not handing down an iPhone. There is that. It's nice to have something that matters to you. And to be fair, that watch I bought him means less to me than... I gave him a G-Shock about a year and a half ago and he wore that for the last year of his life and I've got that, I wore that in, in the garden a couple of days ago. Uh, that one probably means more to me because he wore it a lot in the most recent time before he died. But yeah, heirlooms like that, you don't get them from a fucking iPhone or something. You know? doesn't mean it as a functional thing they don't work, but there's very few things you can actually hold that mean something to you for a long time, you know. Uh, DJS, thank you very much. That's very kind. Cheers for gifting Lunatic the sub. That's very, very kind. Thank you. But I'm certainly not saying they're good investments. You do need to have them serviced every, say, 10 years or something. You know, they're not... They're not perfect. North. South. East. Am I going the wrong way? I'm on the... I think I'm going the wrong way. After the making the fire, I've gone the wrong way. So I'm on the east side, going east. Fuck me dead. We could see the trees in the distance, and now we can't see the trees in the distance. <laughs> Well, we're meant to be going back to the land, but we were just going the other way for quite some time, like a fucking idiot. Just wait for the storm to come. Oh, my God. Watchful. I'm good, dude. Hope you're good. Yeah, it's been been good day. Good day today. We had a... A bit of a tricky start, but we've had a good run on this character. I have got an M79 grenade launcher, the first one I've had. And we've got a kill on it, albeit it wasn't a particularly hard kill, but we did get one, which is cool. I think I'm just going to swim over that. I don't think this is going to be a good choice, but I've got enough stuff to make fires, so...
Griff, that's not the same back seat, and I ain't taking that. You can fuck off, okay? You can fuck off. <laughs> it's not the same back seating. Telling me when I've made a mistake is completely fine, right? Telling me, like, if you're in the car with me, Griff, right? If you're in the car with me, and we go past an intersection to speak America speak, and I was meant to turn down that section, tell me about it. If you think I'm about to miss the intersection, uh, maybe give me a heads up. But if for the whole time we're in the car, you're going, you should be in fourth gear now, not third. I think you want to start braking, braking, full lock to the left, full lock to the left. I think probably you'd be better off in the mid lane. You're a little bit close to that car in front. You're leaving a bit of a gap now. Eh? It shouldn't you be a bit more like two second rule? Only a fool breaks the two second rule. That's the that's the that's the real the real crux of the matter, Griff. The real crux of the matter. <laughs> right. Where is the uh... like telling me if I fucked up? Brilliant. But like telling me how to drive permanently? No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, Cubby, I bet she does, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't. Like, I, I, it's quite good driving on this because uh, she doesn't drive, so she doesn't talk to me about the stupid things I'm doing with, like, the gears or anything. Like, if I make a mistake, she ain't give, she ain't give a shit. But she has got good road awareness, you know. She, she's not stupid. She's spent plenty of time out, like... So, like... If I'm if I'm making a mistake and I'm I'm going the wrong way or I'm about to, she'll spot that. You know, <laughs> That's, it kind of works. That's pretty good. Uh, bikers, thank you for the two months. Or I could easily get turned round again here. I'm, the sun the is the way we need to go, on. is it? Give me a wisp. Well, I don't think I took a compass, did I? That's really frustrating. We were really close, and then I fucked it up. could see the bastard in trees. Am I going the wrong way again? Oh my god. Alright, we're going south at the moment, that's okay. Going south and then we can cut to the east, that's actually alright. I don't mind that. Somebody was saying a little while ago, are you worried about stream sniping because you always go back the same way? Donk well, stream snipe this. <laughs> Sometimes when my girlfriend and I are doing the dirty, I like to bite her ear so she will scream that way her roommate will think I have a big fat team. Well, thanks for sharing, Donk. <laughs> uh, I hope you don't get in any trouble for that. Make sure you've got a safe word, okay? <laughs> safe words are important. Donk, thank you for the tip. Really, really appreciate it. Darren, thank you for the 19 months. Bikers, thank you for the two months. DJs, thank you for the gifted sub to Lunatic. Uh, Head T-Ball and G-Man beforehand, thank you. Are we lost? No, we're not lost. We just went the wrong way for about five minutes, so now we're having to run back. We might be going the wrong way now. I've kind of stopped paying enough attention, haven't I? Right, so we're now going west, which is correct. West is best. I don't know exactly where we're going to end up, but we're going to hit the land at some point this way. I saw it before. CM Cooper, thank you very much for the support. I've just seen your message. When that t-shirt model popped up, I thought it was a dude. Holy shit, Uncle Food, you need to get some sleep. <laughs> uh, can't wait to strut, strut your stuff, big boy. Hope it's uh, here for my birthday on the 4th. I reckon it will be. I hope it will be, dude. Thank you. Savage Ninja, dude, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel. That's really, really kind. Thank you. At least we're getting a frost, frost resistance up, if nothing else. I could see the land. So I got myself turned around going to the sub by not paying enough attention. And then I managed to unsee the whole of the land.
And now the visibility is getting bad. We're going the right way. This is east. That's that's good. But that looks like a long swim. Any ideas? Here comes the frostbite. Savage Ninja, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I am going to get Frostbite here. I, I think I'm chewing to get Frostbite. Go around left. Nah, fuck that. Straight forward. I've got to press forward. Pressing forward. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> I, I'm going to say that. Uh, when I go to TwitchCon, <laughs> so anyone I see, it definitely won't get me kicked out. I'm not going to TwitchCon, by the way. I think TwitchCon Amsterdam is soon, but I, or I haven't got the. Uh, I still haven't applied for my passport, so yeah, no, no TwitchCon for me. Oh, I think we're going to see the land soon. You know, it's, it's coming. Do you ever get bored of Daisy? I played for six months, then bought a gaming PC to play it, but then I got bored of it after two months. I can only watch streams now. Lychee, no, I don't. I, 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 I have, like, ebbs and flows. But no, because I'm streaming it. Streaming is really different. It really is fun. Uh, it doesn't, Tepid. No, it doesn't fill the water bottle suppressor with water. <laughs> uh, streaming is a lot different to playing. I really love streaming Daisy. It's a very different thing altogether than playing Daisy. You know? I, I fired the M79 right and I've got a kill with it earlier. We found the submarine BS and now I've managed to get lost going back to the land because I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't pay attention. I think we've gone a long way south. Chris B, thank you very much for the eight months. Very kind, dude. Thank you. I've no idea where we are. heard a shot in ages. I have to make a fire. At least we can run around that one. Yeah, I need to be heading west. It's okay. I need the sun to be going to my right. I'm on the east of the map, so I need to be heading west. I may have said I was heading east, and I, I do that stupid fucking thing all the time. But yeah, I need to be heading west, because I came onto the east coast and swam onto the ice sheet to the east. Wells Bells, they were really sort of surprised. A little bit quiet at first, and then incredibly excited. Like, over the top excited. I'm not lost as such, Tai Tai. I know I'm on the east of the East Island and I need to be going west. 
But when I say I need to go X direction, I always get it the other way around. I just... I, but I still know which way I need to be going. That way. However, I've not heard a shot in ages and I'm starting to worry now. I am starting to worry that I'm going to run out of uh, sticks and fire makers before I, uh, before I get back at this rate. I have, I have done goofed. I could see the land. And then all that exciting watch talk, you know, it, it got me, uh, it got me befuddled. Lost is not an offensive word. I, I'm not lost, I know exactly where I am. I'm on the ice. <laughs> an event might help, actually. I could follow the rumble, couldn't I? Happy Taco, thank you for the Prime, that's really kind. Thank you, Great Tower, Crispy, thank you. Right, it is drying the stuff out at least. Plus symbol is coming. Excuse me. Come on. All is fine. Uh, I'm baked. You, well, I hope I hope you had sunscreen, dude. You use sunscreen. That's what I heard. Why do I get the feeling I'm now, like, completely and utterly exactly where I mean to be? Slash lost, like what you said. <laughs> I'm going to get some water and not want to swim again in about five seconds, aren't I? I know I'm definitely going the right direction. Ish. Well, I don't want to follow the sun. I, the wisps of snow tell me I'm, I'm going uh, slightly southwest right now. Mostly west and a tiny bit south. We have to get back to the land sooner or later. I wasn't very far from it. I know I need to go west. Oh, there you go. Let's see. There you go. Let's see. It's right there. It's pretty obvious when you think about it. I really did go on a big tangent, though. I'd, I'd, I'd be interested to see whereabouts we are. I think we've gone quite a long way south, but I don't really know. Poor Pilgrim, yeah, well, it's all part of a devious plan. I can't get stream sniped if even I don't know where I am, right? Next time you look, you'll be at the outpost. <laughs> God, it looks a long way away, doesn't it? The trees aren't rendering so well. Probably more to do with the... Uh Probably more to do with the fog than the fact that they're so far away. It's probably only about 50 metres, really. I want to say something about your stream title concept. I played the mouse for many hours now. My room only got hotter from the GP, from the CPU GP fans. How many hours do I have to continue? Friedrich, it, it's a... Oh, that's the South Island. God, we really have a come, come a long way south. Holy shit. Oh well, that's cool. We'll go that way. Uh, yeah, it, it's a placebo effect, really. What what does help is if you've got air conditioning in your PC room. <laughs> I can recommend that. The. Uh, the, three years ago, about this time, I had to cancel a stream because it was 36 degrees Celsius in my room and I had the door open and the windows open and there was no airflow and I was blowing fans on me and it was hot as fuck. 
and instead of streaming that day, I edited, and then I set my PC to render a video. Like, I was worried my CPU was going to just, like, overheat just in the temperature in the room nearly, never mind actually using the fucking thing. But yeah, I, uh, I, it was that day that made me realise that I had to get aircon, and so I did. Uh, the snowdrift's always blown north, which is what I was doing, Goomba, but the thing is, you think you're going in the right direction, and then you get turned around, and you don't know, you didn't know, you know, like... It's incredibly easy to get turned around. Turned around but not lost. Exactly, uh, Tai Tai. Well, you can't really get lost on the ice if you know you were on the east side. If you get turned around, all you need to do is head west. It's fine. It's exactly what I did, right? I just headed west and then we found... See, we weren't lost. We just temporarily had forgotten where we were. But we knew where we needed to be and what direction that was. So it's fine. <laughs> I'd actually like to take uh, I'd, I'd like to take Friday off and have a nice day in the sunshine but I don't know I blame the watches as well I was waxing lyrical about uh, about uh, fancy things well uh, the kids aren't coming in a week's time but I think I'm going to take Friday and Saturday off that week uh, so in two weeks' time, I think I'm going to be off Friday and Saturday and just have it with the missus and the dog, you know. Uh, we haven't had any... We've had a bit of time off lately, but always with the kids and always with some thing, you know. It'd be nice to have a little little time off with her. It'd be nice to go somewhere, but with the dog not able to walk... Not, not able to walk. Not able to go outside until he's had all his injections. I guess it'll be more of a staying in the house and just chilling out, you know. Yeah, it was before the Herman Herman Munster chair. Yeah, I was sweating edges o'clock. It, it was horrible. I'm actually not got light blue. That that's kind of lucky, isn't it? Like the frost resistance really helps at a certain point, doesn't it? And like that clearly that has been good. Right. I can only dry one thing out. So I don't really need any loot. It would be nice to get another SVD mag, but I'm just going to look for players. I might dry my clothes at that up there and reset my plus, but I just need to dry my clothes, really. I don't really need any uh, anything else. It might be better to dry my clothes in these trees and then go and look, rather than making a fire where the people are likely to be. Indiana Wildcat, playing 4D underwater chess with my movements. I like that a lot. I'm going to steal that. I think here will do. I, I made sure I timed it exactly right, so I still had one piece of bark left. For dramatic effect, right? What would George do? He would definitely make fires here, wouldn't he? I actually don't look as geared. I, I, obviously, if you see my guns, I am. But my character looks kind of a bit shit. The way I look, it looks a bit higgledy-piggledy and a bit shit. I think somebody would see me and not feel I was much of a threat. And then they'd, they'd feel my wrath as I fired 170 bullets all around them, but one finally connected. They might feel bad for me with that back. Well, I feel bad for me. I do feel bad for me. I think that is uh, that is a fact. Right. Nowhere near drying the clothes yet. You need to play in the desert map again. Uh, 
the, uh, the the desert map is kind of a bit dead in the water for now. Uh, Takistan is not. It's great if you're playing on an Uber modded server, so it's a bit unfair. But if you're playing like the sort of servers that I play, then just not any that are full. Yeah, the shots are a bit far away, I think. Right, is it 300? Still not 300. Fork. Oh, well, that's dried out, so... Now it's three. on. I would like a new bag actually. It'd be nice to get rid of this piece of junk. Absolute fucking travesty bag. Right, we have the plus. So, I'm not gonna... I might have a little scout for players, but that's all I'm doing. I'm gonna cut through this island looking for dudes. I haven't got, a, like, a crazy amount of time left. I want to try and get another kill or two. Maybe use the M79, but... I'll get through this island and we'll see if we can find some dudes and I'll see what the time is. I've been on seven hours. I actually thought I might not quite hit six when I started, but I feel a lot better now. I felt really fucking knackered at the start. I've got uh, a brand new bottle of Highland Park 12 downstairs with my taste buds looking to test it and see if I like it. I had it in the pub. I, ne I never trust whiskey that you buy in the pub, right? Like, if you buy a short in a pub, depending on the pub, it might have been sat there in an open bottle for fucking, like, two years. You just never know. I don't know how much they sell, you know. I don't know. Depends on the pub. Is it nearly, boy? Very cool. I normally go for space side, space side, but I tried it. It's a little, tiny, tiny little bit of smoke in it. But I, I really liked it. I think it tasted great. I had it a years ago, but the trouble is with whiskey, you have a bit and you don't like it, but then you don't really know what you, you don't really know what you're doing. Like you, you've not really tried that many whiskies and so and, and maybe your your taste buds kind of change and your flavour profiles change as well. Like like there's certainly the case that I really like Stilton cheese right now, but when I was uh, when I was thirty I thought it was fucking disgusting, horrible, stinky, smelly feet. Ugh. Harry, interesting. See, I think the thing is that uh, whilst I'm a little bit younger than yourself, you go out a bit more than me, you see. So I don't go to a pub to drink whiskey very often, despite my youth. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't go to a pub to try whiskey so much. I'm normally at home. Blue cheese, yeah. Stilton is like blue cheese, yeah. Well, we get a lot of Stilton in the UK. How old am I, Mr. Lazy Mexican? I'm 38, so I'm, I'm a young and uh, up and coming, up and coming streamer. Cheeky bastard! <laughs> I thought I had a player. Fucking trees are the trees are trolling. Marvin, that would be cool. I'd like to go to... A, a, I always wanted to go to the Glenfiddich distillery. But that's because when most people start drinking whiskey in the UK, probably, they like Glenfiddich because it's the one they know, you know. But uh, I'd like to do uh, I'd like to do a tour of maybe uh, uh, Glenfarclas or something like that. That would be cool. I can quite happily walk up the stairs without any kind of uh, aid, thank you. Yeah, I'm fine. I, my, my, my young legs, are, uh, they're surprising, you know. I've been 38 for many years now. I don't know, maybe you're, you're uh, getting a bit forgetful or some shit. I don't know. Your missus works now, does she? Oh, fair enough. 
Do you get uh, do you get barmaids barmaids other half's discount? I quite like Glen Live at 15 actually, Mandel. I had that about three months ago, two months ago, something like that. Well, I finished it about then. I, I quite liked it as well. I've, ne I've never really gone for Glenlivet. It's just Glenlivet are a bit... They're so big. Like They're one of the very biggest, right, in in the world for whiskey. And I, I just normally... Like, same with Glenmorangie and Glenfiddich. I don't normally... Uh, I normally go for the smaller ones. Hipster. But Glenlivet 15 was good. I didn't like the 12, but the 15 was good. I liked it. But it's good. Can't stand stair lifts. They drive you up the wall. Oh, my fucking God. I am not sure if I would be the dude what generated those Zeds or not. We have got some decent frost resistance now. If I'm going to stop to look, I should probably stop in cover, really, shouldn't I? I watch you since you start on YouTube. I'm a big fan. I always wonder, was you the guy on the intros of your YouTube? Is he the guy that turns and freezes where you start? Uh, Mano, I'm not. No, I'm not the guy. If you look in the YouTube uh, video description... There's a link to Gail Level and his channels, or certainly the channel he had then. Uh, there was a, U a making of video on YouTube for that intro that shows Gail making it. Uh, but no, it's not me. Gail Level was uh, a, one of my very early viewers, like regulars, and uh, also a, like one of my first subs as well. He still is a sub, uh, I believe. Uh, and he's like a... A, a well, he, uh, then I think he was a professional graphic designer. Now I think he's doing YouTube and Twitch. But he uh, he liked the channel. I remember the Red Balloon story day. He, he, he liked that, and he kind of enjoyed the channel. He made me a few, uh, made me a few things, and in including that was that YouTube. He made that in I think it was 2015. Uh, and it's been my YouTube intro ever since. You know, uh, and it, it's great. And he made it for me for nothing. I didn't even know he was doing it. Funky, I think they only work if you're in an official server. If you want to do the Steam achievements, you have to be in an official server. Well, this is shit, isn't it? This is really shit. Where did the balloon emit come from? I don't know. Oh, there you go, actually. You can see the reason, Harry. About six messages above, red balloon. It's gravy's gravy's clip. Uh, that's the that's why it was a, just a story uh, I told about chasing people after I died in Daisy and relating it to some lost balloon story from when I was a kid. Uh, so yeah, there, there's a clip there. That that is old. I don't know if it'll work for me that, but listen to my voice. The sound's a bit off for that. I can't. It's a bit quiet. Anyway, it's there. I, I can't make that loud enough without deafening you. I don't think so. We'll leave that. But click the click the link. You'll be able to hear it. I think I have to put that on my. Uh, crazy. I do find people over here, but I I did kind of come over here by accident, to be honest. But I do get action over here. But you're right. It's not normally at the hospital or. Hi from Germany. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't get shot at the docks very much, but I do find people here. I really do. Maybe not as often as I'd like, I suppose. But I found people here at this this blue tin shed making a fire quite a bit.
So is that a summer camp shed building? I don't, I don't think I've ever been down to that, ever. I don't think I'm going to bother now, either. Hooded intruder. Uh, I, I don't know what you mean, dude. Uh, but yeah, you can talk. And you don't need to be a follower. And slow mode doesn't actually stop you from talking at all. All it does is stop people from spamming. So if, I've, if I'm in five second slow mode, it means that you can chat, you can type a message, but then it's five, ne five seconds before you can send your next message. That's all it means. So yeah, uh, that, that there's no, slow mode doesn't do anything like slow the chat down. It just stops people spamming. I don't, I'm not normally in follower-only mode as well, by the way. You, I, I don't know, you seem to say me, not a follower, can't talk or have an opinion. I, I don't know. But it's a good way to come in, nice and salty. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not normally in follower-only mode unless I'm getting uh, attacked by some kind of weird bot and taking it into follower-only mode stops and spamming. Evening lifter runner. Lychee, I've not been south already. I started on kind of, uh, I don't know, the north of the map, went to Vakuta, picked up some few things, so a few things went to the east. Sorry, went to the west. I've been out to the outpost, come back, got a couple of kills, even got a kill with the M79 uh, grenade launcher. And then I've been over to the submarine to find night vision goggles, and sure enough, I didn't find night vision goggles. Which sucks. I'm not seeing any Zeds. Hooded, okay, my bad then. I like it then. But yeah, I, I, I took it the wrong way. So I, I'm the one rubbing you up the wrong way. Fair enough. Let, let's just let's just rub each other up the wrong way. It'll be lovely. <laughs> I, one thing just to be aware though, right? Some streams that are in follower-only mode, if they're in it every day, uh, I, I can see, I, I think that's a bit harsh, but each streamer should do what they like. But some streamers have to go into follower-only mode because they're getting harassed by botters, you know. It does happen, so... Like, people, like, set things up to spam, like, nasty messages in their chat and things. And by putting them in follower-only mode, it makes it harder for that to happen. So sometimes there is a good reason. Sometimes there is. Just as a heads up, you know. I like belly rubs. Fair enough. <laughs> there is an M79 kit. That killed Gravy, I think. I, I did kill somebody with it. I don't know if it was clipped or not, but I shot it through a window in a shed and killed the dude inside. Abominable, yeah. I, I, I've, I've seen that too, but I, I think it depends on the streamer. I think uh, it's a way to pr for protecting the streamer, and if if it's someone that's been getting a lot of shit or been getting a, a, like, a bit of harassed and stuff, I, I think that makes sense. Friedrich, you've got a clip if you're very cool. Uh, Gravy can uh, give you permission to post it. Belly is too rough, I prefer butic rubs. <laughs> <coughs> it doesn't look that far, does it? Yeah, you are right. Not many people come here. It's it's a bit of a ball lake, I guess. I haven't got any food. I could do with I could do with killing that. I have got a suppressed uh, SVD. We could probably uh, stick a bullet into the into the basti. Oh. 
At least it's only a deer. Just to just to upset people, I've just played 60 seconds of adverts. I hope the dude that just came in is is not going to see those. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not going to get back in the server for a minute, so I might as well play an advert. It's like it's like eight minutes past nine. There's no way I would have expected it. Just slow, you just had adverts, did you? That sucks. Right, shouldn't be long. There's definitely people that don't have that beach yet, uh, either by choice or because they haven't decided, well, or they just haven't bothered or don't know about it, but I, d I don't think that's the case. Certainly on YouTube, I'd say at least half of everybody doesn't have it, at least. Didn't get any either. Well, uh, you don't get adverts guaranteed, even if you're not using Adblocker. If you've got... Uh the ads might be selected for certain countries only, so if you live in the US or Canada you might get one, or certain places in Europe and whatnot, but uh, not every country gets an ad. Depends on what adverts Twitch are pushing and where they're meant to be, kind of thing. Or what adverts Twitch have sold, I guess. I don't think so, Light Switch. Can do. I feel like I have Harry, but again, it's another old time, long time ago. <laughs> Guys, this is where we don't just like uh, show off about how we know how to use ad blocker. That that would be great. Let's just let's just. I'm not really worried. I'm glad you're watching. Thank you. Light switch? No, you sub badges there. I probably am going down here a bit too quick. Oh, do you know what? I, I, the only thing I really want is an SVD mag, but fuck that. Let's just get across the bridge. Oh, thanks for sharing, Gravy, dude. Uh, JD uh, ZZ, JD 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 ZZ. I don't know how to say that. I'm getting it wrong, I'm sure. But, dude, I'm glad you you're enjoying the game, and thank you for coming in as well. May I interest you in Daisy Life Insurance? No, thank you. I. Uh, I got my first quote for pet insurance. Let's not discuss, like, why pet insurance is a rip-off or anything, guys. I just was looking at a quote, okay? I didn't take it. I don't need anyone to tell me where to go or anything, right? I just had my first quote. Just my first one, right? Let's just worry about that for now. <laughs> I, uh, I, the, the puppy came with five, five weeks free kennel club insurance. And they sent me a text this morning saying, uh, carry on your, your free insurance for, for life get the first three months for half price so I went through and, and got a quote just to see what it would be it was fucking 78 pounds 95 a month for for pet insurance now I haven't done any shopping around or not but off the top of my head I'm immediately thinking no you can fuck right off <laughs> that must be ridiculously expensive right like it covers to a maximum of seven and a half thousand pounds in vet, fit, vet pills uh, I guess uh, through, through a period of time, but you're paying a grand a year. A grand a year, that is ridiculous. Uh, a fucking a grand a year to get seven and a half grand's worth of cover. That's like paying a grand a year to, to be insuring like a... You'd have to be like 18 or something driving a car, you know, like the value of the car is... 
say you had, I don't know, like a six or seven year old Fiesta that was worth seven and a half grand. I don't even know how much it would be, but let's say it was that. Like, it wouldn't, co it wouldn't cost me more than about fucking 150 quid to insure that for a year. And I could go and drive it into a fucking limousine or something, you know, and I could get fully comp insurance on it. What the fuck is pet insurance costing fucking... <laughs> Like, like, now I know it's not going to be 150 a year, but 78 pounds a month, that is ridiculous. Well, Pickle, exa well, exactly, my dog was a bit more than a grand, but to be fair, but it, it, it's, you're right, and not that you really want to, that's not really the point, but you're right. It's not really the monetary value of the dog, it's the fact that it's a member of your family is the thing, you know, you can't replace the particular dog, you know. Oh, PJ, that sucks, dude. That's what I thought, Daz Paz. In fact, my missus said to, said to me, about 30 to 40 quid a month max is what I'd expect it to be, and she, she's, I think she's about pop on. But, and we've, we've still got more than four weeks' worth of free cover yet. We've not even got to the point of thinking about looking. Can't you just get third-party fire and theft? Yeah. <laughs> third-party fire and it's, it's nibbling your fingers. Village idiot. Well, yeah, we are pretty happy with him so far. I'm not seeing much of him. That's the only thing. Like in the morning, I'm get I'm busy. Like I, all right, this morning I had my hair cut and I I, I did a bit of editing, but uh, I didn't see the dog so much. And then by the time I get down now, he's a bit tired and a bit sleepy. It, it's it's a little bit like when I had my kids in my with my ex-wife. You know, I I I'd go out to Asda all day, and then by the time I get back, they'd be asleep. And I was going so early, they were still asleep when I left. You know, like. It's like that, but with the puppy now. <laughs> Plus Redeemus, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have a look and think about it. And I have got, uh, I have got like a little slush fund of just in case money, as best I can. You know, I try to save things away if I've got any spare money, but uh, I don't know. I, I'll look into it. True Gongsu. Well, I hope everything's okay where you are, dude. And that sucks, dude. That really does. Skunk Breath. What a name. Skunk Breath. Thank you for the 13 months. Evil Scotsman. Thank you for the 4 months. Abesel. Abesel. Thank you for the 7 months. Pep and Morrowsphere. Thank you for the resubs as well. Should be getting close to the heli any second. I decided to bypass the Millie base. I, I just want to get across and... I mean, the server's full. I, I'm a bit staggered that we're not bumping into dudes, to be honest, but there we are. I say that now, there'd be like fucking 3,000 people. Village idiot. Yeah, they came on. Uh, they came on Friday. And saw the kids, so we only got the dog on Thursday. Well, to be fair, I kept them at my mum's on Friday and didn't tell them about it. So they saw it Saturday morning uh, into Sunday afternoon and then went home. But yeah, they were really excited. They were really good, you know. Maggie is a little bit scared of dogs. And so it was good to have it have her here while he was really small to uh, sort of get her a bit more confident. And she was really good. She was a lot more interested in, in the dog than Sophie was. But at first she was a little bit unsure, you know, like... Uh, but yeah, I, I was a bit afraid of dogs when I was younger, but then when we got one, I was fine. Mike, Mick, Mick Oyen, uh, Mikko, thank you, Mikko Yan, thank you very much for coming in, cheers, thanks for the kind words, dude. Just Holy Panda, thank you for the new sub, that's really kind, man, thank you. Connor, it's a Welsh Springer Spaniel. 
There's quite a few pictures on Twitter. I put a different picture on there. I'm trying... I, I don't know. I know a lot of people will want to see pictures, but I'm trying my best to not be, like, spamming pictures all the time on my Twitter. So when I go live, I'm going to put a picture of the puppy on my going live tweet, like, once every few days, you know. Running down here with a pot in your hands. Yeah, yeah, I'm a thirsty boy. I might regret it, but it'll be all right, probably. I think there's a dead zombie there. See that? That looked like a dead zombie by my by eye, but it's not a dead zombie. Fucking nothing. Fucking bear to the left of us, walls to the right, here I am. Stuck in the middle. Oh god. Any people on the buildings? They're not normally on the buildings, they're normally under them. I'm doing my best to get round before the wolves aggro, to be honest, and we'll probably go in. I hope I don't die here, but... It's been an amazing run, and I'd love to get inside Athena. I haven't got a gas mask, so I can't even do Lantia. I've got no filter, and I haven't got a filter either. This isn't safe. I never have, en have enough stamina to do that normally. Gum raise bug. Why doesn't the wolves, wolves attack the bear exactly? Or the bear attack the wolves? Come on, fight! It does seem a little bit darker than normal, doesn't it? It's like my head torch isn't working as well as it might. It does. It's weird with the head torches. Sometimes they work better than others. Like it's uh, like a is it night time or not outside kind of thing. I don't know, but yeah, it's not working great, is it? Fucking hell! I just got scared by the lemon light. I, if anyone's here, they're being very, very quiet on the third floor, I would guess, but I don't think there's anybody here either. It's 
One sec, guys. I was just double checking the server pop. It is full. We've been hearing a lot of shots, but it's very surprised. Some racks pants. I'd like to get in some rack pants. Oh, we're all matchy matchy. Look, look at that. That is good. Sexy. I hope not, Hydro. <laughs> uh, yeah, Hyper Pro, there, there's no nothing like that on this server, dude. I did try it, but I didn't think it would work, and it didn't. Gamma up actually, I probably should. That might help. I, know I don't normally need to put the gamma up when it's like this, but. The server restart wasn't that long ago, was it? You know, that's the only thing that's a worry, right? All these doors are closed. But the server restart was 15 minutes ago. It's, po it's possible there could have been a player or two here. And then the server restart happens and they're a bit slow. They could still be in the, cl in the queue. That is possible. I think it's unlikely, but it's possible. Nice. Do I, should we, I think we'll take a few more just as a backup. Uh, Trippy Main, thank you for the follow. What is that? An SVD. I don't want there to be an SVD here. That seems that seems like uber unfair. I want the SVD. Oh, you fucking idiot. We're at A2, yeah, we're at A2, thick caddy. The, the only problem with being A2 is that could have had a mag. That would have been cool, wouldn't it? I think people will still see it, but anyway. Uh, we don't have a gas mask, so if the event happens, I can't go in it.
it sucks, that bag. But the bag I've got sucks fucking awfully as well. I think we'll, uh, we'll take it. I don't really know why I'm dragging and dropping, to be honest, but anyway. Those wolves sound like they're aggroing on me. One sec, guys. Uh, Blade, dude, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Sorry, for the resub. Very, very kind, man. Thank you. Uh, Blade Glint, thanks for the 30 months. Hope you're well. Guys, I've got to call it there. I'm a bit gutted we couldn't find any action. I've, I've got to call it there. I I, uh, I just put the changing server screen up so I could find somewhere to hide. But uh, it's like half past nine, a bit late. And it's not late as in I want to go to bed, but uh, I feel a bit like I need to uh, I need to get down the stairs. <laughs> uh, I've really enjoyed today. That was a cool run. I, I didn't check my frost resistance at the end there, but that's pretty good for me. Uh, yeah, Druid, sorry, dude. I'm, I'm not on tomorrow. I'm going to be editing tomorrow. Uh, but I will be on Friday. I'll be streaming on Friday or being way. Well, well, when it's fucking 33 degrees in the UK, at least, anyway. So, Friday's going to be hot. Uh, and the weekend's going to be nice, too, I think. But I'll be on on Friday. I don't know. I might start a little bit early Friday. I don't know. I might do, like, 11 until 7 or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. But i uh, going to be editing tomorrow. I'm going to get something made for Sunday. I may also do a little short for... Uh, to release on YouTube tomorrow night as well. I'll see if I can get that done too. Uh, thanks a lot for coming in, guys. Really, really appreciate it. There's many streamers you can watch. Thank you for choosing to watch me. Uh, I will be back again on Friday. Go and check out one of your favourite streamers. There's lots of them about. Uh, and don't forget, uh, I put out a little 10-minute edited video on Sunday as well. So if you've not seen that, there's a YouTube video to check out from Sunday as well. Have a good one, guys. I will be back again real soon. Uh, take it easy. Thanks for coming in. Love you, bye.